and now I have to be in charge of the of the stream labs. Oh God, responsibility. I know. I hate it. <laughs> Why can't I just be like a cactus or something? It's a valid question. You ever like start recording and then realize you really need to cough? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> right? Every time. <laughs> Loud clear <laughs> <in your> throat. <laughs> <laughs> You hear the water Hello. bottle in the background. <laughs> mm -hmm. Rustling paper for no reason. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Unexpectables. We uh, we had some technical stuff we had to fix, but we're here. And nothing a little unexpected. It just kind of happens. But uh, we're here. And I'm here with some incredibly wonderful people who are joining us for this lovely game. Um, and if you guys are okay with it, I'm going to go around the horn here. And I'm going to start with actually no acting. I'm going to put you on the spot. Uh, oh, no acting. Where can people find you? Ah, uh, I'm on uh, Twitter and Twitch and YouTube. And my Instagram is no acting, hell yeah, but everywhere else I'm no acting. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, Martin, also known as Little Karibo, where can people find you? Hello, you can find me on Twitter at Yu Gi Oh! T A S, Y U G I O H T A S. Uh, YouTube, I. I think if you just search for Little Karibo, you can find me on there. I don't think I have any other links to give out, though. So uh, here, I guess, twitch.tv slash Little Karibo versus VS. And our returning guest star, uh, Lime Malicious. Where can people find you? Hello, my name is Limes. You can find me on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash Lime Malicious. L-I-M-E-A-L-I. C I O U S. I can spell my own name, and also on Twitter and YouTube. But I had to use Lime Delicious with an S in the middle because someone keeps taking my name. But otherwise, yeah, that's that's where you can find me. And uh, not not new to me, but new to this this channel. Uh, Fanfur, also known as Che. Sorry. Uh, where can people find you? I don't know why you'd want to find me because I'm a normie, unlike everybody else here. <laughs> But uh, if you want to look me up, I have a Twitter account, and it's called No Seeks. So Fanfare seeks no attention. Mm -hmm. I don't post anything. <laughs> God, must be nice. God. <laughs> Every once in a while, you might see a retweet or a random post in there. But I'm just too lazy for social media. Yeah, you like you live life. You go outside and you see the orb that kind of exists every now and again in our desolate snow country. <laughs> it's pretty bright today. It has been. I hate it. It's been like, I want to sleep in. It's just like, oh, light. I hate it. But we are back. This is the Limes group. And we'll be jumping into the game. But first, uh, I also should probably introduce myself. You guys already know who I am. I'm Monty Glue. You can find me at twitch.tv forward slash Monty Glue and at Monty Glue on Twitter. Uh, tomorrow, I'll probably be DMing for you again, uh, Shay, because we are doing hopefully Dungeon of the Mad Mage tomorrow. Last week, unfortunately, mm -hmm. some unfortunate circumstances came up and we couldn't stream, but hopefully we can get to it tomorrow. Um, and I also stream on, on Sundays, Mondays, kind of weird because of all these one shots, but um, stay po you know, keep posted and things may happen. And so I don't get yelled at again. We actually have a sponsor. I forgot to mention this before we went live. Um, <laughs> we actually have a, a dice sponsor for this, this lovely show. Uh, die Hard Dice. Uh, I'll, I'll rattle this. Do you hear those quality dice? You hear that? Ooh, they sound delicious. Don't, they, don't eat them. Please don't eat them. I get yelled <laughs> at for wanting to eat the dice, but they look so good. <laughs> they do, yes. While, while they are not edible, uh, Die Hard Dice uh, are very high quality, really nice dice in both metal and plastic variants. Uh, they also have like the multi-class dice, which are like magnetized dice that you can kind of split up and like mix up your dice. It's pretty cool. Um, and they also sell dice trays and dice accessories as well. Um, and if you are interested in getting a wonderful set of dice, check out dieharddice.com and you can use the code unexpectables exclamation mark to uh, get your dice with a 10% off. It helps support the show uh, and it helps you get dice, which you can never have enough dice, and especially if you're no acting and you apparently want to eat them, you know. They keep <laughs> mysteriously disappearing, quote unquote. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but yes, we will get to bits and subs here. Uh, once again, I'm I'm on my my lonesome here. I don't have uh, Connor or Bosco to to do this for me. So uh, I'm gonna rap God this best I can. 
Uh, Zenlita, thank you so much for the tier one sub for 22 months, almost two years on the new channel. Let's go. And Teleris, and Teleris, hopefully I said that right. Thank you for rating with a party of one. Muscle Wizard, thank you so much for the tier one sub for 23 months in a row. Hi. Hello. Pikafan003, thank you so much for the tier one sub for 23 months, almost two years in. It's time for a wild ride tonight. Dark Ganon, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub for 22 months. Good luck tonight. Uh, Jewelry Jelly, thank you so much for the tier one sub for 21 months. 21? It's an all-stars night. Hell yeah. Uh, Epam, thank you so much for the tier one sub for 23 months in a row. And they have presented one of your emotes, Jesse, your, your no-acting Jesse head. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what shows up for me in the in the stream labs, right? And I'm just like, I have to imagine yeah. what that is. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Hulkstonator, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub for 11 months. X Willy Willy, thank you so much for the tier one sub for 23 months in a row using a Limes Lurk emote, which I've actually seen plenty of times in my channel. <laughs> they always they always show up and they're very cute. Um, All they do is moon, post moon. the dancing ferret. It's so cute. Yeah, post the dancing ferret if you have it. Uh, <laughs> moon Moon Alpha, thank you so much for the tier one sub for two months in a row. It's been a fun journey listening to the podcast and getting caught up. Uh, caught up. Love this campaign so much. Pseudonym pseudonym McFake name. Thank you so much for the one, two, three, four, five, ten tier one subs to the community. Thank you so, so much. Please enjoy your guys' emotes. <laughs> the ferrets are everywhere. Uh, <laughs> please enjoy your emotes, courtesy of pseudonym McFake name. The demon who invented NFTs. Thank you so much for the two <laughs> one sub for 23 months. I am very high. Let's go. <laughs> Thumbs up. Nylara NFT Lotep. Uh, Kiddo Wiz, thank you so much for 100 bits. My foot got stuck inside the toilet. We'll figure it out. <laughs> Uh, Attested Stone, thank you so much for the tier one sub for 18 months. Uh, Vono Vaughn, thank you so much for the tier one sub for 21 months. It's, I'm almost two years on this channel. Bring it on. Hell yeah. Vorpal Song, thank you so much for the tier one sub for 22 months. Dusk Ninja Kenji, thank you so much for 200 bits. The Talbs, thank you so much for the tier two sub for 23 months in a row. Cuban Dragon, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub for 21 months. Let's go. These one shots have been super good. I'm excited for this one. Uh, Faye Raven, thank you so much for the tier one sub for 23 months in a row. How are y'all? Also, happy 23 months. Be good. Do D&D crime against the United or in clergy. Uh, Lime Stance, haha, sweet. <laughs> Bree, 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 Thank you. So, it took me two tries. Bree, Bree, Asaurus, thank you so much for the tier one sub for 12 months. Happy one year anniversary. One year of watching live. I'm so happy to share this when Lily comes back. Uh, Crust, Crusty Stars, thank you so much for the tier one sub for four months. Hype D&D time. Big Sixy, I'm mean, I probably butchered that. I'm very sorry. Thank you so much for the 2100 bits. Uh, thank you so much. Robomom 897, thank you so much for five bits. Free haircut and lobotomy, thank you so much for 500 bits. Woo, more one shots. The Holy Carp, thank you so much for the tier one sub for six months. Uh, Volk 551, thank you so much for 100 bits. Limes is here, love the cute ferrets. <laughs> uh, Thortron 6000, thank you so much for the thousand bits. No message, just bits. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, Magic Ninja Go, Ned, Magic Ninja Go, thank you so much for 100 bits. Boy, I'm glad I watched, uh, I started watching the Limes episodes yesterday because I had just finished listening to episode 61 at double speed. Yeah, it's been a while. Uh, Dragon Sun, thank you so much for 100 bits. Hope y'all are tack rolls or natural 20s. Emerald Bandit, thank you so much for 200 bits. Just got off work just in time for some wonderful fun. Unfortunately, we're at the point where I'm going to have to just read off the names and the subs. I cannot read comments. Thank you guys so much, but we appreciate all of it. Thank you guys so, so much. Dax99, thank you so much for the tier one sub. Smooth Enigma, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub for 13 months. Fantastic Kalen, thank you so much for the, uh, the tier one sub for 22 months. Oh, do you see? I, I'm not good at this. Uh, <laughs> You're doing great. Oh, rap god. All right, Martimus, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub for eight months. Magic Ninja Go, thank you so much for 100 bits. I Am Spite, thank you so much for 400 bits. Ozark Shadow, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub for three months. Protoss 103, thank you so much for the 45 bits. Crow the Immortal, thank you so much for the tier one sub for 23 months. Great Otaku Bomb, thank you so much for the 1500 bits. Cypher 04, thank you so much for the tier one sub for 22 months. Uh, they're rooting you, uh, no acting. They say, I don't know what you face, but you better annihilate them. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> Murph's Little Beans, thank you so much for the three, 350 bits. Thank you so much, Werewolf and a Speedo, for gifting a tier one sub. Deluna, thank you so much for 100 bits. Pirate Made 13, thank you so much for the tier one sub for 21 months. White Fang 9018, thank you so much for a Twitch Prime sub for 12 months. Happy one year anniversary. Bubba Bob, thank you so much for the 500 bits. Megasarks, Megasrar, Megasrar, 
That's how I'm going to say it. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> tier 1 sub for 23 months. Thunder King 8, thank you so much for the tier 1 sub for 23 months. Uh, Impervio Lunos, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub for four months. Nuclear Drake, thank you so much for the tier 1 sub for two months. Wolven the Sixth, thank you so much for the tier 1 sub for 12 months. Crabius the Great Crab, poor. Thank you so much for the 100 bits. Get back in the ocean. Uh, Ryan Kosak, thank you so much for the tier one sub for 23 months. The Chibi Wolf, thank you so much for the tier one sub for 22 months. Rob Q, thank you so much for 150 bits. Igrim21, thank you so much for the tier one sub for 19 months. Local Bird, thank you so much for 10 bits. Okay, JGRFRH64, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub for 14 months. Yay, Limes is here. Brian Merrill, thank you so much for the 50 bits. Phil Lane, thank you so much for the 250, 255 bits. Uh, Edward Bosco, thank you so much for the tier one sub, and uh, to Ar Ar Arsenal X, to Dying Chick 117, to Aaron Fox, thank you so much. And we better start because he's just going to keep donating uh, subs and, you know, <laughs> chew into our beloved game time. Uh, and and Skets Flipsa, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. All right. Well, any any questions before we start, guys? I don't think so. Okay. You guys good to get into it? Let's do it. Oh, I did. Yeah. I did have one. Are you tweeting something that I can retweet or or can I tweet? Yes. There should be an announcement from the Unexpectables itself. I will double check. I looked earlier, but it wasn't there. I will find it here. And if it hasn't been tweeted, then Connor! <laughs> get to work! <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah, I don't see I anything. Sent you, the, you sent the pic I sent you the pictures and everything. Oh, here we are. I found it. I am retweeting it now. It has your guys' beloved characters. Ah. No. All right. So, as we turn now towards the Unexpectables, we return to a forested climate. So, we'll start our adventure off with Lily. Lily, uh, Limes, actually, could you describe Lily for us? Just for those who haven't, can't basically are listening audio only. Oh, yes, of course. Um, so, Lily is my, or sorry, Lily is a little gnome. She is very, very small, like three and a half feet, and very tiny, brown hair and a braid. She absolutely loves animals, and she always has her little ferret thimble with her. I think it's them. <laughs> okay. It's been a while. Um, oh, yeah. But yeah, no, she. It's it's been a long, long time. You're like, describe her, and I'm sitting here like, my bio is empty, I can't! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! Oh, oh no! <laughs> but yes, no, very, very, very small. That's the biggest thing. She is, like, absolutely tiny. And, yeah. You are enjoying a lovely sort of late afternoon, you know, tea in your adorable little druidic house made out of a very large tree. And as you're sitting there, uh, a little chipmunk kind of runs up to the window and starts kind of chittering at you, almost in a panicked manner. Oh, well, that's no good. I... <laughs> I, uh... I stand up slowly and I approach the little chipmunk and I can uh, speak with animals, right? You can, yes, as a gnome. It's, it's been some time. Oh God, I just remembered the bear and her children. <laughs> <It's just gonna laughs> <flash back> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I, I approach the chipmunk and I I hold out a hand to uh, to introduce myself and I say, well, hello there, little friend. How can I help? It kind of scampers across the windowsill and kind of onto your hand and kind of begins to chitter, and you see that it seems to be distressed and is pointing towards the direction of Everbright Village and kind of is hopping up and down nervously, almost in a panicked manner. Well, that doesn't sound good. You need me to follow? It kind of scrambles off and kind of hops in the windowsill and then darts out the window into the foliage. Okay. Well, just, just because I'm a little bit worried about whatever it could possibly be, I uh, set Thimble down on the table and I say... All right, Thimble, it's your time to take care of the house now. And then I... 
<laughs> I uh, grab my things and I head out the door after my little new friend. All right. As you take your, you kind of open the door and close it. You can see as you pass by the window, uh, like a blue jay handing uh, Thimble just a tiny little broom and him just smacking it down, like crossing his little arms, just like, I don't want to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Stubbornly. But as you take right. off towards mm -hmm. Everbright, you do notice the sort of creeping moan to the trees, a sort of foreboding howl. There's a sense of pain and loss that you can't quite explain as the trees kind of hum and creak as you make your way through the woods towards the town. Meanwhile, in the town... Oh, oh. <laughs> no, no, go ahead. No, I was just going to say, I quicken my pace after like glancing around nervously, taking it all in because the forest does not feel as it usually does. Um, mm -hmm. And I... I head off with a little bit more haste before I was like, oh, maybe, you know, the chip chipmunks, like, unfortunate, had a, had a little chipmunk accident somewhere or something, but this might actually be serious. <laughs> mm -hmm. As you approach Everbright, you currently see the village is just scrambling. You see individuals, um, you know, woodcutters you've met in the past, and you kind of direct them to what trees to cut down, fishermen, you know, who you've met on the river's edge when you've, you've gone for the odd swim in your, your bestial forms, kind of moving about in a hurried fashion. And the other thing you notice, uh, Lily, is that there are more people here than usual. Um, there seems to be about 12 to 20 more people here. Um, and noticeably, as you kind of scramble, um, the chipmunk kind of runs up to a fawn. Uh, and Shay, if you could describe Gilly for everybody... Okay, so Gilly is about five foot two, so very small, very slim, has long braids that come down to like past her waist, very frizzy, like almost like staticky and frizzy and everything. But she's very contrast with the fact that she has a giant warhammer about the same length as her of her body, like on her back, a shield on her left arm, and chain mail. You notice Gilly as a chipmunk kind of like scrambles up to you and like points at you like with a finger, like a little, little kind of curled finger. And uh, Lily, you notice this individual and the, the chipmunk kind of scrambles onto your shoulder. So it scrambled onto Lily's shoulder? Or? Yeah, scrambled onto Lily's shoulder. Oh, okay, uh, well. I, is, is the chipmunk yours? Uh, are, are we recruiting chipmunks now? Uh, Oh gosh! Oh, I feel so rude. I I, I wasn't aware. Uh, gosh, I um, uh, it's it's nice to meet you. Um, uh, what what part are you exactly helping out with? Lily's feelings uh, mirror my own in that she is incredibly confused, and she t takes a little glance at the chipmunk and and sort of like uh, kind of decides that the chipmunk has never led her wrong before. So she heads over to introduce herself, and she says, she says. Oh, hello there. My name is, uh, Lily. I live out in the forest. I don't really come into the village very often, but I do live nearby. Um, could you tell me what's, uh, what's going on? There are a lot of people here today. Oh, yeah, sure. Oh, I didn't realize you weren't aware. Uh, yeah, my, my name is Gilly. Gilly Acantha. Nice, nice to meet you. Um, yeah, it's, things are a little chaotic right now. Um, Wolf Den has, uh, kind of evacuated everybody into Everbright, and, uh, it seems like those the clergy members that were in... Uh, wait, how much do you even know about, like, did you, do you know about, like, the Orin clergy? Oh, gosh, um... <laughs> wow! Let's just say that there's so, there's... <laughs> there, um, okay, goodness. She, like, pulls out, like, a little piece of paper, and she's like, oh, my God, how do, how do I describe this? Um, okay, so there's, like, this church, there not they're not very nice i i really feel like you know some of them we could talk to but like most of them are just very very rude and they sort of chased a lot of us out of alabast and they've been coming further through the woods and now they're getting closer to everbright and now people are sort of panicking so that's kind of where we're at well, you kind of like glances at the chipmunk and then glances back <laughs> it kind of like pulls down its ears in front of its face and kind of like scratches its face and kind of gives a sort of like nervous look and then darts and disappears into the woods where you came from 
Lily's like, what have you led me into? <laughs> She's just been ditched. <laughs> okay. Uh, as you two are kind of standing there and consolidating, you notice uh, two individuals. One, uh, a human man who kind of overhears the conversation and kind of steps forward and flanking him, uh, Noacking, if you could describe Finn for the audience. <laughs> uh yeah okay finn is uh tabaxi he's like f five foot seven five foot eight he's got he's fluffy he's got a uh, facial hair he's got a goatee and he's kind of like cheetah patterned with blue eyes he's got a smuggler's clothes on like a leather vest and like pants and boots uh the man flanking him is like uh probably like late 30s maybe uh human gentleman kind of a of a scraggly beard kind of hair kind of tossed back black hair and he kind of approaches and he hands you your sword actually uh finn and kind of steps up towards you two uh lily and gilly uh-huh um and he kind of looks <laughs> down and goes yeah um sorry master druid for encroaching on your forest i, I was made to understand that you live nearby but uh, things being as they are we've been kind of driven out of our homes Things aren't uh, looking so good at this moment. But, um, I mean, any help we can get right now to protect Everbright would be appreciated. You know, if there's anything you can muster, anything you can help with. Uh, Gilly here was a mercenary who made their way to Wolfsten after the initial invasion, and uh, we're lucky to have her. And, uh, oh, th this is Finn. He's a mercenary for hire as well. Uh, He's a, he's a, a good guy. He kind of gives you a bit of a nod and sort of like a slight <laughs> look, like, you know, you can, you can hear in your mind for the right price. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, Lily sort of like clasps her hands together and, and looks very sympathetic. And she says, I'm very sorry to hear that everything's been so terrible. And I'm equally sorry that I had absolutely no idea. Um, if I can lend a hand, I would be more than happy to. The people of Everbright have always been very kind to me. Yeah, that was um, actually where um, I might... Uh, and as he continues to talk, you hear uh, a kind of a voice go, get out of there, as you see like a guy who's kind of like currently gathering up things, like tossing a goblin out of a barrel. And uh, old bad guys, Martin, if you could describe your character as he's being <laughs> tossed out of a potential new home. <laughs> Very rude awakening for him. Uh, I'll, read, I'll read what I wrote. Pale green skin wrapped tightly around his bones. To the untrained eye, this goblin looks like his best days are behind him. A crescent of wrinkles mapping his dented brow, his narrow yellow eyes like candles flickering their last in the dimming light around him. And beneath those bright yellow pinpricks, bags like off-putting satchels of wizened flesh spread upon his gaunt cheeks, dominating his, oh. his face. He looks as though he might nod off at any moment, though of course this is but a ruse. Can you guys hear me? Yep. Now yeah, we're fine. Oh, we're not for a second. You, you just cut out like for like half a second. And you're totally okay. Fine. Am I good? Yeah, you're yeah. Totally old, fine. old bad guys is just so hot that the way you're describing <laughs> him, well, obviously, yeah. oh. Discord obviously. couldn't handle it. But keep going. <laughs> old bad guys has never been more alert. Using his age as a disguise of sorts, the thieving goblin has been able to take many folk unawares by presenting himself as some curmudgeonly pensioner, simply trying to get by from day to day. He also also enjoys the solitude that comes with looking so old and repulsive. Wrapped in a ragged cloak and kitted out in light armor beneath, his teeth are as chipped as the fingernails he drums upon the nearest surface. He looks for all the world like he got run over by a passing horse, and then the horse backed up over him a few times for good measure. <laughs> his voice is barely more than a rasping whisper, yet somehow it cuts clean through the surrounding conversation like a knife into an aristocrat's throat. All right, you sleep in one barrel and you people tell you get out. I don't know what the big deal is. Where am I supposed to sleep? What's going on? Figure out a tent, sir. And he watches the human kind of... Figure out a tent. Figure out... A, did you hear what he said? Figure out a... Um, what am I supposed to figure out a tent right now? This late notice, I don't know. Who's this, then? <laughs> the goblin turns to all of you. What? What are you all looking at? You never seen a goblin chucked out a barrel before? Oh, if no, you're not in need of a tent... have good experiences. I mean, that too. But yeah, if you're always in need of a tent, I mean, I think that there was a few places that were handing out free blankets and stuff. Not quite a tent, but all right, it could help. All right. 
I appreciate the charity, but the truth is I'm not someone who's just looking for a handout. I'm someone who wants to take his, his fate into his own hands, you know. I used to have a perfectly good oval, you know, by myself, living by myself, just somewhere out. Not, not here. Ever bright? Do I look like I belong in Ever Bright to you? Do I look ever bright? Peyton kind of looks side to side and goes, is that a rhetorical question? <laughs> I don't know, you big words. Uh, right. Well, um... Uh, well, I, 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 honestly, I really want to help chuck them uh, O-Run guys out of whatever they're doing because they be causing nothing but trouble for folks like me. Folks like me will be the first up against the wall if they have what if they get to do what they say. Well, any additional help is welcomed, especially of someone of your wisdom, it seems. I do qualify as additional. <laughs> um, he kind of turns towards you, Finn. He goes, Finn, can you do me a favor with these individuals, perhaps? You all seem like a motley crew, but... Time being as it were, a team of four well-talented individuals could be a boon to our defenses. Um, Finn, uh, he kind of turns towards you and goes, Do you mind? There is a wizard who lives on the outskirts of this village. Um, perhaps he could have something to help us. Uh, his name, I believe, is Ozzy, if you would be willing. And he kind of hands you a gold coin. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, that's all, that's all you had to do. Sure. No worries. Excellent. Um, Lily kind of like awkwardly rocks back and forth on her feet and then gives uh, old bad guys the willing Lily, sorry, the winning Lily smile. And she said, well, I'm really happy that we have another person to help us defeat the old runs. I remember smiling. That was a good time. Isn't it just so fun? Nah, not anymore. Oh. Back oh. in the day, I used to have plenty of reasons to smile. In fact, I, I had plenty of reasons to smile like yesterday until I was unceremoniously usurped from my oval. What happened to your oval? Bunch of guys came by, were like, Oi, any goblins around here? And I was like, no goblins around here, mate. So I quickly snuck around. I snuck outside under cover of green because you know i'm green too so <laughs> i kept going and i just uh, i found the nearest place where i could sneak into a barrel and lie low for a while but you know what well, i may as well use my talents for some help yeah i mean hopefully if we if we can defeat the Ulrans, then maybe you can go back to your hovel i have, yeah, I have a little cabin out in the woods for myself and it's the most wonderful place in the whole wide world so i, don't I do know you how love, that feels don't you love being left alone Oh, yes, apart from my animal friends, I have lots of little friends like chipmunks and weasels and bears. Oh, they're all so wonderful. I bet that smells something awful. <laughs> oh, oh I, don't, I don't think so. I think it smells wonderful. Yeah, you, you tune it out when you've been around them long enough, but trust me, love, it smells pretty rotten, I bet. Lily kind of, like, carefully and inconspicuously, like, tries to sniff her own clothing to see if maybe she smells too. Roll a perception check. First roll of the game. <laughs> oh, I don't even know how to do that anymore. Uh, oh, is it this one here? Like this? Yeah, there you go. All right, 15. Nice. So you, so for if you are if you have a thing that rolls twice, you always take the left side roll. That's always like mm -hmm. sort of the first roll. But yeah, it's a 15. Uh, you kind of like lift up your shirt a little bit and smell it. It smells like fresh leaves, but there's a little hint of wet bear. Just a little bit of a hint. <laughs> but it's not that bad. It can't be, right? Well, well, Lily associates wet bear with comfort because the bears are her friends. So she just, you know, she just decides she smells nice. I'm just remind if I click over to Waffle, I think you can see rolls. On the other side, what does old bay guys smell like, though? Good question. <laughs> <laughs> old bay Nobody guys, you needs wanna... to roll. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody needs to roll. <laughs> oh, you know. You can smell it. <laughs> Use your imagination. <laughs> Think like of the flies. worst thing you've ever oh, smelled. Bad. <laughs> flies Double come it. over and they just die. They just fly, just fly within your vicinity and just flip over and die. I've got my own area of effect. <laughs> I mean, it's free food. You pick up a fly off the ground, snack on it, like a little, a little crunch. Always a silver lining. <laughs> yeah. You, as you guys are kind of all standing there, you do notice people are like handing out swords and blades and there's like kind of a big conversation 
Uh, Everbright itself is, again, not a massive place. It's a it's a reasonably sized village. You see, you know, maybe 30 to 40 people here. Uh, in the center of the village is like kind of a, a bit of a crude cobblestone sort of center point. And standing in the middle of it is a statue, a stone statue of a sort of knightly looking individual with like a sword pointing down, kind of holding this large claymore pointing downwards. Uh, and you do notice people at the moment are currently, not only are they, you know, preparing weapons, they're also like preparing carts with like people in them just in case, you know, they're like preparing blankets and food and water. There's tents that are kind of being set up or taken down and moved in places. Uh, but you do notice Finn, uh, I would say, Finn, roll a perception check with your mission. That's a good thing to do. How would I? All right. So on your character sheet, <laughs> mm -hmm. if you, there's that middle kind of narrow panel in the middle where it says like acrobatics, animal handling, arcana. It's kind of. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Perception. Yes. Yeah. Oop. So click that for perception. There you go. Perfect. Hey. So as you kind of look around, you do notice kind of peeking through the trees kind of towards the uh, north of where you are, uh, a kind of little capped cone tower with a bit of brickwork, and that seems like a place a nerd would hang out probably, so probably where the wizard is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get to it then. Hey, which way? Uh, Finn uh, just starts walking, like doesn't even <laughs> doesn't even acknowledge, just goes. Yeah, just just walks, and like they'll follow. I'm sure. Oh, I, I mean, I feel if we're working as a team, we should at least talk. You know, team communication sorry, is really I, good. I can't hear you. I'm, I'm I'm up ahead a little bit. If you want to, I'm sorry. Oh, I, yeah. I mean, I can speak louder if that no, helps. No, it's fine. It's totally. <laughs> I can't. I can't hear you. Oh, well, I are you de what? partially deaf? <laughs> He's, he's, he's even further ahead. Yeah, he's himself. like in the shrubs now. <laughs> I guess we should catch up to him. I, I don't know if he can hear us properly. He might he might be deaf. Maybe partially, maybe, I don't know. I can, I just don't care. If oh. I know people the way I know people, he's probably ignoring you because you're disgusting. Oh, uh, did I do something to disgust him? Glass houses! <laughs> where? That's a rubbish way to live. And I live in an oval. And then a garbage can. But for the re it wasn't a garbage can, it was a barrel. I mean, if you Much live in a glass house, you get plenty of sunlight and all the plants could grow. That wouldn't be too bad. Look, are yeah, you that... going to come with me to see this big nerd or what? Big nerd? Billy kind of like hops to attention and hurries off at like double speed because her legs are <laughs> tiny. From my okay. perspective, you're all big nerds, but I'll come with because if you ask me, <laughs> quickest way to get rid of these guys is to help you. So I follow as well. <laughs> All right, you guys head through the woods, kind of following a narrow walking path, uh, not well kept, uh, towards a large, almost white stone tower. It's not, it kind of is a little spire in the middle of the forest, and there's kind of like a bit of a, you know, like stone staircase that kind of curls upwards to the front door. And you can see kind of coming out one of the windows, just like ambient little bit of steam just kind of coming out. Um, there's like a little garden to the right of it, and it appears to be well kept. Um, and notably, actually, Lily, you remember that this is Ozzy's home. Um, and you visit him on occasion every now and again, very rarely, but you do know of him if you remember him very well. Proportions? Yeah. I think it's, yeah, it's been maker, a hot yeah. minute, but that, I remember that vaguely. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, he's a younger wizard, you remember. And as you guys make your way, uh, who would like to go to the front door and knock on it, if that's even an option you wish to do? I think Finn would be, unless anyone else is, like, taking charge. Okay. Finn, you uh, kind of stride would up. would probably, like, let you do that, but then just sort of, like, you know, bounce excitedly because she gets to see someone she knows again. Like, she's more <laughs> excited. She realizes where you're going. Yeah, Finn gets to the door and, like, sees her bouncing and is like, ugh, whatever, and is, like, knocking on the door. <laughs> All right, you. The door by itself opens up and you see inside uh, a human, a young man, probably early 20s, uh, shaggy brown hair kind of like whipped around in every different direction. He has a set of glasses kind of uh, perched on his nose. And currently you see him shoving stuff into like bags and he kind of stops like a deer in the headlights and turns towards you and goes, oh, tiger, and just kind of like gets really nervous for a second as he sees you in the door frame. Oh wait, no! <laughs> you're not a tiger. You're a you're a person. Um, hi. Uh, can I help you? 
Oi. Uh, what's his name? Mr. Black. <laughs> I he wanted us to <laughs> get something from you or something. Oh, 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 right. Uh, right. Of, of course. Is it, is it, it's a time now? They want me in the, the, the town now. Yeah. I, I, there's oh, okay. kind of a thing happening right oh, now. Oh, good. Kind of... Yeah, I've, I've, I've been told. Um, and I, uh, he kind of leans over. Oh, Lily. Hello. Lily kind of like peers around, around, uh, a new friend's leg and just waves and she's like, hi, Elsie, how are you? Oh, well, aren't you a sight for sore eyes? Well, I, I feel a lot more, uh, relaxed seeing you. Um, thanks. You would well, know sore eyes if you... Ah! Goblin! Oh, maybe, oh. Yeah, maybe you should stay outside. I don't know. Oh, I think this guy needs to calm down first. <laughs> Listen, I'm happy to stay outside, but don't expect me not to be rudely interrupting your conversation at random intervals. Yeah, that's fair. Oh. He's with you. He kind of points towards down towards old no, bad I'm, guys. I'm not with them. I'm with me, but I just happen to be adjacent to them. Unfortunately. Gotcha. He was oh. in a barrel. Yeah. <laughs> Let's drop right. that, please. I see. I see. That's not my kinda, proudest moment. He kind of leans over and goes, and a satyr. Uh, quite the eclectic group we've gathered. Well, uh, I suppose we should add a wizard to that equation. Um, uh, how Yeah, we're, we're a regular uh, breakfast club. You coming or uh, not? What oh, well, what? I... Are you, are you, can you help me carry some things? That would, I, that would, that would help things, honestly. Um, I have the, the stuff that, um, the mayor requested. Uh, so, but it was quite the, he kind of walks over, he watches, he pushes like a milk crate just <laughs> across the table. It's, um, a lot, but uh, it's good, I, I suppose, to help. Um, but I have about, one, two, three, about, about, uh, five, five crates, uh, if you wouldn't mind helping. Five crates. Oh, well, of course, does make a token effort to pick up the crate, but I'm not sure that's happening. <laughs> Go ahead and roll. Everybody for me, roll athletics checks. Wait, so no. that should also okay. under your proficiencies there. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Oh, oh. okay. Okay. <laughs> so uh, one, one big thing, too, is you guys roll. Be sure to say what your numbers are, just because, again, we have audio only sometimes. Okay. So just that wow. way people know, know what you've rolled. So Sorry. Uh, yeah, go ahead. So, Gilly, what did you roll? 13. Okay, Gilly, you kind of walk over to one of the crates, you pick it up. It's filled with like papers, but notably a lot of them are like um like sort of in a in a tube and have been like tied off with like ribbon and wax. Um and you kind of like you're like, okay, kind of weird. And you kind of lift it up and kind of take it out. Your hooves kind of clip clopping on the very, very nice, almost like marble-esque stone floor. Uh and Finn, what did you roll? Finn got a 23. Oh, you grab two crates, like, you know, you're taking all the groceries in in one trip. You just grab two crates on either hand, kind of, like, take them under your arms, and you're just kind of carrying them out. You hear the the clinking of bottles. You see below, like, kind of red and different colored liquid bottles beneath your arms. <laughs> Better uh, not drop any of this. I don't know what, what it does. <laughs> uh, old bad guys, what did you roll? <laughs> I got a four. Excellent. <laughs> you walk over to one of the crates, you kind of grab it, and you just <clears throat> kind of pull on it. Uh, it is much too heavy for you. Oh, my crate carrying days are behind me. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is a lot. And as you say that, Finn kind of comes over and grabs a third crate just to flex. Oh, oh right. I got it. Showing off. Go back to your glass house. <laughs> I mean, it's always good to ask for help when you need it. So just feel free to ask for help. Help. <laughs> well, I mean, as, Finner... <laughs> as as old bad guy says that uh lily what did you roll i rolled a 16 all right you grab the final crate that old bags is has kind of is having issues with and you manage to kind of put it on top of your head kind of picking it up sort of like um oh gosh like legend of zelda style where he lifts everything on top of his head you know <laughs> I, I i i used to carry a lot of stuff what i used to collect tin you know, I used to have a tin collection and I collected tin. I di didn't have much use for it, but it sounded like Tim. And I had a friend called Tim back in the day. Or was his name Jim? Lily anyway, I carried lots enthusiastically. of it. enthusiastically. And she's like, <laughs> I bet you were so strong. And then she just continues to walk out with this crate that he could not carry. Not as strong as how much you smell. <laughs> 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 as you guys kind of load up the crates, Ozzy sees you like carrying three fin. He goes, oh, whoa, okay. Ah, uh, thanks. Uh, all right, I'm just going to lock up here. And he kind of scrambles out and almost trips down the stairs. He goes, oh, God, outside. Uh, they kind of like 
kind of brings up his arm to block the the dipping sun at this point. It's just kind of like, okay, uh, well, to the meeting. Let's go. You sure you're okay, mate? I just, I haven't been outside in like um, months, year? I don't know. I, That's uh... a valid way to live, to be fair. Oh, well, my, my studies keep me very occupied and um, I, I've gotten oh, better yeah. over the years. It's, you're no. not missing much. There's nothing out here. This you, these guys, they're obsessed with the sun. And I'm like, what is so great about the sun? 12 hours a day, it's having a nap. That, that is true. The cycle of the sun and the moon is, is very fascinating. In fact, uh, there are some theorems that the arcanum actually results in these sort of fluctuations in day and night cycles. They say that sun magic is more powerful during the winter solstice. Well, he just starts prattling on. Wow, yeah, that's so cool. That's so cool. Maybe we should go. Maybe we should go. I, I mean, we're walking now. Do you want me to stop talking? I'm sorry. I, I, like, Hang on. I'm while. pretending to listen. Oh, well. I have hey, I'll here. listen to you. Oh, thanks. I appreciate it. Um, so anyway, as I was saying, they say that the frost spells didn't really just start piling on. You guys are kind of walking through the woods. You guys make your way eventually back to the town square where people are kind of moving and adjusting. And there seems to be kind of like a conversation between um, Peyton Black and an older gentleman in the center of town. They seem to be kind of in a, in a very tense, not like an angry conversation, but a very much like, you know, what are we kind of doing conversation as you guys kind of place down the crates Ozzy kind of picks them up and goes, okay, excellent. Um, actually, I should give some of these to you. Um, so uh, what, uh, let's see, uh, uh, what what kind of uh, assistance would you like, uh, ma magic-wise? Like, um, would you like more, uh, you know, uh, power? Would you like to be invisible? Would you like, you know, a bunch of other things? I have a few scrolls that I could provide. Um, and also I have some healing potions, which are more of my specialty. But um, considering... Well, kind of like raises her hand and waves it. Like, I love your healing potions, Ozzy. I'll give one to each of you. How's that sound? <clears throat> Thank you. Can, Thank you. Appreciate can you it. give Lily a potion that will help with the stink? And also maybe a potion that help us not smell? <laughs> um... I, well, you know what? I can do this uh, for you, actually. And he watches, he flexes his hand, and you yeah. guys watch as, like, all of the dust and the mud on old bags just flits away. Oh. Like, it just turns to dust and then just gets knocked away off of you. There's no oh. force, but it just, like, it all goes away. Billy wow. starts clapping. <laughs> there you go. Much cleaner. Gilly, Gilly leans in and sniffs to see if the smell got, has gone away. It has vastly improved. Wow. Oh. Amazing. I, I guess... Yes, it wasn't uh, Lily. <laughs> Is that one of these bath things I've heard tell of? Uh, of uh, sorts. Uh, it, it's a cantrip called prestidigitation. It's it's very helpful for cleaning spots and adjusting uh, things. And... All right, it's not going to help with the the fight, really, is it? Not really. But th that's well... what these are for. And he kind of like picks up the potions and he hands one to each of you. Um, Lily you may kind of each... like looks consideringly at him and is like, well, we won't be distracted by the smell anymore. So I think it will help with the fight. Huh. Well, I'm glad you have some of this. I'm worried though. I've got a mutt back home in my oval and he's going to think I'm some stranger when I go back. Well, that's not true. Dogs have very good senses of smell and they can, they can smell underneath all the dirt and grime. I hope you're right. I should be. I am some. I am one sometimes. I'm not a fan of dogs. Why? Why, why not? What happened? They chased me. <laughs> I just imagine like, like I just imagine a semi-transparent war flashback in the background as like Finn is just staring at the ground like they chased me. <laughs> Sorry, I'm Even gonna disappear because of the second or something. Yeah. <laughs> Have it be a poodle or a chihuahua that's chasing you too, like the tiniest <laughs> little dog. Yeah, it's oh. itty bitty. Finn is like five foot eight. And it's like <laughs> this teeny tiny dog. No. <laughs> uh, oh, Ozzie. also. Uh, mm. Yes, go ahead. Sorry, this is late in the game to ask this. Can we swear? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, obviously, no, <laughs> no, nothing like, you know, yeah. or anything like that. Like, that's kind of mm. harmless. Yeah, you, you can say the F word. <laughs> Keep it within reason and don't be too, too. We want Twitch to not get mad at us. Basically. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. I think Sorry, if continue. I'm mad at swearing. I would have been perma banned a while ago. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Sometimes we say stuff and I'm like, oh God, we have a Twitch rep and they, they are confused. <laughs> but 
Um, Ozzy does give you each a, a potion. Uh, so for you guys, you may write this down. It is a potion of healing. And I'm going to type it in our Discord. Ooh. So it's 2d4 plus 2. Actually, Where do we two. write this, sorry? You can write it in down in your character sheet or on a piece of paper. Uh, okay. Uh, sorry, I'm actually going to double check that. Pretty sure that's uh, correct. It's 2d4 plus 3 because of his bonuses, oh. actually. Yeah. Ooh. I was thinking regular potion of healing. Yeah, this is an Aussie potion of healing. They're actually really cute. They have these little labels on the outside that are like a little hedgehog. Oh, it's very, very cute. Lily picks um, up her potion and then just like, you know, like does a little cute chicken underneath the, the hedgehog's chin, like she's saying hello. <laughs> and you watch as Aussie kind of goes, okay, well, I will uh, hand these out. I am, um, gosh, there's so many people. <laughs> it's been so long. Um, it's nice to see you again, Lily. And uh, uh, thank you so much for helping me carry this stuff. I very much appreciate it. Um, good good luck. He kind of nods and he kind of begins to grab potions and walks over to individuals and starts just handing them out. Oh, uh, he kind of scrambles back and goes, right, scrolls. Um, did you want any spell scrolls at all? I have I have a few um, that could be of some interest. I'll, I'll give one to each of you. How, how does that sound? Sounds wonderful. Thank you. Um, hey, thanks. All right, here, I'll give, you, I'll give you uh, these four. And he kind of picks out these four spells. So he gives you guys Misty Step. I'll type these out. <laughs> so you have them. Misty Step. He gives you Fly. He gives you Fireball. And he gives you Invisibility. I can't spell because I have no writing prowess. There you go. So you get a spell scroll for each of those spells. So to just describe these spells to you, Misty Step basically lets you as a bonus action, like Nightcrawler teleport within 30 feet. Fly is, as it says, it gives you a flight speed, so you can fly in the air. Fireball is a big AoE spell, basically like a big explosion. Uh, and invisibility is, as it says, it turns you invisible until you take an action, essentially. Hmm. Well, maybe all bad guys should just use invisibility and, uh, you know, just as we're walking around. I think that would... What are you trying to say? Oh, nothing. Nothing. Listen, I don't need no potion to go invisible. People been ignoring me for the last 50 years. Sorry, do you hear something? Yeah, it's your mouth running. <laughs> As you guys are kind of standing there, you do hear a voice kind of go, Oh, son of a bitch! Behind you. And as you all turn, uh, you see a very large female bugbear currently surrounded by a group of about six or seven goblins. Oh, crumbs. Are they friends of yours? Oh, right, because I'm a goblin. They must know me, right? Yeah. <laughs> Don't tell them I'm here. Uh, I'm just gonna grab her artwork here real quick. Here like, I don't, I don't here. point to a, a squirrel and be like, "Oh, little Lily, you, you know that person." Yes, but you spoke up I as mean, soon as you really saw cool. them. That's true. I did give myself away. That was. Uh, I mean, are you sure you two don't don't know each other, Lily and Gilly? That, that's just a wild coincidence. That is that is crazy. That is I astronomical. Mean, I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that end their name with Lee. Yeah, and two of them are right here. You know, it's, it's... so as you guys are having this conversation, maybe <laughs> approaching with her her gaggle of a goblin entourage, which you do recognize some of these goblins, uh, old bad guys, yeah. uh, is a large female bugbear who looks like this. She oh. is wearing leather armor, a kind of large red cape, and her one arm is like a ghost arm. It's very strange. Uh, and as she kind of approaches, she kind of looks down towards you, old, like, towards you bad guys, and looks at the rest of you kind of with, like, this sort of cautionary glance, and then she goes, Well, that's how you know it's bad. Old bad guys has been ousted out of his little hiding hole. <laughs> See, you do know each other. I mean, no <laughs> is a big word, you know? <laughs> does, does does anyone really know anyone? <laughs> yeah, they know me. I tell them I, they know, they know. I tolerate him. Yeah. Very well, it. I must say. 
Very well. Enough to know that if you're here, then we really are up shit's creek and a half, huh? I've, I've been there. I mean, things are definitely a little bit bad right now. That's true, but they could be worse. As you say that, you hear a... To the east. Oh, uh, you had to say it. Oh. Don't, you don't do that in move. You don't, don't, don't say it. <laughs> when you're moving around, you don't say that. Yeah, that's called a movie when you're moving around, you know, yeah, that thing. You don't want to do a movie. <laughs> it's never usually happens. Usually things are never this bad. No, don't say that either. What are you doing? <laughs> what? I can't help it. I just want to look on the bright side. The village at this point goes stone cold. And uh, this bugbear kind of looks up very quickly and kind of gets into a defensive position. And all of the hustling and bustling stops. Ozzy is kind of clutching two potions and kind of stops in place. And you watch as children are hurried into buildings as you hear a set of galloping footsteps approaching rapidly. And you see cresting over the horizon through the tree line, bursting forth, a clothed individual wearing robes of a very high caliber with various bits of armor uh, and notably wearing the sigil of Orin, currently on the back of a very nice white horse. They kind of bring their horse to kind of a, oh, and kind of stop the horse and kind of look towards all of you. You can see kind of a curl in the face. Um, dumb question, does anybody have the soldier background? Nope. Can't say I do. Okay. Um, I would say then everyone roll an insight check to see what this particular individual is. All right. Got a 20. Soft 20. I got a 13. <laughs> ben got a 3. <laughs> <laughs> Lily got a 21. Okay. Gilly and Lily, I just I hope you guys win every role all the time because I just want to say that all the time. Uh, <laughs> Gilly and Lily, um, clearly this is a messenger of some kind. This is not a... They do have a sword at their side, but it is very much not a, a defensive weapon. Um, their horse bears no armor, and they clearly bear, bear a lot of um, symbols on them to evoke who they represent. Um, and notably, they kind of canter their horse kind of in front of the likes of you and you notice as Peyton kind of steps forward Sturva kind of snarls and Ozzy is just like ah, like Kronk and the Emperor's New Groove kind of just frozen in place um, the rider kind of looks down at you and goes hearken those who reside in this village I am that which represents the Orn clergy I have come to speak upon terms of surrender there's kind of a general sort of grumbling around. Well, I mean, unless it's your surrender, I don't really think people here are going to listen very well. Silence, goat. He turns down at you and kind of spits. <gasps> Not a goat. <laughs> By dawn tomorrow, we shall approach this village on less savory terms. Unless by nightfall we hear terms of your surrender. The terms of which involve handing over those not deemed worthy by the sun. And you do see a couple of drow kind of skirt back very nervously. And handing over ownership of this land to us for use in our logging endeavors. Lily clenches her fists. Become a boon or become forgotten. And he kind of gallops and there's sort of like a general kind of hissing. You hear the crowd just kind of like, get out of here, like kind of mumbling under their breath. And he kind of looks Be down towards you, old bad guys, and goes, besides, consider it a favor. It seems you have a vermin problem. Uh, yeah, I'm looking at it. You have until dawn. He kicks the back of his heart and turns and gallops away. This guy talking about being forgotten. I know what it's like to be forgotten. Most people I've ever known have forgotten about me. It's not much of a sentence if I've already been suffering through it. I don't think I could ever forget about you at this point. Well, it's very kind of you, but... In... Let's just say, 
people with, with nicer intentions than you have done, so. You hear now as the people who are already kind of like, who are already trying to get ready are just like, what do we do? It's too soon. We can't move now. It's just like, we haven't gotten any reinforcements. What do we do? And there's kind of like a general chatter. It's like, we should leave this uh, place. And do what? Get caught between the, the river and here? They'll slaughter us alive if they see us flee. And there's kind of like a general sort of like, sort of thing. Of and even the goblins around server are like, what do we do, mistress? What do we do? And she's just like, shut up. I'm thinking. I mean, I... they gave us a timeline, right? So what if we attack them before they attack us? Oh, I like that. What if we set up a lot of traps. Oh, I like that too. Sturva kind of turns and goes, I like the way that this one thinks. She's almost like an honorary goblin. All right. <laughs> Lily doesn't actually seem to mind. She, she's easygoing. You can call her a goblin. Um, I do have a question, out, um, Monty. Um, yeah, absolutely. Go for it. In terms of my ability to communicate with animals, how much could I potentially communicate with the animals that, like, because of these logging operations, we kind of need their help? You because haven't the seen them. Too? That's the problem. Like, the only oh, one you've seen is the chipmunk. Are gone. Yeah, they're okay, missing. So you have it's no idea where empty. they are. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's devoid of animal friends. Mm -hmm. Well, that's unsettling. Well, Lily's very uncomfortable now. You get the sense why maybe the trees were creaking and moaning, perhaps. It was a bit of a foreboding feeling of danger on the wind. Well. You watch as Sturva kind of strokes her chin and goes, All right, traps. Okay. I like your strategic mind. It shows a lot of promise. <laughs> Boys! And she whistles sharply and all of the goblins line up. And she kind of turns towards you, old bag, and goes, oh, yeah, whatever. It just kind of ignores the fact that you don't respond. Um, and Peyton kind of walks him and goes, we do have some boys with some shovels if you guys want to set out some traps. We do have extra rope to spare, too, if you want to make some snares. Ozzy kind of turns and goes, I, I could help provide uh, assistance in um, some, uh, well, I, I can help things get spiky really fast or something like that for you at the bottom of the pits if we want to be really gruesome. <laughs> There's quite a few options. Lily claps her hands. I love spikes. Great. Good. All right. Um, and you watch as they kind of turn to their people and go, all right, everyone keep calm. We're going to rely on these four here to help us through this, all right? They'll be at the forefront of this conflict. And you watch as Peyton turns towards you, Finn, and mouths, I will pay you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's what Finn was waiting for. He's like, fuck. Kind of nods to give you a wink. <laughs> All right. So as you guys currently kind of set up and kind of make your way, the people are currently uh, preparing out of character. The people of Everbright will fight on their own terms. So there's going to be, you know, kind of they're going to do their own thing. But I'm going to take you guys over to a lovely, lovely map. Ooh. So that you can see what you're going to have to defend here. You can get stirred off the screen. I hope my voice isn't too indecipherable. No, you're good. I, I can tell what's going on. I haven't actually tested my compressor oh, with high pitches, so it's just like, don't squeal. Don't squeal. <laughs> <laughs> As the day does turn to night, you guys are able to see the map? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. yep. All right. I'm going to give you guys control of your characters here real fast while we do Ooh. this. So this is basically the field that you have to work with. It is known that they will be coming uh, as part of this map. It is tilted slightly. So the, the south is technically the east and the top is the west. Uh, but you know that on this map, they will be coming from the south. So they will be coming from down here. Wait, didn't you say that was the east? That is technically the east, but it's just been tilted over. I see. Basically, yeah. All right, so... We just sort of figure things out from here. We yeah. sort of. Uh... How, what do you guys want to do? You have the world's your oyster. You guys want to come up with traps. You guys want to powwow together in character and figure out what to do. You absolutely can do so. What is what is this? Is that a tree? Like an old dead tree on the on the left of the path there? This one here is a very massive oak tree. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well. If you if you eye that, Lily's gonna side eye you. <laughs> <laughs> well, my my thought was I would love to return of the Jedi this and have two, like, sort of uh, 
some sort of pulley system where two logs can be used to crush anything in between them by swinging together from what from one side of the path to the other like hooked from both sides of trees both tree lines just sort of cut them loose and let the logs sort of tumble down so kind of like a like a log trap basically releasing and yeah, dropping yeah. logs on a bunch of people yeah that if is possible to do that's feasible okay mm -hmm. so i'm gonna say you guys have 12 hours basically until till dawn um and for every hour uh basically the uh for whatever you ask them to do simple traps are gonna be easier and quicker to complete uh harder traps will take longer um and could fail you never know so it's kind of a trade-off there um they also have as well about 20 bear traps to give you guys as well uh, it's just sort of a baseline thing this is a hunting and trapping village um they also have you know logging and stuff like that so um the bear traps can fit in one of these squares and you can kind of place them wherever you wish uh and i will actually grab just for the sake of ease i actually have tokens specifically for this that i had to do up and i will grab those for you guys you guys can mull about with yourselves like kind of plan and figure out kind of where you want to position oh, things. Yeah. Could yeah. we set up, I, I like, trip to lines, Star too, Wars stuff? <laughs> yeah. What was that line? Sorry? I said I definitely want to Star Wars this and just, like, home <laughs> alone in the forest, essentially. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Where's the paint cans? We need the paint cans. <laughs> yeah. You could do one of those, like, logs on a rope that kind of, like, swings and bashes. That is absolutely something you can do. The goblins can facilitate that for sure. Oh, yeah. Okay. That sounds like fun. We should do that. Should we give instructions to uh, the three NPCs above us here? Like, do they? Yes. Okay. They will be. They will be basically assisting you, however you wish, um, and they can provide. Uh, so Ozzy obviously provides magic. Um, the gentleman is more of a martial fighter, and Sturva is also a martial fighter as well. She is a bugbear chieftain, so she's quite strong. I'm just gonna go ahead and. Walk is that Peyton on the right, or is yeah, that? Yeah, Peyton's on the right there. Okay. So we could have a big trap. Oh, that's a big trap. Like that. Giant, we, we, we just get one giant trap and we put it in the center. And it's just a big chain chomp. It's like a Ruby Gold. Like a, is it Ruby Goldberg? No, the, the machines, right? Like the big, is it Ruby Goldberg machine? Is that what it's called? I don't is that know. an actor? I don't know. Oh, someone in chat probably <laughs> screaming about that. I'm very sorry. Ruben. Maybe we should. Hmm. Rube? Rube Goldberg? Rube Goldberg? Is that it? Oh, Rube Goldberg. Okay, that's what it was. Okay. A Whoopi Goldberg trap. <laughs> also, yeah, I, I forgot to mention, uh, do not be in the Twitch chat while we're playing, because they will absolutely spoil stuff for you. So. Okay. Oh, yeah, I've yeah. been, I've been uh, not looking. Yeah, please don't do be in the Twitch chat. chat. I, I forgot to mention that before we started. We have a very okay. strict rule about that. We should probably have Ozzy stay back so he, they can support, I assume, like closer to the town. Mm -hmm. Or at least where they are basically right now, and then maybe we could have Sturva, uh, like hide under cover in the woods somewhere, and like come out from the side to flank the enemy as they come toward us. Like we could leave, maybe uh, is it Peyton? Like have him like stand sort of in front of where we're at right now with sort of a, right a, a like a legion, and like have them be a, a juicy target, and then maybe Sturva comes from the side with their forces. I mean, I'm, I'm just suggesting, I'm not saying we have mm -hmm. to do this. The goblins will be doing their own thing, and these individuals will be fighting alongside of you. Oh, but the, okay. Yeah, you basically can assume that they're going to be doing their own thing for the most part, just so that way I don't have to deal with like a billion staff. No worries. That ruins your guys' time. My bad. So you want Serva uh, to we... hide. How does everybody feel about that plan? Everyone agree with that, or? Yeah, sounds good. Yeah, I'm okay with that. What were we going to say, Shay? Oh, um, do we just need to, like, agree on like like is there like a list of how many different traps we can set up or like so you guys have rope traps which are like you know snares that you can use ignore the rope's gonna be very big again i apologize it just happens when i put the tokens in for some <laughs> give reason give us big rope, big rope. <laughs> so you guys have options of snare traps you guys have a uh, pitfall traps which are a goblin specialty um <laughs> you can either have them just be holes or you can put spikes in them that will take more time to produce but that is basically option you have you have, you have uh, if it's a 20... goblin specialty, can we get like lots of pitfall traps for the cost of? Yeah. Like, how, you could also or... you can also make them big too. If you want to make like a really big pitfall trap, you can, um, or you can make them smaller. It's up to you. But the thing is, a large creature going over like a small trap will generally not trigger it unless it's a bear trap. 
um, just because it can just go over top of it, basically. So size is a is a contender here. Do we have any clue, like as characters, what might be coming? Like, do we know if it's going to be people, or do we have any foreknowledge? Ooh, that's a good question, Mega Man. I would say Gilly <laughs> and uh, Finn. Uh, and actually, no, old bad guys. I would like you guys to roll a just a general wisdom check. So that means you're going to go to your like actual stat block, not the thing. And that works. Wisdom save is fine. Um, oh, and that will sorry. basically... No, no, you're fine. Uh, oh, where, where are just... you saying it is? So on your sheet, it will be the top left corner. Uh, underneath, there's like strength, dexterity, constitution. There's like those... those... Top mm -hmm. left, there's those things. You just want to pick uh, wisdom and just click wisdom, and it should roll just wisdom for you. Oh, Jesse. whoa, hey. Finn is Finn like is cosmic wise. brain. Finn <laughs> is very wise. So two seventeens and a natural twenty for. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, Lily, you don't get a roll because you've been in a house the whole time. Mm -hmm. um, with but, Finn, I, I, <laughs> with Finn, I made him more wise than he is smart. He's not smart, but he's wise. Very <laughs> smart. Yeah. He's like street smarts. Street, That's street smarts. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, old, is different. old bad guys and Gilly, you recall that when you guys were both run out of where you were, um, they definitely had horses. They had quite a few horses. Um, they had foot soldiers as well. Um, and so you would know that they'd be horseback and also like foot, 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 uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. my brain just stopped Soldiers? Looking. Yeah, foot soldiers and like cavalry, like ho on the back of horses. Mm. Um, generally so, their goal is to come in hard and fast is generally what they do and Finn because you rolled really really well you've been kind of around a bit longer you know out of the city you've noticed that some of the um, some of the Oran clergy has giant eagles that they also ride around on <laughs> as well and you've seen them at times in your ventures and notice riders on the back of them you can only assume that's the Oran clergy cool Giant Eagle was the name of a grocery store when I lived in Pennsylvania. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. There you go. Well, they're back with a vengeance now, no lacking. Hell yeah. So, you know, they have foot soldiers, they have some aerial support, and they have uh, horses. Okay. Knowing that they have horses and they're probably going to come first, maybe something to impede their progress further down the path. I, I, I would assume they're coming from that direction and from there. Yeah. yeah. They are coming from down here. Basically. So maybe some pitfalls. We don't even necessarily have to have spikes, just like impede their progress uh, okay. further down, like toward like further down. Where, yeah. Like how, how okay would Lily be with random horses taken like mm. injuries as part yeah of big this. balls that's a good question they made their they made their choices uh, okay look it's fine the evil, the evil horses <laughs> corrupted horses mm -hmm. you get the I, sense I, that choose who gets to ride them <laughs> i would say like it would it might be hard for you yeah so it would be a definitely a moral issue but the question is it's like you know a horse or the whole forest? Yeah. Okay. So I don't think I'm... Uh, are we just telling you where we want things so you place yeah, them? Yeah, just let me know. Oh. I will roll. So what we're, what's going to happen is you guys be like, okay, we want a pitfall trap here. I'm going to roll and just see how the how fast it takes them to complete it. And then depending on that, like it'll affect how much time you have remaining. So you can't just obviously like, fill everything up with traps. There's a right. bit of a limit here. <laughs> The only one that's for free are all of these bear traps, and these you I will actually give you guys permission to access these. Okay. So you guys can do that. What would you do if you just came to a city and like the whole place was just traps? There was no, <laughs> right? there was no ground. Some unknowing like visitor is like, wow, this looks like a cute little village. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> what are you oh, gonna I, do? <laughs> I sure can't wait to trade my goods at this lovely little village. Ah! No, we done told you it was a tourist trap. <laughs> the bed and breakfast, the bread and breakfast. I can't talk. The bed and breakfast is <laughs> temporarily closed. Yeah, temporarily. Until further noticed. Any objections to putting a pit trap where I'm stood? Right where you stood, right like, underneath not you. Literally, as I'm there. I have no, I have no <laughs> objections to you putting a trap immediately under your feet, <laughs> and bad guys just fall. Let's get one here. What? 
just <laughs> immediately exists. <laughs> well, there he goes, I guess. I guess goblins work faster than we thought. <laughs> You're too good at it. Alrighty. Lily's you guys are okay with... out of personally placing bear traps for reasons. Mm-hmm. Cheers. There goes a trap right there. So I'm gonna roll. This will be an athletics check from the humans. That's what they're gonna do. Great. Half an hour. It takes them half an hour and they dig a giant pit in the middle of the room. Yeah, meet me in the fucking pit. Yeah, Those guys yeah. know their way around an owl. <laughs> and you watch as the goblins gather like branches and trees and stuff off the ground and cover the pit up very, very well and meticulously. So you have a hidden pit trap. Nice. Right there. We probably want to put some of these bear traps like in the surrounding trees, right? Because if they right. start to like go around the path. Yeah. Yeah. Scattered, because I assume they'll be. Uh... We don't want them all clustered together. Mm -hmm. You guys should be able to click and drag the bear traps now. I've given okay. permission. So if you guys want to place yes. them anywhere you want, you can go ahead and do that. Oh, I In terms the wrong of one. like the <laughs> overall environment, is it like fairly overgrown or is it kind of like it quite is, easy to see or it's quite easy to see. This this land is maintained. Um okay. so like there's there's trees obviously, but they're they're respected. They're kept where they are and like, you know, with your advice they've cut down selectively. Um, there is one tree that's been felled and hasn't been collected, but it's like, it's an older tree. It had some rot in it. Um, but beyond that, like there is no difficult terrain. Um, so mm -hmm. they could easily move through the space as easily as you guys can as well. Okay. So there's no sneak attacking and hiding in the undergrowth as a bear. Oh yeah, right, you can, gotcha. you can, you can oh, hide. I can still, like, I can still yeah. be a stealth bear. Cool. Yep. Just the hiding. <laughs> as long hiding as I don't is... pick polar bear, we should be all right. <laughs> <laughs> hiding is an action, so like anyone can do that. Um, only for rogues okay. is it a bonus action. So you guys could absolutely try and like pitch an ambush for sure. Because some of us are super stealthy and are just really good at it. And yeah, <laughs> I love all these traps being peppered around. This is good. I had a question, real quick, mm -hmm. Monty, about the spell stuff. Where's the slots remaining? What does that mean? Like, there's slots I mean, total, slots remaining. Uh, so that's how many you have. So you should have four level ones, uh, three level threes, and three level... Uh, sorry, three level twos and three level threes, which basically... Think of them like cartridges, okay. like like bullets, I guess, in the chamber. Okay. So if you, right. you know, so if you cast, like, you know, speak with animals at level one, then you remove a slot and you have three remaining, essentially. So your spells are limited, but... Okay, so I should remove that because I spoke with the chipmunk earlier? Uh, I use your your uh, gnome racial ability, the gnomes, the speak with small beasts, essentially, which allows ah, you to okay. kind of generally discuss. If you had if you had selected um, speak with animals, you would you would have a hundred percent understood what the what the chipmunk was saying. So yeah, you're good okay. there. It sounded like he was That's an authority for a second. You're like, I spoke with a chipmunk earlier. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I spoke with the chipmunk earlier, and <laughs> <laughs> should have our reservations. Uh... Uh, yeah, yeah, please. Um, all right. Looks like we have what one we trap left here. Yeah, so these are snare traps. They have to be set around trees, obviously, because the tree is going to be what lifts right. them up. Ah. Mm -hmm. So there's some limits okay. to that, and that's going to be a goblin trap that's going to be set up. You can also do that log track like you did. We can just make it, you know, improvise that up. That's totally fine. You guys want to hang this? that from the... Sorry. Good. No, you go. I was just going to ask if I can take this last trap, because it's not... Near yeah, trees. yeah, yeah. Let's put it here. We definitely, we definitely need to do the 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 logs hitting people thing in various forms because I think one hundred percent. It's important to me. You've 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 put it into my head, and now it has to happen. <laughs> yeah, the Home Alone theme has been put into everybody's head. We, we need yeah, some Home form. Alone, and then the Star Wars fight. Yeah. We need to do both. If only we had like a rusty nail to put on a staircase, but never mind. Oh, damn, mean, Lily. Oh, damn, time. Lily. Holy oh, shit. <laughs> I crave That's violence. Under, underneath her exterior, there's a murderer. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think we have bear traps for? <laughs> As long as this all ends with us singing Yub Yub. <laughs> yub Nub, is that what it is? I don't remember what it's called. I know what you mean. Yeah. <laughs> what do we, we want to move this snare trap. Is it just the one? Uh, no, you can make however many you have. Just remember, the amount of time it takes for them to build these will eat into your, your prep time, essentially, is what, what's we, happening. We've only so. done, like, half an hour so half far. Half an hour. So yeah. plenty to play 12 with. hours. Yeah, you, you can play, place another 11 hours and 30 minutes left, so. 
maybe we, we want to like pet people traps. Sorry, yeah, we could put like oh, pitbulls yeah. between in the big gaps between trees. Good call. That might work because they'll okay. naturally want to go that way. Especially this one where it's got like two bear traps. It's like, okay, we finally navigate around those bear traps. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Literally, anytime anyone says it, I think you're saying Pitbull, and I think Mr. Worldwide <laughs> made these traps for us. <laughs> Thanks, Pitbull. <laughs> Thank you. Shout out. Oh, <laughs> Pitbull would have loved this. <laughs> he was here. Uh, so you guys have control of the rope trap and the pit trap. So if ever, if you guys want to place them, you just have to let me know. I'm placing a pit trap here. I want it to be big. Then I have to roll for it, essentially. Okay. So, so for like your guys' you, mm -hmm. maybe a pit trap hereabouts. Sure. Okay. You want oh, to do a large one or do you want to do a small one? Uh, for this one, I mean, let's do a large one just so it covers more area. We got it. Okay. Oh, I grabbed it by mistake. You're Question, good. does Ozzy have any level of specialization in things that explode, either like intentionally yes. or by accident? He has or, fireball well, prepared, yeah. Uh, unfortunately, this trap I was wondering if we can get like bottles of things that explode and pelt them from the trees uh that is with the scroll so the scroll fireball is for okay yeah that's a that's a big 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 one uh the uh, men kind of come over and begin to dig and they're getting a little tired uh, unfortunately that one took an hour so you guys have 10 hours and 30 minutes uh, we want to put like a pit trap like over here somewhere that's a good call like further down yeah yeah which trees are we putting the logs between my assumption, actually, now, now that we've got that area sort of pitfalled, we could put it between the two on the left, like uh, around hereabouts. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that works. You want to put the log trap there? I think that's a good call. Okay. I'm going <clears> to <throat> do this like this. It's going to look kind of weird, but trust me. <laughs> Looks like spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely spaghetti. plate of spaghetti. Oh, spaghetti. <laughs> Very nice. So you guys set up this log trap. Let me see how the goblins do on this one. It will distract our enemy because they'll be like, oh, hey, spaghetti. And they'll... Okay. <laughs> Good news is they completed the log trap and they succeeded. It only takes an hour instead of two hours. Yay. Nice. So it's nine hours and 30 minutes remaining. Log trap is set up. All right. Anybody else want to put a trap down? I still think we should do a pit somewhere near the entrance way over here. That's we a good have call. bear traps, but. I'm a fan of pits. How do yeah. you ping? Like, I saw you pinging. I keep uh, moving. If you <laughs> hold down on the select key, it lets you ping it out. So if you're on the arrow, it lets oh, you... Yeah, okay. there you go. Thank you. Oh, oh just, just we're like learning. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> like, yeah! <laughs> Woo! Uh -huh. that's, that's, that's the Roll20 experience right there. It's like, oh, I did not... Dude, there's stuff I have, I still don't know how to do on this program. And it's, You can even change so. your color, so I can change it to red. So now it's a oh, red. Well, I'm going to go green because I'm a forest druid thing. There you go. How do you change the color? You click on, you the, click color, on the color. The color on roll what? Oh, <laughs> technology. It's wild. You guys uh, want to put a pit there? Something we can do with this tree that's been felled, but not Yeah, put over here. Oh, yeah. It's like just hanging there, ripe for murder. <laughs> we can use this as an instrument mm. for murder. That tree looks guilty. You know, you know, in like um in Bloodborne, where there's that that one tree in the I want to I keep trying to say the Forbidden Forest, but that's not it. That's Harry Potter. <laughs> the there's it's like the snake forest, and there's like oh, one yeah. tree, and it swings down and just absolutely like decks you in the face. It's like a horizontal one. I feel like this tree is already like the almost the width between this tree and this tree, so you could kind of do that. And just murder with the kind of want to have it where they pull it, yeah, like swings over. That could work, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, just, just, just like it swings through and like absolutely smacks someone. Yeah. The pit is dug. Unfortunately, it takes an hour as they failed their check. Uh, uh, dang it! Yeah, so we you guys messed have eight up hours. And, yeah, <laughs> we'll yeah, get back in thirty minutes. Let me grab. You guys want to do that log trap where the log just like swings out and like like sweeps people away? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. and presumably if someone's not particularly hardy, a giant ass log would actually really hurt. Ooh, yeah. the goblins love your plan. Uh, they they <laughs> play with flying colors. Nice. And they are going to set that up for you. Lily is heading towards honorary goblin status with flying colors, apparently. <laughs> You're green right too, you know, with your green clothes and you know, yeah, forest exactly. good. Yeah. 
I love this sideways trap. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It works. It's, a, it's technically, it falls under rope trap. So this looks like a shit post. I, I love it. <laughs> Does anybody have like any like ball bearings or like cow traps on them that they could easily toss down? I must do, surely. Let's see. <laughs> yeah. I don't know uh, you guys have seven hours and 30 minutes left reading. as you guys are preparing this stuff. I have a ball bearings bag of a thousand. And uh, I have, let's see what else. I don't know if I, I have. I, I have tangle, but I can't use that until we fight. I have thieves' tools, but I don't think that's the same as traps. No, that's like pick locks and stuff, unfortunately. Okay. Yeah. I got a well, torch. I've got the, I've got the ball <laughs> whoa, bearings. Is that... Whoa, whoa, no whacking. Holy shit. <laughs> that I, yeah, listen, if we set the town on fire, there'll be nothing for them to take. <laughs> <laughs> the definition of guerrilla warfare. Yeah, it's it really will be ever bright. No. Scorched <laughs> earth strategy is not what we're aiming for, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> How bad do you want to win, okay? <laughs> it's not about survival, it's about winning! Yeah, what could you can't I do take with... our town, I already did. What could I do with these ball bearings? Uh, so, how many do you have? It says I have a bag of a thousand. Okay, so that will fill one. That'll fill one five foot square, and it basically oh. can knock people prone. Essentially, yeah. If we want to do home alone, you can just wait till they come and then throw them like marbles, and they'll go whoa, yep. whoa. Oh, so basically, it's probably best, yeah. It's probably best to wait until combat or till they they're actually here. Yep. Then, okay. you could use that as an action to throw those out if you wish. Yeah, that works. <laughs> Otherwise, I don't know if I have anything that would be of use. Do we need like? something like here ish i feel like this is kind of bare compared to some of the other places but more pits it might not matter <laughs> more pit. another pit there's another pits one. everywhere more pits <laughs> <laughs> just dig up the whole place all right are we putting spikes in these pits or did we decide not to be that bloodthirsty uh that will add more time but you can yeah we can you can. We, can we have it yet. It. it's it's up to you it's up to <laughs> you guys know. You can do one pit with spikes in it if you want to. Yeah, as, as a treat, like, we can have some. unlucky person gets one spike, but all the other guys fall in and they're like, it's okay, guys, it's just a fall. And then someone's like, oh, okay, that's fine. They step and spikes. Yeah. Yeah, get that them when they're, when they're not expecting it. Some psychological sense warfare. Of security. Nice I, love, I, love how, I love how Lily is the one who's just like, okay, we can do some psychological warfare, right? We'll put some <laughs> spikes. And everyone's like, looking like, holy, holy shit, what the? I'm like, yeah. let's be Ewoks. <laughs> I mean, kind of. That's I mean, kind of what the, you're the doing. Creature, the creatures are missing. They want to log everything. You know, <laughs> Lily woke up and she chose violence. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Finn very much uh, underestimated Lily, and the the more bloodthirsty her plans go, the more he's like, "What the? F okay, <laughs> whoa, all <laughs> sure. right." Sure. All right, you guys have six hours and thirty minutes left. Unfortunately, the digging took a while. If you guys want to put spike traps in, that's an additional roll. Do you want to put spike traps in one of the pits? Let's put some maybe spike traps in the one in the path itself. Or... Got it. Yeah. Roll for the goblins here. Yeah, it's like if you dare to be stupid enough to advance like straight through, then the punishment is, you know. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So the one in the middle has spikes. The goblins get to work immediately. You can hear stir of a barking orders. I'm just going to draw a little symbol here just to evoke that there are spikes here. It's beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> I agree with Lily that I think we need something over here, though, too. Yeah. Whereabouts? Uh, is there just a side. random pit hanging up over here? Is that so that we can put more pits down? Yeah, so those are just like, those are those are just click oh, and drag okay. ones, so I can yeah. copy and paste them. Oh, okay. Here, I can give you one if you want. Boop. There you go. Your own pit, just for you. <laughs> <laughs> Your very own pit. And she goes. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> this is my pit. It was made for me. <laughs> <laughs> this hole was made for me. Yeah, what if one of us just hides in one of the pits, and then when they fall down, we fight them gladiator style? I mean, I, I mean, you could. Me. You absolutely could do that. <laughs> Until but everybody you... falls down and you get crushed. <laughs> yeah, you could also get crushed, though. There is well, that one v one as well. this. One v one me in the pit. Finn covers himself in mud and leaves, <laughs> and just like stands up very slowly. <laughs> That's actually a point. Can we like, you know, you, you, can we cover ourselves in mud? Yeah, we, we did. You, we you did guys... just bath all bad guys, but it might actually be an advantage to cover ourselves in mud. Yeah, yeah Ozzy, can, you... can Ozzy give us back the filth? 
uh, uh yeah, sure. Uh, he, here you go. And he just kind of takes like a bucket of dirt and just kind of pours it out on top of old bad guys. Perfect. <laughs> okay. What about the rest of them? Yeah, more for bad guys, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You put more on bad Lily, guys. Lily is what? doing her, her, her war paint and mud. Yeah. She, she is so ready. She's going in. <laughs> Commando style. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. You guys have six hours remaining to put down traps. Right. Uh, well, aside from the pits and... Do? Yeah. What else do we have available? You guys do have snare traps as well that are like they can basically, yeah, catch people kind of like you know, old, oh, yeah, old hunting trap snares. style. Yeah, we could throw some more snares. Like maybe okay. like here where it's like dense with trees and stuff. Yeah, and... there's a bit of a hole there that the people could funnel through. Got it. Yeah. Well, the goblins are rolling so much better than the humans right now, by the way. <laughs> they're, they're in their element. Sweet. You guys have five hours and thirty minutes remaining. As you set a uh, snare trap there. Where are the holes in our defenses? Maybe like... I, think I keep thinking it's like here, but the, the yeah. oak tree is so big. Yeah, here, here we were. Yeah, the general top left, I think, seems fairly bad. And then right at the very top right, there's only like one little bear trap. Can we oh. do barricades? Uh, basically, what's around you is going to be counted as your barricades. Um, okay. Barricades won't provide. Unfortunately, I don't run cover. Um, which will hopefully change in the future. Uh, so there's no benefit to barricades, unfortunately. Could we, if we have knowledge that there are horses coming, can we set up like ground spike deterrents? Like, you know how, um, oh, yeah, they yeah, do, like, like they discourage cavalry charges with like spears, yeah, like those, is yeah, that we, what can we do those, can do? yeah, yeah, those would take a while to make though, um, but it is completely possible to do. Yeah, Seems we will have six say, hours, so we could give it a go if, if you guys want to. I will to. say to I'm convey down. that, we'll do a bear trap that's just elongated. And the longer <laughs> you make it, the more time it takes, essentially. So Longer. We'll start, we'll start, <laughs> say it, start at two. We will How make long... the longest one possible. Just be like, ever longer, made. longer, and have it like from here over to like here. <laughs> just cover We're that expecting some wide bears. <laughs> oh my god. Just keep what are you going to do? It, 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 place a barricade it means they will avoid probably avoid that pathway mm -hmm. it will mean they'll funnel but it will mean they will avoid some of your traps potentially as well so just be keep that in mind as you place these things we could place you're saying like we should be using strategy okay mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> well, if we, if strategy we push them into like this game? place this place is fucked <laughs> there's so much yeah. stuff here yeah. <laughs> there's a lot of stuff there i would say we'll closer so... to you would be the wiser choice yeah yeah mm -hmm. I mean, I could even move these bear traps by, like, the entranceway, and then they could That's funnel fair. into the path. That's a good idea. I don't know where we want to move these. Uh... Honestly, moving them from the right side is a good idea. Uh, question. Yeah, the, the, the eagle mounts that they were talking about, do they actually fly? Is all of this for moot if they just fly into the center? They do of the fly, so there is probably... Oh, they do have some air cavalry as well, so... I don't know how to trap air cavalry. We have, like, <laughs> I don't know, catapults or something. Uh, <laughs> listen... As beautiful as the <laughs> ultimate weapon of the trebuchet is, unfortunately, you know you do not have the time, nor the resources, nor the engineer to make Shame. a catapult. It Please is... launch me at the enemy at full <laughs> speed. <laughs> oh my god! I wish. I, mean, I, I, we... I, I I wish. Do we still have like a shit ton of rope? Could we do something with the rope? You could make like actually. I'm just I'm imagining Finn flying through the air. You guys could attempt to make a seesaw, like kind of a, a poor man's <laughs> poor man's catapult if you wanted to attempt to do something like that. I love dumb bullshit, so I would love to do that. Let's is anyone else against it? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. It's, it's your hit points, my dude. Let's go. Let's <laughs> well, let me see if I can find a token for this. Sweet. Yeah, Finn is getting paid to to be a mercenary no fear just <laughs> i would i would like a giant children's plastic seesaw as the token for this yes. yeah it has to be fisher price brand shiny you plastic. know what you know what i'll go do that right now while you guys are talking about what to accept do here. no do substitutes <laughs> it's it's red and yellow it's perfect <laughs> i can't wait for it to be the secret weapon that saves the day <laughs> 
I'm gonna try to find it. <laughs> That's such an ominous picture of a seesaw. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh... I'm imagining Finn crammed into one of those Fisher Price little <laughs> red and yellow cars. Now the little. You know? Oh yeah. Oh, I had one of those. I was like, yeah, they were fun. They were so fun. <laughs> They were so cute. Trying to ride it away from the dogs chasing him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the beginning. <laughs> the origin story of Finn. Yeah. And then, then I decided to kill people for a living because I was just... That was easier. <laughs> yeah. All right, here we go. I'm going to give you guys your, your seesaw. It took me like a couple seconds <laughs> to do, luckily. Our seesaw. <laughs> your... your, your, oh. your there you go. Yes! Yes! Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> there you go. It's even smiling at us. Yep. It's a little crocodile one. For those of you who are watching, listening in on the podcast, it's a crocodile Fisher Price seesaw. <laughs> I thought I was going nuts. I was trying to find phantom audio because I kept hearing like like what sounded like static, but I just realized it's ambient like forest noises yeah. playing in the game. <laughs> yep. I was like, what is that noise? Because it is, it is nighttime for you guys. Um, in terms of where we want to set ourselves, I'm thinking maybe Lily should be hiding in a tree as well, and then she can oh, like, yeah. descend on them, like <laughs> like the predator. What's this? <laughs> Sorry. What's this thing right here? Uh, this is a you broken down cart. I want to yeah. hide under the cart. Absolutely. <laughs> you kind of flip it over on its side and then kind of hide Yay. underneath it. <laughs> I want to. I want to be in the big tree. I am very at home in big trees. Okay, go ahead and roll an acrobatics or athletics check to climb the tree. Oh no! Okay. <laughs> yep. Climb the tree. Uh, acrobatics or athletics? You said. Yeah. Well, I definitely don't want to do a athletics. Nice. Ah. Natural twenty <laughs> for Lily. Lily, you politely ask the tree. I imagine if you can climb it, I'm sure. Yes. <laughs> and expertly, very experienced, you just without even showing any signs of effort, you manage to just disappear into the 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 canopy of the trees. Just wait until like you know like drop bears. Lily's gonna be a drop bear. <laughs> He's just gonna come out of that tree. It's gonna be great. Finn would like to hide in a tree as well. Okay. Where would you like to hide, Finn? Uh, good question. Actually, I might... I don't know if that's a good spot for me because it would be great if I could come up behind people and sneak attack them. So maybe I should be further in. Yeah, whatever you'd like. How many more hours do we have to set up traps? We need more traps. Uh, five hours and 30 minutes. You can Definitely also set up uh, barricades. You also now have the uh, poor man's trebuchet or the poor man's catapult. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, we never set up the barricade. Is this it here? Yeah, you can use that. Oh, yeah. Let me know how long you want it and where you would like it. Where should we... Like, do we want to use it as a funnel or do we want to use it as, like, the last resort if the cavalry gets through? Because there's, like, not... There's, like, one spike trap and a bear trap. You, you can always... Like, Cut it you can use entrance. it to like kind of frame around the village a little bit. Actually, that might not yeah, be a like bad there idea. or something. Okay, you want it about that size, or do you want it like one length bigger? What do you guys think? I think that works. Yeah. Okay. Just the uh, two, or the? Or do we the... do we want it like to cover this bit too? There. Yeah, okay. let's do that. Well, if you make it one smaller, we could move the bear trap up like by one, oh. and then if they go through, they get caught in the bear trap. They get like caught either right way, there. I guess. It depends on, like, how... <laughs> Does it take more time to make it bigger? Because if so, then we can... Make yes, it, it will take more time to make yeah. it bigger. Okay. Mm, okay. I think small, this is fine. Then. Yeah, that works. Yeah. Yeah. I might go in this tree with the uh, phantom limb over here. Okay. <laughs> because you're such great friends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Finn was going to go in that tree, but may... do you think it'd be too much for three people in there? Should I? Nope. Should Finn go... You like could you one. could you could join Lily too if you wanted to as well. There's plenty of room in that tree. That is true. Nell's bad too. Could, or you could go in this <laughs> tree as well. Um hmm. let's try for, for this tree down here. 
you got it. Go ahead and roll in athletics or acrobatics. And same with you, old bad guys. You need to roll if you're going to oh, climb the tree as well. okay, yes. Yeah, Phantom Loom's staying on the ground. She's actually not going to climb into the tree. She's going to be on the ground level. Oh, no. Finn. Finn got a seven. Oh, oh no, How did you Finn? Finn? Well, you got a crit fail. You got a crit failure, yeah. Oh, Finn sustains an injury before we even start and just... <laughs> Uh, Lily, as you're kind of getting ready and, and setting up in the tree, you watch as, like, you know, Finn kind of, I imagine, you, you would stride up to the, how do you stride up to the tree, Finn? Confidently? Yes. <laughs> yeah, you kind of, like, stride up to the tree, and as you grab, like, the first branch, it breaks out of your hands. Don't oh, shit! <laughs> you toss it aside, and you just kind of use your cat claws and kind of climb up a little bit, and, like, it's a new tree. Your your claws kind of like peel through the bark a little bit and you kind of slide down like a cat on curtains and kind of land <laughs> on the ground. <laughs> like the entire time this is going on, Lily's like flinching as if it causes her physical pain to watch you carve into that tree. <laughs> no one saw eight. that. <laughs> I rolled an 18. Okay. Uh, you... Or 22. You got 22. Oh, sorry. I thought we were going with the... The f I didn't know how we did it, but yes, yeah, roll it's 22. In the, yeah, 22, yeah. Easy enough, you just kind of climb up the tree really easily, and you just see the corner of your eye, Finn, struggling ah. to get up this tree. I just shake my head, roll my eyes, and say, piece of piss. <laughs> Shut up! I, mean, I know we're not done. Like uh, maybe I should be on the side with Lily, so that way we have two on either side. Mm. And we can be friends. It'll be great. Yeah. I, Gilly loves I friends. room in my tree. Gilly likes being with the sociable one. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, I guess I can try and jump up there. Yeah, go ahead and roll uh, acrobatics or athletics of your choice with advantage because you're mirthful leap because you have that as a satyr. Cool. Stop nice. 20. You just hop from branch to branch landing and kind of perching at a three-point landing next to Lily. Uh, eventually, Finn, you <laughs> begrudgingly use your climbing speed to get at the top of your tree. Just uh, you pretend guys... the dog is chasing you. <laughs> you, guys... <laughs> <laughs> you guys still have traps you may place. You have five hours and 30 minutes remaining. All right. Oh, actually, cool. I gotta roll for that barricade, actually, first. Because I haven't rolled for Oh, yeah, yeah. That's humans. Ooh, okay, you guys have uh, three hours and 30 minutes now remaining, unfortunately. Yep. Why are the Where are we humans putting, uh... so bad? <laughs> They're rolling under 10. It's rough. Where are we putting the, the trebuchet, the, the quote unquote trebuchet? <laughs> <laughs> the poor man's like... catapult. The one who created it should uh, decide where to put it, I feel like. <laughs> who created it? No <laughs> acting. Think... Yeah. Oh, uh... yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. That's a good question. Me being in the tree. Yeah, I guess that's... I will say probably somewhere inside the square would be good because then the people there can man them and you guys don't have to worry about them too much. Yeah. Right here is good. Be like the last resort step. Do we actually have anyone with ranged capabilities or are we going to be having a really bad time with those uh, eagles? Depends on what sort of range capabilities you want. Mine come with a bit of destructiveness, but I can do it. I have a, a short bow. Nice. Yeah, Gilly, or um, Lily, how much did you like the trees? Gilly has to know. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question. It's <laughs> friends with these trees, but... Yeah. Okay, we'll see what happens. <laughs> Collateral damage trees. In war, there are sacrifices. <laughs> <laughs> we... We should not have been praising the goblins so much. They rolled a natural one to create their catapult. Dang. Oh. This is what happens. They get big heads. <laughs> you, get, you guys have one hour and 30 minutes remaining to prepare. Is there yeah. anywhere you think we should be covering more? Like, do we need another between tree anywhere? Or Yeah, I feel like something on this left side, maybe, or right here where I saw Ping on the right side. Yeah, it's, I feel like it's either there or there, maybe, or maybe, I don't know. Maybe maybe just a couple more pits in those spots? We could yeah, move, like, a bear good. trap up here, and we could put a pit right here. That's a good call. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Right. Drop a pit there. More pits. Okay. You guys have 30 minutes remaining. Oh. Oh. 
goblins. <laughs> damn it. <laughs> we could try That's and like... put like a small pit here. They could aim for a big pit, but if they don't finish it fast enough, it could be a small pit. <laughs> that sounds good. Okay, you guys want to put a small pit there to finish it up? Sure. So, does somebody have to be operating this seesaw? <laughs> uh, yes, the goblins will be. Uh, the goblins excitedly are operating this for you, <laughs> Hell yeah. just to make life easier. All right, you guys have set up quite the quite the trap setup. This is great. I'm so glad we did this. That was good, guys. <laughs> that was really creative as well. I actually pulled up my simple traps list here. Uh, For people in the podcast, they are not missing much. It's a lot of chaos. It's a lot of chaos. Yeah, <laughs> it's beautiful. Uh, so you guys have quite a few set up, and as you guys kind of get prepared in space your weapons ready, your allies in position. That's where we're going to take our break. Oh. Ready for battle. Yep. You guys may prepare for battle. So you guys can get up and grab snacks and do whatever it is you wish to do. Sure thing. Uh, I'll be right back. 10 minutes or so. And then we'll be back for the combat. Also, hi, chat. Oh, chat wasn't bored during our trap lane. No, that's fun. I, it's 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 good. I like you guys coming up with like the the, the, the poor man's catapult. Like that's totally plausible, and like all this other stuff. Is awkward. I don't know if anybody else is hanging around during the break, and I'm not good at entertaining chat. Welcome to the Shea Halftime Show! <laughs> no! We need to bring Bosco in just for this moment. Yeah, sorry. Monty can still hear me, so I can't reveal any of her secrets right now. Oh, Bosco's in the chat! Bosco, I need you to entertain chat for me. <laughs> at least until other people get back and can entertain. I don't know. I can't call you, Bosco. I don't have you on Discord. And I need Bonty here to do it. <laughs> I would, though. It's not my moment. I'm a, I'm a failure. I don't, I don't know anything about current events. I don't... I don't watch the news. I, the Olympic, the Olympics is going on, guys. Tell them about the butterfly pinning stuff. That shit's cool. Oh yeah, okay, yeah. I'll tell them about my nerdy life. Okay, I work at a museum, and uh, I was casually preparing for work the other day, and I sent a picture into my group chat because I was like, "Hey guys, this is me preparing for work, and I just have a desk full of dead butterflies." because I'm doing a butterfly pinning workshop and I get to like count out the butterflies and test pin and make my own butterfly spreading boards. But yeah, so my job's a little different. And you know, when I send pictures off to like Monty about what I get to do for my job, it's a little bit different than uh, other people's work. <laughs> I think I- got your stick bugs. I, and I may also have a tank of like 20 stick bugs in my bedroom too. So I, I appreciate that Monty's helping me try to keep you guys entertained by telling them about how nerdy I am. But yes, I have like a tank full of stick bugs. Monty supplied the tank. It used to be her fish tank. And then she was like, I don't need this tank anymore. And it takes up too much room. Do you want it? And I'm like, dude, yeah, I have a bunch of stick bugs. I'm going to toss them in that tank. It's great. It has like a mesh lid so they can all just hang from the top. You know, every, when that stick bug meme was going around, I was getting so many pictures and videos of that stick bug meme because obviously I'm the only like relevant person that they can send it to if they know a person with stick bugs. So I'm back. I'm here to save you. <laughs> Thank God. I remember, I remember like when that meme was going around, you were like, it's my time now. <laughs> It was my time, man. <laughs> God, yeah, no. Like, when else am I going to, like, rub my stick bugs in everybody else's face? 
Okay, right. thank you, uh, like Bosco. You're 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 too kind to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is. I think this is. Yeah, your first time on the. You, so actually, you know what you could tell them about is you could tell them about the one-off. The remember the private one-off you guys did with that cave that you guys oh. found. In That's actually the, true. Yeah, if anybody yeah. watches the Unexpectables recently or like frequently, which I would hope that you all do if you're here, there was when everybody came back after Seika left the team and everybody came back to Alavast, there was a mission report called Gilly's Report. This is the Gilly that wrote that report. So mm -hmm. it was myself, Draco, Heartsey, and Gaius that did that mission. Um, if if you guys want to know about why Myrtle was crushed by a rhino, now is the time to ask if you guys remember that. And I totally did not explain it inside <laughs> the report. <laughs> Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> I very intentionally wrote that Myrtle was crushed by a rhino and did not explain at all where the rhino came from or how Myrtle was crushed by the rhino. Myrtle was a druid, a cobalt druid, who uh, maybe summoned a rhino and the fire giant maybe threw said rhino at Myrtle and it caused a lot of damage, as I recall. Oh, yeah, it hurt. <laughs> They, uh, the, they, you guys found the fire giant underneath in that cavern that would basically survive through the war. And like, uh, you know, they, uh, you had to deal with that problem. <laughs> yeah, uh, no, Gilly tried to negotiate with him to start with, uh, but, uh, it didn't go so well. He wanted to enslave mm -hmm. her and yeah, it was, fire giants, man. It was pretty similar, I think, when Sheru's character spoke giant and the fire giant was immediately like, oh, this person's going to be useful. It was the same sort yeah. of idea. They love translators. <laughs> they love translators because it means they can uh, give more accurate orders to their slaves if they have a common language and they have someone who can speak on their behalf, essentially. So, so yeah, maybe coming in. We have some people coming in, apparently, from Joe Cat stream. I hope uh, uh, Balconist Necro Hunt was good. And that's kind of coming to a close here. But again, no no spoilers in chat for those of you guys, those who may want to watch that and may have missed it. But yeah, your guys' game is very, very unique. I like yours is like, okay, set up traps and then you guys have to basically endure. You guys have a timed thing here. So I'm very excited for that. Ooh, see how well we endure. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry for whoever has to audio edit this because I put myself on mute in Discord, but in the audio recording, I am eating soup on the break. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> it's totally fine. Oh my god, Ozark Shadow, thank you so much for the 10,000 bits. Some funding for the Shea Halftime Show. Also, y'all are doing great this session. Lots of fun. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah, you guys are more... You guys are less... It's weird. We went. To, we had like our extremely bombastic like goon party, and now you guys are a more controlled like hmm, strokes chin kind of party, which I kind of <laughs> like. Oh yeah, no, I I listened to the last episode. That was uh, <laughs> that was a trip. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> also, thanks again, Jay, for joining us. Kind of last minute due to uh, unfortunately the person who was going to be our fourth uh, had a scheduling conflict and had to step out. So uh, Shay stepped in. Um, and kind of got involved pretty quickly. So yeah, and also a big shout out to uh, Brachyzoid. Uh, Brachyzoid has been doing all of the artwork for these one shots uh, with all the character headshots. Um, he is a huge nerd, but he's also a very hard worker. Uh, so thank you so much to, to Brachyzoid, uh, at Brachyzoid on Twitter, to uh, to for basically for doing all this artwork. And he's he's been a storm. Like he's gotten so much stuff done, so. Hell yeah, yeah, he's a beast. Yeah, Brack your fucking rolls. Good job. Yeah, he's a, he's a good egg. He's very mad at me right now because I keep getting shinies in Pokemon Arceus and he's <laughs> really upset about it. And I'm like, I'm sorry. It keeps happening too. Like, I've stopped posting them because I don't want to upset him anymore. <laughs> Maybe just give him advantage on a couple of rolls on our Mad Mage like session just to make it up to him. No! You know? <laughs> Absolutely not. He's a halfling. He already has luck in his favor. Like, he's fine. <laughs> oh, that, that's true. Yeah, he is a halfling. Okay. Yeah, he is. He's got that halfling luck. Instead of sports and world news from Bosco, Shay's halftime show is about museums and fun job facts. Yeah, it's significantly better. <laughs> I'm just joking. Hey, man, um, I, I enjoy being able to go to work and uh, be like, what am I going to do today? Should I uh, polish some resin blocks with uh, dead spiders or uh, toads in it? Uh, should I? 
<laughs> pin some butterflies. Uh, <laughs> it's wild. Like, I remember coming back from university and you're like, yeah, I'm a bug scientist now. I'm like, what? <laughs> like, it's just like, huh? It's great. Though. Yeah, I think I corrected you on something on the Unexpectables too when you were like describing yeah, dragonflies. Yeah, did. It was the dragonfly thing. Like, the. It was the, the, the the Snurf Niblim used uh, dead dragonfly to be like armor and stuff. And I'm like, oh yeah, it's like really pretty and glittery. And then Shay was like, um, hey, Moni, uh, actual bug scientist Shay here. Uh, when dragonflies die, their actual exoskeleton like turns into like a uh, brown color. So actually, uh... their colors was... are metabolically maintained. So when they die, <laughs> they can't maintain their colors anymore. And they just turn kind of like dull gray brown. Yeah, they're not so pretty. <laughs> And I was like, Shay, the magic, shush, shush your face. That's so funny. Yeah, no, I got schooled. I was like, damn it. <laughs> Silence, don't speak. People will find out. Look at this told great, gross, brown armor. <laughs> Oh, yeah. man. I mean, I told you outside a stream. It's not like I, like, sent bits to you and we're like, was okay, I know, okay, I know. <laughs> I, I also, I, I was, I, I just remember when we were driving and like, I was in the parking lot and you're like, okay, just, you know, like inch up a little bit. And I went, and I went, eh, and I was like, like that. And you were like, you just started fucking laughing your ass off. Cause I like literally was an actual inch. Yeah. When you tell somebody <laughs> driving like, oh, just can you scooch up just a little bit? You, you usually mean like a good foot or something like to actually make some distance. She literally went, I don't know if it's even possible to move your car a centimeter, but she moved it a centimeter. And I was like, <laughs> Are you, are you are you kidding me, Monty? <laughs> I was like, no. You just no. started laughing at me, and I was just so embarrassed. I was like, wait, okay, my bad. You, you got it on the next one. You were like, okay, like right here, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, right here is good. This is what I meant. Okay. Baby, 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 babu steps. Yeah, baby is steps. everybody back yet? Is yes. lives are you back? I'm here. Yeah. Okay, sweet. All right. Are you guys good to get into it? Let's Should be. be. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, let's, let's go do for it. it. As you guys sit in position, the sky begins to burn a reddish orange color. I would like everybody for me to roll perception checks, please. Okay. Oh, before we start, can I cast aid on everybody? Yeah, absolutely. You want to okay. click and tell everybody what aid does? Yeah, I'll tell everybody. Oh my god, I grabbed my sheet and it just closed on me. <laughs> Here, I'll put it into chat. There you go. Okay. So, uh, everybody, you guys gain, so your hit point maximum goes up by five. So, say if your hit point maximum is like 40, it now is 45, and you gain those hit points as well. Oh. Hell yeah. Should we change that on the sheet, or will yep. you keep in track? Okay. I will, I will do that for you, actually, on your sheet. I'll do a plus five. Thank you. Can you, can you do it for me, too? Oh no. <laughs> uh, I would just say for you guys, just remember that you have plus five to your health, essentially. Okay. Or write it down. And it's plus five to your maximum hit points, too. So if you guys get healed, you will heal up to that new plus five, at least for eight hours. Mm -hmm. I, oh, fucked cool. up. I, I, I was trying to figure out how to do it, and I've given myself one hit point. Oh, no. <laughs> uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Don't fall out of the tree, old bad guys. <laughs> oh no. no. I would just write it down on a piece of paper, just add five to your hit points and just have that down on a piece of paper. And then okay. once you kind of go past that five, then you can just start applying that to your, your health and your sheet if you want. Okay. I trust you guys to be honest with your health. I, I hope none of you are going to cheat. I have 105 hit points. Wow. Okay. All right. All right. Hold up now. <laughs> Listen. I'm a everyone very keeps... strong, big cat. You are not level 12, Remy. You are you. <laughs> so, uh, perception checks. Lily, you got a... 23. Gilly, you got a... 9. And Old Bad Guys, you got... Uh, sorry, uh, 7. And then Finn, you got... 16. Okay. Lily and Finn. It's not what you see, it's what you smell that catches your attention. And no, it is not Lily. <laughs> it is actually a much more foreboding odor, the smell of burning trees. And you realize that glow yeah. over the horizon is not a sunrise, but fire. 
oh, a large okay. forest fire beckoning and help and heralding a huh. dire dire situation so okay. we don't smell Lily's weed. pissed no <laughs> Yeah, Burning trees, really. I thought. <laughs> you <laughs> hear the tree beneath you creak almost in anger as the forest at a distance is apparently burning. Probably a way to flush things out. And as you guys are kind of standing in place, you see birds streaking across the trees, cawing madly in fear. You see little woodland critters like climbing to safe refuge. And as the chaos begins, you begin to hear yelling and voices and i need everybody for me to roll initiative hmm. on your character sheet it should say initiative you just need to click that button see they had my idea of, of burning and uh don't like they it did. <laughs> that, that thing that was not an initiative roll yeah that's an what, intelligence what, what, there. and that's very funny you, that i failed did an the intelligence, intelligence i failed the intelligence quiz <laughs> So your initiative is going to be, there's your armor class. It's like that shield shape. To the left of that is your initiative. That makes sense. Here we go. There we go. Much better. Alrighty. I mean, it's, it's not really better, but. <laughs> it's appropriate. <laughs> I so rolled it. All I ask is for your patience with all these traps. When sure. they need to be calculated, I will need to take time to calculate them. No worries. Let's see here. Right, I have your guys's perfect. If they destroy the seesaw, then that'll be the <laughs> worst possible outcome. Now it's time. Now the time for war begins. <laughs> that one single smiling seesaw on the map. Very <laughs> yeah. foreboding. It is. It's dangerous. It's like the Majora's Mask Moon. <laughs> We have music playing, so it's hard, but, you know, the theme. Yeah. <laughs> All yeah, right. you're, doing, you're doing great. I can't do math under regular circumstances, and you're doing it with music in the background and, uh, and an audience. Oh, so, yeah. Uh... Oh, yeah. It's, it's, uh, I told myself when I was younger, when I was, like, in elementary school, I'm like, I'm never going to have a career where I have to do any math ever. I promised myself. <laughs> I lied. I I big lied to myself. We didn't know that you'd have to do it to have fun. So this is a fun yeah. thing. It's like, oh well, it math does, also. It does it does make it fun. I remember can I can I put you on the spot, Noaki? I just I had to yeah. laugh a little bit because like Zito mentioned that you were like I was asking him like, okay, which I know about Noacking as a player, and Zito's just like, you know, Noacking doesn't like the math aspect. And I remember <laughs> yeah. you being like, okay, like I can't wait to join, but a bad at math. I'm like, that's the thing, Noacking. The computer does all the math for you, and you were just went like you 180. And you were like, yes, like, <laughs> so, like just powered up suddenly. I was like, okay. yeah, hell yeah, I'm sold. That's it. That's all we needed. Perfect. I'm an English major. I think I failed like two or three math classes in college. So oh. if you allow me to just push a button and math do, yes. I'm with that. I agree. Science, yes. Math, no. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. So you begin to hear the sounds of encroaching soldiers, the galloping of feet, and the blaring calls of a, a horn. You then see in different corners of this, the city laying their defenses and engaging. And as combat begins, we're going to start with old bad guys. You do not see anybody just yet within your purview, but you are currently perched in the tree. Is there anything you would like to do on your turn? Would you like to hold an action or just stay tight and wait and see what happens? Uh, I mean, I don't really think there's much I can do from, from this point. Uh, yeah, I, I guess hold an action. I don't I don't really know that. I assume that means I can do another mm -hmm. action next time. Yeah, basically it means like if you select if you want to hold an action, it's like okay, I want to throw a dart if I see someone get within my range, essentially. Oh, so it has okay. to have oh like Overwatch. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, 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 basically an Overwatch. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll go into Overwatch with my short bow <laughs> if that's possible. Absolutely. What will be the trigger for the Overwatch? Uh, seeing anything I don't like aside from the group around me that we are friends. You got it. Alrighty, so you are holding your action We're with friends. your bow. 
Aww. Also, please ignore my cat. I don't know why she's meowing. She just got fed. No, let oh, that's, them play. that's me. I'm in the tree and I'm scared that I'm meowing. <laughs> oh, oh, no. <laughs> Alrighty, Gilly, it is now your turn. Okay. Um, I don't know. Should I prepare a spell in case they enter my view or just let them get caught in traps to start? You just remember that if you prepare a spell and it doesn't go off, it does uh, consume the spell slot. I have learned recently, so. Oh. Well, the trigger for my spell would be if they actually showed up. Like, I would target yeah, them, but like, over here. If they but... don't, and you, you did that as your held action, you lose that spell slot, is what I'm saying. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. I guess I can wait. Uh... Yeah, I don't want to, like, ruin anybody, like, Lily's, like, stealthy position. I guess I can hold off. Okay, you got it. It is now the enemy's turn. Okay. That makes life really easy. You watch as galloping forward out of the forest. How far can this thing move? Oh, oh boy. That's not a good sign. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. But it's going to hit something. You watch bursting through, galloping through triggers this trap here. Gilly, I imagine you're holding on to this log, and as you <laughs> let it go, it whoosh, swings forward and... Knock him off. Knock him off. Yeah. What's your uh, spell saving throw, Gilly? I believe it is 14. 14, okay. This will be for the horse. The horse is going to make the saving throw because it's reacting. <laughs> it's going to be a dexterity saving throw of 14. Yep. Uh, that is going to be a failure. That's an 11. So as you let loose, the log collides into the side of the horse. The horse is flung through the air and smashes up against the other tree. Uh, I would like for you to roll 3d6 bludgeoning damage, please, for me. Wow. 16. That's a good right. roll. Oh. <laughs> All righty. As the horse collides, its body falls still as it has been slain. And the rider oh, God, stands up from his horse and draws a spear. Uh, and... He is going to stay where he is and hold an action to attack anything that attacks him. That that uh, trap is now spent. Did its job well. It did, yeah. Killed a horse. <laughs> sorry, Lily. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry. These are these are evil horses. They've joined the evil army. <laughs> their eyes glow red. Their actions. <laughs> they this have is black not a good manes. day for Lily. <laughs> no. I did imagine a horse rolling dice, and that was very fun to see in my <laughs> Didn't roll them well, unfortunately. Those Holy crew, it failed. <laughs> Another horse and rider come barreling out, and they hit the bear trap here. I actually gotta look up the bear trap stats. Ah, oh, man, it's his identical twin brother. <laughs> come to avenge him. <laughs> Alrighty. And he's riding the horse's identical twin brother. <laughs> I would like, you know what? Let's let Lily do this trap this time. Uh, oh. I would like you to roll a d20 plus eight, if you wouldn't mind. So just roll a d20 and roll 20, and we'll add a plus eight to that. I don't remember how to do that. Is so on the left roll side. Roll or... Yeah, you could do oh. slash roll d d20. That, that works fine, too. And then plus eight? Yep, plus eight. Oh, my God. 23. That <laughs> hits. As the horse comes galloping, uh, I need you to roll 1d10, please, for me. 1d10 points of damage. Six points of damage. As the horse comes gabbling out, gam like galloping out, you hear a, like a snap noise, and the horse is like, like swings onto the ground and slides, the rider managing to stay on. And as the horse gets back on its leg, its movement is now zero, and it takes six points of piercing damage. 
Well, at least that one didn't die. You just horrifically wounded it. Horse. That one there? Yeah, for yeah. I mean, you know what they say about a horse with a broken leg. Better than a horse with a broken heart. That's beautiful. <laughs> Especially coming from old bear guys. Uh, I've known a few broken hearted horses in my time. Most direct route. They're going to take that. Uh, a sixth rider. Uh, unfortunately, dodges most of these traps as they take a path up to here. Uh, old bag eyes. That triggers your held action, though. As you see an individual oh, yeah. galloping forward, are you going to aim for the rider or the horse? That's the, the big rider, because the horse. What the fuck's it going to do? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Go ahead and roll the hit. How do I do this, sir? Uh, go ahead and just click your on the your short bow. Uh, yep. Go ahead okay. and hit short bow. Uh, oh, that did damage. You want to hit the the number like the plus? Oh, I apologize. Yeah. The plus. Oh yes, I see it. Ignore that last thing. Mm -hmm. Nice. That absolutely hits. Yeah. Right between the eyes. Go ahead and roll damage, and you get your sneak attack because you were hidden. All right. So. How, how do I do sneak attack, or is that just the same? Uh, just click the... Uh, so what you did before, uh, yes. do that again, because that base gave you gave us your damage. So, okay. oh my god. Holy shit. Okay, so as you aim the shot, and you see the, the rider galloping past your beautiful traps you worked so hard to make, you yeah. let loose an arrow shot, and this guy gets pinned to the side of the tree and is dead. <laughs> Bullseye! <laughs> the horse looks confused as it kind of... <laughs> Be free! Go! Get out of here! And as it, like, does so, and you're like, oh, be free, the horse slowly turns, and you can almost see the angry eyebrows as it narrows its eyes towards you. Oh, bloody hell. They, they are evil. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <The> evil horses? <laughs> Oh, they didn't sign up for this. <laughs> Quick, Lily, talk them out of it. <laughs> uh, that one is... Yep, that one's gonna... Okay, here we go. This rider and horse, first of all, hit this bear trap. I would like, you know what? Finn's close. Finn, why don't you roll a d20? So in uh, roll 20, just type slash roll 20. <laughs> Let's see. Nope, didn't. Okay. Is it a oh, space? Roll, roll? D, roll d20, sorry. That's okay. Roll, yeah, slash roll space d20. I'm silly. Hold on. <laughs> You're good. You're fine. Third tries that. Yeah, natural nice. 20, right? <laughs> oh my god. Wait, did it roll? <laughs> It, I it, think you have to type one d twenty. Gosh dang oh, it! Oh, so yeah. you just rolled twenty? I just <laughs> rolled twenty. What if I just yeah. rolled twenty? It's a one-sided <laughs> yeah. die that has twenty. <laughs> yeah, because it would have been uh, green if it were a legit roll. I was like, wait a minute. Roll one d twenty. I'm so sorry. I don't know why. No, oh, you're good. You're good. Okay, slash. Mm -hmm. Um, roll. slash rolling roll. roll. Space one d twenty. Mm -hmm. Okay, nice. 18. Oh Still good. That's a that is a twenty six to hit. Can you for me roll a d ten now? So <laughs> slash roll space one d ten. This is a test of sorts. Okay, four points. Hey. As this horse is galloping forward. You hear another snap as the horse's leg catches in this trap, and it takes four points of damage. Hey. The rider's like, what is this? It kind of like tries to struggle on the horse. Uh, that is the enemy's turn. Um, as they actually only see old bad guys and they cannot hit you at the moment. But I do you know rude what? gestures. They will dismount their horses, though. The ones who have been trapped, they're going to dismount their horses. And this guy is going to stumble kind of off the side there. Yeah, that come and have a go. 
That's the enemy's turn. Lily, it is now your turn. Can I? Can I jump from the tree and become a bear as I'm jumping? Ooh, Absolutely. Very, <laughs> very the battle wish, of the five armies. <laughs> yes, I, I wish to become a bear as I as I, I li I'm gonna drop bear these dudes. I'm gonna, hit, I'm, gonna I'm gonna jump down onto the, the dudes and before I transform. L Lily, who's been like, she's she's like crying and shaking because there are trees on fire, there are horses that are dying, and the horses also <laughs> seem to have been like, I don't know, brainwashed into becoming evil horses, which is just, which is just horrid. And she, <laughs> she's like, she stands up and she's sniffling and she goes, pick a god and pray! And she, 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 she... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah! Really? <laughs> All right, what are you turning into? I, I, I am 100% becoming a bear, like a cave bear, whatever bear, bear. it is, that one that we, yeah, that the, I think it's like the CR2 cave bear. Yeah, 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 you got it. Let me grab that stat lock here. I knew I smelled bear. <laughs> <laughs> These horses are going to have a heart attack. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Alrighty, I'm going to grab you just so you have this uh, on hand. Lines. I'm just going to grab this for you real fast. Oh. Alrighty. You become large. Where are you dropping? You want to see where you want to go? <laughs> you become large. Mm. Yes. Yes. How much, how much damage? Like, I think these guys over here are clustered close together. I think that might mean the most damage possible. If, okay. I, if I drop bear onto these men's gear, or... Hmm. You launch into the air, and <laughs> this massive bear just howls in front of these guys, and they go, Whoa! they, like, lift up their spears in fear. <laughs> and I am going to give you your stat block here. There you are. <laughs> Bear dot JPEG. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There's your stuff that you can do. Do I get the aid health added when I am bear? Yep. Still have the, nice. the additional there. So that's uh, 47. I can do basic math. Yep. <laughs> cool. All right. I gotta if remember. If that's incorrect, how to whatever. It's your game. I'll I'll give you give you but it anyway. You it's more fun. <laughs> All right. So as you land on the ground, that's your bonus action to transform, and you have your multi attack as a bear. What would you like to do? I I would like to murder one of these dudes. Okay. Who would you like to murder? The one to the north or the one to the left of you? Can I tell if one of them is weaker than the other? Like, is is? Uh, can I, can I, I see would how say... injured the, the the man who got thrown is? Uh, the man who got thrown is actually fine. He's got, like, a little bit of a oh, scuff okay. on the face. He's fine. Uh, the other guy just kind of dismounted his horse, and he's mm -hmm. completely fine. So the one to the north here is a little scuffed up, but he hasn't seemed to have taken any damage. Okay. But you watch as, like, um, the one to the north, like, brings up his spear and goes, Demon! Kill it! And kind of yells at you. <laughs> okay, well, he called me a demon, so he's fucked. Let's go. <laughs> All right, let's go. Oh, I'm so glad you're back alive. This is great. <laughs> This is where I roll ones for the rest of the campaign after that. <laughs> oh. All right, so I, I don't remember. Could you walk me through how to do my whole multi-attack so thing of nonsense? You just attack twice. So you're going to start with your bite attack. So you're going to roll a d20 plus seven. Uh... Ooh. Oh! <laughs> oh, yeah, it's not a one. <laughs> Natural 20. <laughs> All right, now you need to roll 2d8 plus 5 for the crit. Oh my god. Wow. You guys, Gilly, as you're up in the tree, just kind of like assessing, like, okay, good, the traps are working. You watch as Lily stands up, wipes the tear on her faces, and just jumps out of the tree like a skydiver, transforms into a bear, slams on the ground, and the guy goes, it's a demon, kill it! And as before you can even get an attack off, the bear mouth just like, you you eat the entire guy's head up to his chest <laughs> and you just shake him like a like a dog toy until his chest flies free of his head and slams against the side of the tree and he is very dead. <laughs> <laughs> 
the other guy like shirks back and is like looking up in terror and he's like oh, you still have your claw attack if you wish i wish i wish to claw the other man while he is frightened you got it <laughs> okay so the claw is 2d6 no uh the claw attack is yep 2d6 plus five okay. but you have to hit first so it's plus so it's d20 plus seven first to hit okay 1d20 plus Seven. If you crit again, I swear to God. <laughs> oh! Oh my God! Damn. Oh! Oh my God! I'm glad I'm here to see this. <laughs> she is the anti mark. Yeah, I, I was about to say. I can't believe this. Hell Holy yeah! Holy shit, limes. <laughs> Go oh, ahead. Okay. One she came in here for violence and violence only. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Oh. Oh, <laughs> pray. Roll. Okay, so now you roll four d six plus five. <laughs> oh my goodness! Sorry. Right, here we go. <laughs> oh my! Oh my god! You, as this guy lifts up, you like backhand the spear out of the way, and you just claw him upwards up the front. He flies like ten feet in the air and crashes into the ground like a crumpled heap. They are both dead. Holy. <laughs> Yeah, remind okay. me never to mention that she smells ever again. <laughs> uh, is that your turn? That's your bonus action, action, and movement. So I imagine yep. you're going to stay there? We're good. Yep, we're good. Okay. <laughs> Whew. All right. Amazing. Finn, it is now your turn. Jesus Christ. Okay, let's follow that. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, so I'm still... Am I still in the tree? You are, yes. You are perched in the tree. You're about 20 feet up in the air, I'd say. Hmm. There's no more guys, like, at least right now, there's no guys here, so there's, I should probably go. There's one, one guy, guy here. There's also the horse, and this horse that has murderous intent. Hmm. Is it fucked up if I go for the horse? <laughs> like, this... Up to you. It's not, it's not <laughs> fucked up, I don't think. But... <laughs> He's just a horse, but... um, You say that, but... <laughs> Yeah, if it has murderous intent. I'll, I'll go after the guy. Can I, this guy? Okay, you got it. He dismounted, so you, you could aim for him as he dismounts. Cool. Well, I'm I'm still in the tree, so I guess maybe I should like throw like a hand axe or something, or will it reach that far? Uh, Let's see, hand axe. That's a good question, Mega Man. <laughs> Get the range on that. And I think I also have a longbow, if that would be better. So you can, I believe, reach him. But it will be with disadvantage, I meaning you roll twice and you take the lower roll, so you have a lesser chance to hit him. And you said you had a longbow? Longbow is probably better. I believe the longbow has a better range overall. All right. Yeah, let's go for the longbow. How do I... All right. So what you want to click is the number, the plus whatever number next to the longbow, and you want to click that to start. 11. As you let loose the arrow, the horse sees it coming and kind of like back kicks it out of the air and kind of <laughs> snorts at you as your arrow shot misses, unfortunately. God damn it. <laughs> but the you horse. are a fighter. You are a fighter, so you get a second attack. Oh, okay. I'm going to try again with the longbow. Got it. That horse Paul blotted you. <laughs> that hits. That's you a did. 19. Hey. So, so go ahead and click the longbow name. I believe will give you the damage that you do. Like the... Uh... The actual longbow isn't clickable. Do, oh, do you mean like damage next to longbow? Yeah, the, da the damage number, yeah. Cool. Nice, eight piercing. As the horse tries to block the blow again, you manage to get right between the legs and you strike the guy in his side. As Aha. he takes eight points of damage. He is still standing, though. Yeah, fuck off, horse. <laughs> Alrighty, you want to stay up there, Finn? Yeah. <laughs> All right, this is cozy. stay perched up there and you kind of grab another arrow and cock it into your bow. Hell yeah. That brings us around to your ally's turn. Uh, Sturva is not nice. <laughs> and she cares not for horses. It is so evil. she's going to charge in. Where is your stat block? Uh, she comes in with her morning star that she kind of brings up, and she is going to swing that down on the horse. Uh, that hits. Ten points of ham damage to the horse. 
And she's going to uh, swing one more time with her morning star on the horse, and that definitely hits. It's the same roll. Eight points of damage. You watch as Sturva comes out and just like brings down the morning star on the side and then brings an uppercut as the horse drops dead on the ground. And as she kind of wipes the blood out of her kind of beard, she turns towards you, old guys, and goes, We goblinoids stick together! Yeah. And brings the thing on her shoulder. That horse was giving me a weird look and in, in all. Oh, what a woman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, Ozzy's going to move forward here, and he's going to be like, oh, geez, oh, geez, okay. <laughs> he kind of rubs his hands, and uh, Peyton Black is just kind of holding firm as he kind of is keeping his eyes down the path. That ends your ally's turn. Old bad guys, it is now your turn. All right, and literally all we're dealing with really is three horses and, a, well, two horses and an injured guy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, it might. Hmm. I I feel like I'm a, I'm still in a, a good spot here in the tree. I might stay here for a bit. I the might. Tree is oh, nice. <laughs> I might. I might. Can I just go into Overwatch again with my? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, you can hold an action okay. if you wish. I'm just gonna keep go, keep going with that then. What will be your held action? Uh, Attack? Sh yes, shooting my my short bow at, at any will... enemy that gets in. You got it. Any enemy that gets kind of within a certain position of you? I'd say probably. Yeah. What, uh... Between me and that horse, yeah. Yeah, like 30 feet, I'd say. Be probably yeah. healthy. You got it. Alrighty. That ends old bag old, old bag eyes turns. I almost told you, called you old baggins for a second. Uh, <laughs> Gilly, it is now your turn. As you just watched below, just the carnage <laughs> of Lily, the sweet, friendly gnome, now just tearing through bodies. Yeah, just like yell down, like, Lily, you're doing great. Um, just remember, if I burn any trees in the future, it's entirely accidental, okay? We can talk it out first. <laughs> Lily just kind of like cranes her head up and roars. <laughs> I hope that was a good response. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna do my bonus action first and I'm gonna cast Spiritual Weapon. You got it. Where would you like your spiritual weapon to be? Um, oh, sorry. Ignore well, whatever that is. <laughs> what? I tried clicking the spell description. <laughs> it just had me spam around. You start to speak. <laughs> that guy speaks in tongues. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're doing great, mate. Whatever that is. <laughs> whatever that is. Uh, eyes are just baby. black spheres. <laughs> I think, okay, let me see. How far can I? We have I believe it's 30 feet, horses. Uh, I think it's a 60 feet, actually. Oh, um, is it? Okay. Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah, it's 60 feet. feet. So, oh. I could probably, yeah, I could easily. What uh, I think I'll place What form does uh, the weapon take? Okay, so I didn't really describe this before, but Gilly's Warhammer, that's, like, the big size of her, like, body and everything, has, like, a couple of, like, little horns, like, on the end. And her spiritual weapon is, like, a comedically, like, large, engulfed, like, size of that. So, like, they just have, like, these huge horns coming out of this, like, tiny hammer, essentially. Looks like a cartoon, sort of. <laughs> All right. I'm assuming you're swinging at the horse. Yep. All right, the 13 does hit. Go ahead and roll damage for the spiritual weapon. Mm. Oh, it's asking me what level I cast it. It's level two, so what? Oh, ten. ten points as your warhammer slams into the horse in the trap. You hear kind of bones crack, and the horse kind of neighs and kind of kicks, but it, its hooves just kind of hurl through the spiritual weapon. A solid hit. That is your bonus action. You have your action. Just remember that you can't cast two spells a turn, so you can only use a cantrip or your action here. Yep, I am aware. But I also have a crossbow. Ah. So I think I am going to strategically stay up here for the moment, but I'll shoot at the rider. You got it. Crossbow. Oh, I think that misses. <laughs> yep, that's a nine. As you kind of go to shoot, he's like pulling the, 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 the arrow that Finn managed to get in his leg. He's like, oh, and he sees you and he brings up his armor and kind of blocks the arrow. He kind of <laughs> yells out, they're up in the trees! No, we're not. Shut up. 
I mean, I'm the only one up in this tree, if that helps. <laughs> no, don't say that. <laughs> there are lots of us. There's hundreds of us in these trees, mate. <laughs> Gilly's got a minus one intelligence. She's she's not planning for strategy. <laughs> yeah, so does Finn. We're there. <laughs> Come squad, let's go. Come squad, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All righty, does that end your turn there, Gilly? Yep, that will end my turn. All righty, it is now the enemy's turn. I'm going to clear out tokens just so this isn't a complete mess. <laughs> it's true, it's true. It'll still be a mess, just... <laughs> It'll be our mess. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Bless this mess. All right, I'm going to run through <laughs> the enemies that are currently on screen at the moment. Uh, this horse uh, is going to actually attempt to attack you, uh, Lily. Oh, oh, no. With its hoof attack. I'd like to see it try. <laughs> That's a natural one. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> right. Damn. What did Lily do uh, before this session to get, like, all the good <laughs> Yeah, did you like sell your soul? Bear really is fucking dominating everything. You need What's to tell Mark your secrets, because Mark is gonna be really jealous. Uh that is also I rolled the the, the severity and it was reasonably severe. Uh Lily, I would like for you to make uh roll a claw attack damage, so two D six plus five for me. Oh god, okay. <laughs> oh my god. As the horse's like hooves rear up, it starts to like batter on you and like slam on you and neigh and like aggressively pound on you. You take no damage, but these horses, they're evil horses. These horses don't care about the forest. And if you choose, you may kill this horse with your claw attack if you wish. Oh, they do slay the good name of horses. I I would consider it, I, I would consider it a, uh, a mercy. All right, you bring up your claws so misled. <laughs> and you slash the neck of this horse as it falls dead. And the trap has been used, so that is gone. This soldier here is going to charge you with his spear, and he's going to attack you. Uh, that is going to be a 12 to hit you, mm -hmm. which you are a bear, so I believe that matches. And your bear form takes six points of piercing damage as he drives his spear up the back of your hide. Ow. <laughs> uh, the horse is going to attempt to roll a strength check to get out of the bear trap for its action. I do like the idea of the horses rolling dice. Just yeah, like... it's real good. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Stuck in this uh, trap, just quickly rolling a dice, see if it works. <laughs> the... This horse, Finn, you watch as it tries to get out of the trap, but it is stuck. Aha! Right. Why don't you some opposable thumbs? Get out of there, huh? <laughs> the horse looks at you now with murderous intent. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, do not, we need an equivalent of dogs playing poker, where it's just a painting of horses playing D&D. &D. <laughs> <laughs> Rolling them dice. All right. Lily charging out from the woods comes another rider that rides up alongside you. The horse is going to make a hoof attack against you as it charges out and just brings up its feet and clatters against you. Uh, that is going to miss as that is a, uh, a five. No, wait, no, that is a seven that completely misses as the hooves kind of stamp towards you, kind of sidestep to the air, but the rider swings down with his spear. Uh, that is going to be a 18 to hit you. Uh, and that is going to be five points of piercing damage as he kind of stabs you in the shoulder. The rest of you, as, as Lily is currently engaged with combat, watch as a unique rider now rides through the middle of the pathway. You see an armored warhorse, and on the back oh. of it, a fully armored knight. Ugh. Oh who oh, gallops forward towards Sturva and is going to hit this pit. Should I get a shot at him before he hits the pit? Yeah, you absolutely can. Go ahead and roll a shot. Okay. And I just... Monty, I just did. realized I forgot to deduct the health. Yes. I started at 47 oh. and I lost how much? 
Uh, you lost six, I believe, and then you lost five. So you lost 11 hit points. Okay, thank you. Oh yeah, that hits. Okay. <laughs> and is that a sneak attack again? He has not noticed you. This character has not noticed you. So yes, it is. Very nice. It's going to be 19 points of damage. As you notice this armored individual, you just kind of aim your shot right between a couple armored plates, and that should do it. And <laughs> let loose the air, and it strikes him in the shoulder as he's galloping forward. Ooh, la di da, look at me. I'm going to ride up on a big shining horse with shining armor with fires filling the sky so I'm lit up like a big beacon so I can get shot by a very talented goblin. <laughs> He looks at her, Gah! and he kind of looks up and he goes, Goblin in the trees, and yells out. Uh, and now everyone knows your position, because he is oh. a leader. Um, but his horse now has to roll a dexterity saving throw against this pit trap. <laughs> so, let's see. Uh, dexterity, it is a war horse, it's 15 stats. Uh, that is an 11, that is a failure. Oh, wait, oh, no, got... that's, his, that's that's a success, actually. He passes. He just passes. Oh, damn. <laughs> uh, so as he kind of gallops forward, he actually manages to step back right in time before falling into the pit. The horse kind of cocks backwards. It kind of... <sighs> so unfortunately, that slows him down, but he is still going to maneuver around the pit trap, taking into the bushes here. So yeah, he can absolutely get to Sturva. He rolls around to Sturva, and he oh, is no. going to swing at her. Yeah. Let's see here. Sorry, I, just, I got. I'm juggling a lot of sheets. No worries. <laughs> it's absolutely okay. There's no rush. Thank God for these creature cards. Alrighty, he is going to swing twice with his sword. Uh, the first attack is definitely going to hit. It's gonna be... Plus... Uh, Sturva takes nine points of damage as he slices up her center there. And he swings down again for a second strike. Uh, that's also going to hit. Uh, that's going to be an additional ten points to Sturva. As he strikes twice with accurate precision, much more confident than his lackeys Ooh. this uh, night. You see he's wearing like this really stunning, yeah, glittering armor. You actually captured it perfectly. The flames behind kind of flickering and twinkling as he wears a large sun sigil in the center of his chest. That is his turn. And Gilly, you notice coasting through the air now at a distance, coming into a nosedive, an eagle uh, rider. I need you to make a either an athletics or acrobatics of your choice. Okay. Ooh, 21. Yeah, as this eagle comes swooping in and kind of clat, like snatches towards you with claws and talons, you manage to kind of hide behind a branch that smashes the branch. These long, like four to five inch talons just streaking across, and it kind of lets out this horrible screeching swell. And you notice a rider on its back. It's going to aim an arrow towards you with disadvantage because they're within melee range of you. Oh, God. Chaos in the house. Uh, that is definitely going to miss. As they fire the arrow, they just, like, you manage to kind of, like, just side duck it away as the arrow just streaks past and lands on the ground. Uh, the eagle currently is 30 feet up in the air in this tree, currently trying to grab Gilly, it seems. That brings us around, uh, to the last reinforcement. Uh, but wait, there's more. But wait, there's more. <laughs> Finn, can you roll a d20 plus 8 for me again? I sure can. What was it? Uh, so slash roll mm -hmm. space 1d20. 1d20. And do I have to add anything? or? We'll yeah. do it in post. It's totally fine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my god. That's a 24. <laughs> this guy, uh, the horse again. Oh, did I close my traps thing? No. 
There it is. Uh, you hear another snap as the bear trap goes off. Uh, and I need you for, for me to roll a 1d10. So slash roll space 1d10 for me, Finn. Nine. Oh! Oh my god. This horse is galloping <laughs> mock speed, and you hear the snap, and the horse's entire body flips on its back, and you just hear crumbling as the horse immediately dies to the bear trap. <laughs> oh my god! This guy falls forward and kind of scrambles up to his feet, holding his spear. Uh, and he should... does notice you. <laughs> because you are a bright yellow cat in an otherwise unassuming tree. Uh, and he is going to throw his spear at you. Hey, don't. <laughs> no, <Do> stop <laughs> that. You're not allowed. Uh, that is actually probably going to miss. That's a nine. Ah. And your armor class, I believe, is 18, correct? Yeah. All right, yeah, he throws the spear, and you just manage to just kind of kick it out of the way, and it kind of lands next to him, and he scoops it up and kind of points it towards you. That ends the enemy's turn. That brings us now around to Lily. It is now your turn as you've taken a couple of blows to the shoulders. Hello again. Okay, Hello. so double checking. What's surrounding me right now? There's a, is that man still mounted? Oh yeah, he came in late, didn't he? he was like the Yeah, this guy just rushed in and charged you and then this guy attacked you before. So this guy's been here longer. <clears throat> okay. This guy has a death um... wish. <laughs> uh, they both do really. Uh, okay. Um, I forget. Did this, did this dude get hit at all? No, he, he, he ran did. Yeah. Here. He got, he got he shot did. by an arrow. Yeah. Oh, sucks to be that guy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay. I will try and pick him off first. I think you got it. Going for a bite attack. Uh, yeah. What was it? One D 20 plus seven. Plus seven. seven. Yeah. The seven. Oh my god, Ooh. that hits. Yeah, 24. <laughs> absolutely hits. And then it was... For the bite, it's going to be 1d8 plus 5. Boom. 11. Oh my god. You, Ooh. as this guy kind of runs up and he stabs <laughs> you, you kind of bat his spear away, and you he like lets out a scream, and as he screams, he goes, ah! as you just swallow him and just throw him, and he collides <laughs> to the ground dead. <laughs> All this violence. <laughs> okay, um, I would also like to try and claw at the man on his horse. You got it. So that's 1d20 plus 7 again? Yep. Cool. 14. 14. As you go to slash at this man, he brings up and parries the blow with the with the shaft of <gasps> his spear. Unfortunately, does not register. Mm. Hello? Oh. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I acknowledged it, but I think I cut off. Oh, yeah, you cut off. I was, it was met with silence. I'm like, oh no, I've made her angry. Oh no. I was like, <laughs> no, oh, Lily's shit. coming for you now. No, that's fine. I was, you I was like, like, I was like, the game is over. I was like, Mrs. Puff, where it's like, oh, Neptune. Like with the sweating. Like, I was like, oh, Neptune. <laughs> Alrighty, so have your bonus action, your movement. Oh, yeah. Um,. Now, just a reminder, because this was removed and I, I added it back in, but you can heal with your bonus action if you wish to. Um, you can oh, heal can 1d6 I? per to use a spell slot, and you can just heal yourself if you wish to do that. That's That sounds like a nice option. Keep tank and stay on the front lines. I would like to do that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Would you like to... So that you can do... You can roll a number of d6s equal to whatever spell level you use to do it, so... Okay. Uh, I barely remember how this works. Could you walk me through it? Yeah, like so basically, to... so um, if, say, you wanted to heal, like, just 1d6 points of damage, then you just remove a spell slot at first level, and then you would roll 1d6 to heal yourself. But okay, if you're like, oh, I, I want to be healed for... Like three? Yeah, you could do three dice, but you'd have to use up a third level slot to do so. Okay, I don't think I'm going to need to speak with plants anytime soon, so I guess I can use up a third level spell to do that. You got it. Go ahead and roll 3d6, then, if you wish, to heal yourself. Nice. That's heal for all 11. the damage I took so far. That's exactly <laughs> the, the damage you took. Yeah, amazing. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Alrighty. Do you want to stay put there? Yeah. Okay, sounds good. That brings us around to 
Finn, it is now your turn. Uh, this gentleman down here is currently looking to get to you. His horse is crumpled dead behind him. <laughs> yeah, I want to shoot my longbow at him. You got it. Oh, damn. Is that a nat one? That is a nat one. I'm going to roll a severity just to see how bad it is. <laughs> Okay, you just missed. So you fire the shot, he sidesteps it and like kind of parries it, like kicks it away from himself. But you have a second shot. Yeah, yeah. let me do another one. Ooh. Ugh. I'm so Finn. sorry. I'm so sorry, no, no I A natural yeah. two. <laughs> as, you, as you go to aim the second shot, like the branch under your feet kind of snap shut and your claws dig into the bark of the trees and you kind of slip and have to use the longbow to kind of keep yourself in the trees. Um, unfortunately, no shot. I'm so, so sorry, no acting. It's fine. Do I have um, anything? You have, a, you have a bonus action and uh, a movement. You can actually bonus action offhand attack with your hand axe, actually. If you want to throw one now at this guy, you can do that. Yeah, let's try that. Okay, I'll allow for that. Go ahead. That Aha! hits. Hey. There Eight we go. <laughs> go ahead and roll damage. Let's see. Oh, my God. <laughs> 11. Uh, so it is an offhand, so it's just six. You don't get the plus five, unfortunately. But that's still Back. a chunk of damage. Hell yeah. As he kind of is laughing at you, scrambling the trees, you kind of like, you know, your eyes kind of turn to those slits and you kind of dig your claws into the bark and you just grab a hand axe and just whip it and it just slams into his shoulder. He's thrown back a spray of blood scattering across the ground as he takes six points of damage from that. Nah. <laughs> he says, stupid cat. Oh no, you got hurt by the cat in the tree. <laughs> uh, it That is your bonus action. You want to sing up in the tree? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Sounds good. That brings us to your ally's turn. Uh, let's see. What does Ozzy have? Again, I have stacks of things right now. Uh... That's a touch spell. What does he want to do? Sorry, I have reading stuff. I apologize. That's all good. Yeah. I think you're he's just gonna. I think he's just gonna go for a firebolt. Uh, Ozzy is going to aim for the uh, knightly looking fellow with a firebolt attack uh, and hits. Hey. Uh, you see as Ozzy like shakily lifts up a hand and goes, those are my friends. And as he throws out the fireball, it collides with the knight, knocking his helmet off and singeing him for 11 points of damage. Damn, go Ned. Ha, ha, yeah! He lifts both arms in the air and you see like his hands on fire and goes, ah, ah, and he kind of dunks it into like a puddle. <laughs> uh, Peyton Black is going to rush over and he is going to push your poor man's trebuchet over here. <laughs> and he points, he points to some goblins and he goes, load it up! And you watch as they take some logs and like they cover it in pitch and they <laughs> set it on fire. <laughs> Uh, yes. And they aim it towards the eagle. And Picturing the thing on fire like is so good. Disastrous consequences. That it is gonna. Yeah. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? And so it is loaded for their next turn to use for any aerial defense. Uh, that brings us around to Phantom Limb Sterva, who is uh, going to attack the horse. She doesn't like horses. Why does she hate horses? <laughs> I don't like things that are bigger than me! <laughs> Swings. That sounds about right. Uh, where are you, Sturba? There you are. Uh, on the war horse. That hits! And that's gonna be 2d8 points of damage. Uh, great. That's gonna be... Yes. Seven. Seven points of damage to the war horse. And she is going to swing again. Uh, and unfortunately misses with her second attack on the horse. She rolled a two. 
And the horse kind of like break, like she kind of goes for the neck, but there's armor on the neck, and she says, ah, and she like starts swearing in goblin. That ends your ally's turn. Top of the you turn order. Oh, go ahead. You don't want to know what she said. It was very rude. <laughs> Speaking of rude, old bad guys, it's time for you to be rude. It is now your turn. <laughs> All right. Um, so I figure I'm going to come down out of the train trying to help Stover here. Uh, do, do you want to like, do you want to like leap out of the tree with both daggers at the ready? That's what I'm thinking. Will I do more damage if I just leap down on onto them? Or should I like try and be more stealthy? Uh, it's up to you. You could bonus action hide and then attempt to do so. Or if you... Um, Hmm, I'm trying to think of how we can do this. Yeah, it might be a bit weird. How about how about this? If you use your bonus action to hide, uh, and you roll an acrobatics check, and you pass the acrobatics check, if you hit, you get your sneak attack off. Okay. Because you're basically Shadow of the colossus this, essentially. <laughs> so okay. roll for me a acrobatics check. Acrobatics, okay. Yeah. Okay. 12 was the DC. So as you leap out of the tree with both daggers, I say you land on the, the butt end of the horse. Whoop. <laughs> the horse. Sorry. To the front. There you go. You land on the back and you go ahead and go ahead and swing to attack. He is aware of you, though, so there's no advantage for the, the surprise. But if okay. this hits, you get sneak attack damage. So I just did the same thing as before, but with yeah. a, a different weapon, I assume. Yeah, with the dagger. With exactly. the dagger. Okay. Oh. Oh no. Oh no, natural one. I tried something. <laughs> <laughs> okay, as you go to swing, this knight kind of turns around and like brings up his uh, sword and parries the blow as you are now in the back of this horse and you are caught out in the situation. And he kind of snarls at you. <laughs> Ever had one of those days? <laughs> I will see you cut down, vermin. Well, I'd like to cut you down so we'd be face to face for once. All right. Unfortunately, that's your bonus action. Yeah. Action. That is your turn. I am so sorry, Martin. Oh, you're good. It had to happen. <laughs> it has to happen. Yeah. That ends Old Eye's turn. Gilly, it is now your turn as you currently have an eagle shrieking and striking towards you, trying to grab you. Rather rude. <laughs> See something. Uh, can I am I'm gonna start with my action this time. I'm gonna do call lightning centered on this, this point. So sixty okay. foot radius all the way around. Ooh. Can you measure that out for me? Uh sure. Is it a sphere? So, yeah, so it's a sphere, so it goes all the way around. Oh my oh my god. Everything. <laughs> yeah, just stretch it out for me. Yeah. There we go. Uh, I'm just gonna uh, You need me to move my pointer? Just want to make sure I'm measuring this out correctly. I think that should be good, right? Uh, well, it also covers this area too. Actually, no, it would be more. Yeah, it's because it's not. It's not on me. It's from here. So yeah. So it's all the way out to here. Dear Lord, the spell's ridiculous. <laughs> Remember when I mentioned Thor before we started, guys? <laughs> I think, yeah, I think that's good there. Can you measure the other side? Oh yeah, I gotta just move my character sheets in the way a bit. Uh, so and then there. the left side. For the sake of argument, is here okay? <laughs> yeah. I think right here is fine. We get yeah. the idea. It's a big radius. <laughs> <laughs> so as she calls lightning, it doesn't like affect everybody in the square it's just that's the area that she can call lightning into uh she's gonna look at the rider on the eagle and be like um i'm sorry but i think you've mistaken me for an easy target and she's gonna call lightning uh <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> right here <laughs> all righty do i have to make a dex do I have to make a saving throw or is it a, a to hit i can't remember the spell uh, dexterity saving throw on the eagle i'm assuming is what you're aiming for or the rider uh, it would affect both of them. It's within five feet. So if I pull up the spell uh, from the point oh, okay. that I choose, 
Um, each creature within five feet of that point must make a dexterity saving throw, and a creature takes 3d10 lightning damage on a failed save, half as much on a... Jesus lord. Okay, Archer's gonna go first. Uh, uh, that's gonna be a 13. Fails. That's a failure, and the eagle... Even worse, an 11. They both fail. Okay. Go ahead and roll so... your damage. Ah, oh, that's really bad damage. <laughs> okay. Well, that as you works. as you lift your warhammer, the power of Uspa coalesces in the sky as it <sighs> above you and <sighs> a crashing thunderbolt rains down and the eagle and the rider both take 9 points of damage. Yeah, everybody can see a storm cloud up above us now, like way high up in the sky. <laughs> and then in the background, my little uh, spiritual weapon is going to take a swing at the uh, horse. You got it. I just noticed the icon for the spiritual weapon again. It's okay. <laughs> it's, I had to draw a little sword. I really should have a token at this point, but I keep forgetting to make one. <laughs> Alrighty, 23 absolutely hits. Go ahead and roll damage. Six fours. That is a dead horse. The <laughs> horse is bashed into the tree and is no longer alive. Okay. Um, can I still move my spiritual weapon the 20 feet on my turn? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, I think. Just ping where you'd like it to be moved. I think I'll move it over here, just in case they need some help. Why won't it let me pick it up? Come on. I made you. <laughs> I created you too much, I say. I brought you into this map right, and I can you, take you, you out. Can you ping out where you want it? Uh, right here. Swing! It's right there. A giant mystical hammer appears next to you, bag eyes. Oh, whoa, whoa, oh. Giant, okay. <laughs> giant comical horns on the side of it. Okay, I think that's my turn. All right, that ends your turn. Alrighty, it is now the enemy's turn. I'm going to delete the used traps and the enemies on them. Traps have been doing pretty good, though. Yeah, they've been doing work, honestly. Yeah. All right, the rider and the uh, spear bearer next to you, Lily, is going to swing with fervent power. Natural one. What the fuck? <laughs> 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 okay, this time it's just a miss. As the rider goes to, like, spear at you, you bat away the spear, and he kind of <sighs> brings the reins up, and the horse rears up and goes to collide with its hooves. Uh, that is going to be a 10, which I believe misses. It does. It batters you on the shoulders, but you kind of shrug it off with your bear-like strength. The bear, the... despite being a bear, somehow manages to grin at these two. <laughs> You got blood dripping down your maw. It's <laughs> quite gory. Uh, Gilly, give me another athletics or acrobatics of your choice as this eagle is going to try and grab you again. Okay. Ooh, oh. Better. Uh, oh, no. Uh, Gilly. A four. <laughs> you managed to uh, dodge things, but you feel as yourself being grabbed and the eagle. <sighs> takes up an additional 40 feet in the air as you are now 70 feet up in the air at the moment. Oh, no. And you are dangling by a leg at the moment. You can see the, the ground beneath you kind of swirling. Uh, the archer is going to... Options. I'm going to roll a d6. If it's a 1 or a 2, it's going to be Lily. If it's a 3 or a 4, it's going to be a uh, Phantom Loom Server. If it's a 5 or a 6, it's going to be Finn. <laughs> 6! Finn! They're going to aim a shot towards you. Oh, boy. They aim their longbow towards you. Go ahead, make a shot. Scared the crap out of me. Uh, that is going to be a soft 20 to hit you. And I believe that beats your armor class, correct? Because your armor class is 18. Yeah. All right. So unfortunately, as you're kind of your back is turned and you're facing down this pikeman on the ground, you feel a sharp pain enter your back as you are struck for. Let's see, let's see, let's 
Uh, you are struck for eight points of piercing damage to you. Ah, mother, fuck it, what? And they pull out and they fire another shot before you can even react. <laughs> uh, this time you manage to kind of like dodge out of the way as the arrow swings wide and disappears into the trees. And the eagle <laughs> takes up with Gilly in tow. Uh, the pikeman is going to uh, make an acrobatics check to try and climb the tree. <laughs> no, <laughs> this is my tree. And he succeeds. He climbs up the tree and gets into melee with you and kind of stands right. And he goes, that's better. And he is going to swing at you with his spear. You really want to sword fight me in a tree, mate? We can do this. <laughs> Uh, I believe that's going to miss. That's a, a 12. So as he goes to strike with the spear, you manage to kind of lean backwards from his blow and kind of try and tell him off, but he's determined. Uh, the knight is going to attack you, old bad guys, because how dare oh, you? no. <laughs> I made a mistake. <laughs> he brings forth a large greatsword, and he's going to take a swing at you with it. Uh, that is going to be a 19 to hit you. Oh, it's definitely hit me, yeah. As you take... 10 points of slashing damage. As he strikes you across your front, you almost fall back from the horse. And as he brings oh. up a second swing, uh, that is a... 12, which I believe misses. It does. As he rears back his sword, Phantom Limsterva like grabs a piece of the leather, kind of blocks the attack, and he kind of retches forward, trying to slim down at you, and kind of retches his sword flee free as Sterva yells out again in Goblin and says, Goblin, stick together! Nice to not be forgotten. Uh, and that is the current enemies on the field. As we get more you hear more galloping at this point you can hear combat breaking out around the place Two. you watch as a horse gallops forward uh i'm gonna say lily uh go ahead for me and roll a d20 plus eight okie doke Twelve. 12 just hits <gasps> as the riding horse hits uh, the trap. One second. Let me grab the trap. There we go. Uh, I need you to roll for me a d10, please. Two. Two points of damage as the horse is stopped in its tracks. The horse takes two points of damage and the rider takes half of its movement to dismount. He's going to take his remaining movement to charge at you with his spear. And he's going to attack you, Lily. Why they got to hate? Because you're a big threat and they're scary, and you're also covered in blood. Uh, <laughs> that is going to be a soft 20 to hit. Uh, and you take two points of piercing damage as he gets you kind of oh, in the no. side a little bit. <laughs> uh, the horse is unfortunately trapped. And another rider and horse are going to enter into the scene, and they're going to use their full movement here. Uh, yeah, they're going to flank. Needs to ride in and flank Phantom Limb Sterva. What do y'all? And they're going to take a swing towards her. That's absolutely going to hit. Uh, she takes seven points of damage. She's starting to look kind of rough. Uh, and the horse is going to use a hoof attack on her. Where's my horse stats go? There they are. Uh, that is definitely going to hit as well. Horses have very good attacking stats for some reason. It's like they're made of pure malice. <laughs> oh, max damage too. Shit. Uh, as Sterva takes 11 points of damage. That ends the enemy's turn. Okay. That brings us around to Lily. It is now your turn. Time for murder. Okay, I am going to, again, try for the uh, man on the horse. You got it. 
So, uh, I think this is right. Oh no! Oh Eight. no! Natural no. one. Yeah. Okay. I rolled a three. It's just a miss. So as okay. you go to bite, he kind of brings up the spear and like kind of shoves it in your mouth, and you just quickly back away before you take damage. Okay. Uh, I'll follow up with the claw. Got it. There you go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> wow. 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 Meet up wow. For it. Natural 20 <laughs> for a 27. Very nice. Go ahead and roll damage. Okay. So you're going to want to roll 4d6 plus 5. 15. He has exactly 15 hit points. Uh -huh. As you strike him off, he collides into the ground and is completely dead. Um... With my the rest of my turn, mm -hmm. uh, how high up did you say that Gilly was? Uh, Gilly on this eagle is now seventy feet up in the air at the moment. Oh, that's re that's really fucking high. All right, I can't do anything <laughs> about that. I don't think. I think I'm forty feet above the tree and like, which is like thirty three yeah, that, that, feet up from that's the ground. High. Yeah. <laughs> By the okay. way, did we ever discuss who had which uh, squirrels? Because there was yeah, a fly that's one I, in that's there. that's what I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't think we ever did. Yeah, I think like, it was... Ozzy was very nice uh, giving us all these things, and then we just ignored it and <laughs> continued yeah. setting traps. <laughs> how, about, how about we do this just so that way it's like you guys can't meta too bad. I will say the Misty step goes to Lily. Um, I will say the fly... So I'm going to do left to right because I have the list here, which is Misty step, fly, fireball, and invisibility. So I'm going to say left to right is going to be Misty Step for Lily, Fly for Gilly, Fireball for Old Bad Guys, and Invisibility for Finn. How's that sound? Yeah. yeah. That works. Just to make it fair. That works. Okay. Yeah, left to right. So I had All Misty right. Step, right? I'm just going to know You that have Misty Step, step yeah. But you you are a bear. Um, so unless you know some some wizard bears, uh, unfortunately, when you're in no, your no, bear no, form. No, no, no. I wasn't planning on using it as a bear. We're good. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um... Okay, uh, I kind of, like, there, there's other stuff going on. Am I able to move back, uh, like, how do I show movement again? I don't remember how that works. Uh, there's a measuring thing on the left side. There's that little bar, and there's, like, a circle that has, like, a measuring stick inside kind of coming out of it. Uh... You click that, you can measure out stuff. And oh, I will I see, say this. I I will say this: If you move back, the horse and the guy who the the guy to the south of you will get an attack of opportunity on you if you retreat. So just keep that wow, in mind if dicks. you move away. Yeah, they're assholes. Okay. They will absolutely take advantage of that. So. <laughs> okay. Um. I think. I think I'm. Hmm. How far can I move? Uh, as a bear, you can move uh, forty feet. Forty feet. That's that's quite a way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Lily's just concerned that there's a lot going on in the center there, and that people are getting like bodied a little bit. Um, it's real messy in the center. It's, it's a little <laughs> bit messy. So, how many things got an attack of opportunity on me? The horse and the man. The horse and the man. Yeah, just two. Oh well. They also, you can anyway. you can go through the sp the tree space. So okay, I'm gonna go through yeah. the tree space. Um. I'm going to move Lily back a little bit to around here so that she can reposition to do bear things. You got it. <laughs> like that? Yeah. All right. So the horse is going to swing at you. Uh, and actually is going to hit with a 23. Ooh. Again, these horses are full of violence. Uh, but you take only five points of bludgeoning damage as you flee. And then the cool. pikeman rolled a uh, I think that's going to hit you as well because yeah you're a bear that's going to be four, uh, seven, so sorry 15 to hit I apologize mm -hmm. uh, so he's going to get it uh, that is going to be four points of piercing damage as you flee cool alright does that end your turn there uh, can I do anything else you have your bonus action if you wish to, to heal potentially oh okay um yeah, I would like to heal uh, and use two uh, things. Like okay, level second two level slot. Yep. Yeah. So mark off a second level slot and you can roll 2d6 to heal yourself. 
Oh, keep it like I'm gonna double check that and just make sure I'm not using the wrong number. Because it's been a while since I've played a druid. I'm just gonna I'm gonna poke around on your sheet so if you think see things moving, it's me. Okay. I, I just assumed it. it oh, was a I am so sorry. I, I I was incorrect. It's a 1d8, so you get 2d8 to heal. I apologize. Oh. Yeah. That's okay. I didn't miss out on any health points last time, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, you were fine last time, yeah. <laughs> but this time. Nine! Which Perfect. is such a great humble brag. Was, oh, it's okay. It's all right. I was oh, perfect. it didn't matter. I was just, I was so good at the anyway. game. That it didn't you know. Jeez, Monty, this supposed to be hard. Uh, <laughs> a funny what, meme, like it's hard? right? <laughs> Coincidentally, that's the damage I took this turn. So. Of course, yeah, of course. <laughs> all right, is that in your turn, Lily? Yeah. All righty, Finn, there's someone in your tree fort. <laughs> it's mine. <laughs> it's my tree fort. I want to get him out of there. Uh, let's see. Yeah, he's right on me, so I can, like... Yeah, you can melee him. See if you have, like, a sword or something, you can use that instead. Hell yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm going to use the short sword. You got it. Uh, ten, unfortunately, misses. As you go to swing, a branch gets in your way, and you kind of struggle to get it back. Ah, meow. Uh, can I, uh... Do I have another, or can Yeah, I... you have two. You have two attacks a turn. I'll do it again. <laughs> Better this time, Finn. Damn oh, it, no. Finn! <laughs> no, it is not Finn's day. As you uh, swing, he parries the blow with the, the shaft of his spear. It kind of slams into the side of the tree, and, like, pin needles, like pine needles get in his eyes. He's like, ah! And kind of, like, brushing back branches. It's like it's like a slap fight in the trees right now is what happened. You guys are too almost too close to fight. Yeah, this is no good. <laughs> well, you still have a hand axe, right? You do, you have your offhand if you wish to right. use your hand axe. Ooh, yes. Let's do it. Oh! oh hey. Hell oh. yeah. That axe is I, your friend. Oh yeah, that axe <laughs> definitely is doing work. So I want you to roll a slash roll space 1d6 as well, because you're going to do additional damage here. Uh, 1d6? Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> and then I want you to, on your, your sheet, to click the damage roll. Oh my god, so that's gonna be eight points of damage because you don't get your bonus, unfortunately. So that's gonna be eight points of slashing damage. Yeah. Uh, and as he's like scrambling, you just take out your axe and you just decapitate this man. <laughs> and his body <laughs> crashes to the ground and his spear kind of boom, 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 on the How ground. How many corpses don't have heads at this point? This is ridiculous. <laughs> There's a lot of decapitations happening right now. Yeah, Finn, you know, he's just been off guard so many times and then finally just, like, does that. And so he's, like, trying to recover. He had a cool thing to say, but it didn't work the first two times. So now he's trying to, like, mentally recover. And he's pantsing and he goes, Cat, got you, Ed. Ah, oh, he's dead. This isn't... <laughs> <laughs> Very good. All right, it is now your ally's turn. Uh, boy, 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 boy. Let's go from top to bottom. <laughs> yeah. All right, I have to improvise the shit out of this 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 poor man's uh, <laughs> catapult. Uh, you know what? We'll use the bear trap stats. So I would like, because it was your brainchild, no acting. I would like you to roll me another d20. So slash roll one d20. One d20. This would be plus eight. That hits the eagle. Uh, you know what? I would like for you to roll... <sighs> what feels appropriate for this? Um, you know what? Roll roll 3d8. So, slash, roll, space, 3d8. Okay. <laughs> Gilly, as you're, like, flying... Does everyone, has everyone here played Wind Waker? You know when the Helmrock King gets hit by the rock by the pirates in, like, the opening cutscene? <laughs> you know what I'm talking yeah. about? Yeah. Where, like, literally the eagle's flying up with Gilly. This flaming log bashes this eagle on the side of the head as it takes uh, 16 points of damage. It is... Oh, where is its health at? Hold on. Too many pages. Too many notes. Uh, this eagle is on death's door as its neck cracks backwards. Uh, it looks terrible. And Gilly... You feel a bit nervous as you almost feel the grip slipping from where you are at the moment. 
Uh, that is Peyton Black's turn. Ozzy is going to look at the situation. Uh, and he is going to... What are you going to do, Mr. Ozzy? You can... Uh, his best. His best, yeah. <laughs> How far away are you, Finn? I think our seesaw did very well, considering. Yeah, it's yeah. actually pretty quite good. <laughs> Unfortunately, there's nowhere in the player's handbook that says uh, tactical seesaw, so I had to <laughs> figure out a solution here. What? Heat there isn't. Seesaw. <laughs> oh. They gotta add that. You know what? Ozzy's gonna cast fly on himself, actually. Hell yeah. He puts a hand to his chest and he takes off into the air flying. Uh, and he's going to actually fly towards you, Gilly. He's going about here. He's going to fly over here and he's going to go, hold on, hold on, hold on, as he flies towards you. <laughs> uh, looking at his body, does he look like the type that could be able to catch me and carry... <laughs> you get the sense that if he were to catch you, his his arms would pop out of the sockets yeah. and fall to the earth. Yeah, Gilly feels really reassured. <laughs> yeah, he was scared of the sun. I don't think this boy has skin that can... <laughs> uh, Phantom Limb Sterva. Oh boy, she's in a very bad position. Okay. <laughs> Lily and also Limes, this is kind of a weird question. Would you allow Phantom Limb Sterva to ride you into battle? <laughs> I would a hundred percent be down with that. Lily is like basically blood raging, and if it means more damage could possibly be done, <laughs> she is all the way up for that. Let's go. All right. Uh, so Phantom Serva is going to take her action to disengage, which means she does so doesn't take any proper opportunity attacks, and she's going to use half her movement to get away, and the other half to climb on top of the giant bear currently <laughs> that is currently like appeared and turned the corner. And that will be her turn. Uh, actually, as her bonus action, she's going to take her potion because, like I said, she's not doing super hot. So she's going to heal herself. That is going to be. Uh, heals herself for nine hit points. So I'll just handle, handle this night guy on my own, will I? <laughs> she kind of she kinda like wipes her nose and looks and goes, It's a tactical retreat! <laughs> like, kind of gives you a look. All right, that ends your allies' turn. Start of the turn order, old bad guys. It is now your turn as you are still in the back of the horse with this very angry man. Okay, my my inclination is to get away from him, but I imagine he will get some pot shots in if I try. You, as a rogue, you have a bonus action to disengage. Oh. <laughs> so it doesn't take your action, so you can actually move if you wish. All right, I might disengage then and okay. try and... Uh... It, is there some way I can like hide to, to get out of sight so none of the enemies can see me? Uh, you could hide behind this tree, possibly. Okay, so I'll I'll disengage and I'll go hide. <laughs> All right, go ahead and roll, roll a stealth check for me. Oh, did I move myself there? I moved. You? I moved you. Oh, yeah. Okay, stealth check. All right. Oh my god! <laughs> it's like as you like jump back off of the horse, you kind of look side <laughs> to side, and it's like you never existed. He's like, he kind of looks and goes, aberrations. He kind of like looks very serious. <laughs> All right, so we, yeah, I, I just sneak off, be like, Dee. <laughs> literally, yeah. <laughs> All right, that's your action, your movement, and your bonus action. That brings us to Gilly. It is now your turn. Does it actually look like Ozzy has a plan? Like, if I get dropped? No, no? he's panicking. Okay. Yeah, he's panicking. Um, okay. This eagle, by the way, looks terrible like it is literally like like you can feel a spray of water and you're like oh it's raining from my cloud and you're like nope nope that's blood um if i drop i'm 30 feet above the tree but like 70 feet above the ground so by the next turn will i hit that tree like how fast am i dropping i will say since you haven't moved you would fall 40 feet i'd fall 40 feet okay mm -hmm. <sighs> okay i guess I'll use my action to cast fly on myself. I could see that as being a tactical advantage. Right. You <laughs> upside down unravel the spell scroll and read it out and you can feel yourself getting wings almost. 
as two wings sprout out from your back and you now have a flight speed of... I'm going to grab that for you. You get a flight speed of 60 feet. Oh. Hey, I don't really think I have any weapons suitable for offhand combat, so I think I'm just best swinging at this rider with my yeah. spiritual... You got it. You're going to swing at the knight. Yeah. Go ahead and roll to hit. Oh, man. <laughs> As you go to swing, the knight brings up his greatsword and kind of takes the blow. His horse kind of trotting backwards for a moment. It's a heavy shot, but unfortunately he was prepared for it. Well, yeah, the other guy disappeared off of his back, so there was nothing else there, you know? <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I think that's all Gilly can do on her turn. Alrighty. Uh, that brings us around to... Is, are we concerned about the fire at all? Is that spreading? Are we... <laughs> it's fine. Everything is fine. Yeah, don't worry about it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if we ignore it, it will go away. Don't bring it back up. It's fine. <laughs> it's, it's fine. It's fine. Everything's Daijobu. It's okay. All right? <laughs> Alrighty. Sorry, I gotta move stuff around here. So you can probably surmise that this is kind of a wave combat deal. There's a lot mm. of things going on. Really? Would have never guessed. Well, <laughs> fucking shut up, Jay. <laughs> Sorry. I keep forgetting. I'm like, that's how we talk in like real life. And I'm like, right, we're <laughs> screaming. I should probably maybe not do that. But Yeah, I think I remember like an unexpected thing where somebody was surprised when you like called Bosco like a bitch out of like, you know, <laughs> Con, and I was like, no, I was like, she straight up talks to her friends like that. I was like, that is how she talks to us. <laughs> yeah. I have to. You guys are so mean. I have to defend myself. All right. Yeah. How far can you go, little man? You can get here. You watch as a foot soldier runs in and joins his buddy. Actually, I can't bring these guys in first. I have to do the people who are currently on the map. Um,. I got a lot of pieces at play here. And they have a lot of stuff that they can do. Work left to right here. Uh, so this person's dead. Uh, this guy is going to mount this horse with half of his movement. And him and the horse are going to gallop. Uh, they're going to chase after you, Lily. So they can get. Yeah. They chase after you, not letting you out of their way. And they're gonna take some swings at you, Lily. Horse rolls a natural one. Oh my! I've rolled three nat ones against you this game, and you've run like you've rolled like a billion twenties. You're never allowed. No, you're never allowed to complain about your luck ever again, lines ever. In any context, no. In any context. Okay, it's just a miss. Uh, and the rider on the back is going to strike at you, uh, and that is definitely gonna miss. That is only a six. <laughs> Ah, uh, where does the knight want to go? He doesn't know where you went. You know what? He wants to get this invasion under the way underway, so he is going to gallop forward, and he's going to hit this bear trap. I need, um, I'll say old bags. Roll a d20 plus 8 for me. So Okay. Plus 8. Ah. 10. It misses. As he gallops through, he meets with Peyton Black on the field of battle with his horse. I'm moving the catapult over. <laughs> it gets shoved away. <laughs> uh, I like how going... for a second the horse got left behind. I was like, oh no, what happened to it? <laughs> <laughs> uh... Uh, I just want to point this out too, and you would know this, Finn. Uh, Peyton Black has a child, so he is a father. Oh. oh no! Mm -hmm. He is daddy. He is a dad, yeah. Uh, the. Are you just saying that right before you murder him? What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just, just so you out. know, just I so want it know. to fucking hurt. Just. Yeah. <laughs> And just so you know, he's leaving a family behind, and they were trying to pay for his his child's medical bills. So yeah. just so you know, this was his last day before retirement. I don't know if that matters at all. Uh, Monty, Monty did specify you know this, but you don't necessarily care about it. 
Yeah, yes. it's up to you to I know. Finn knows but, but he's the one that pays Finn, so it does actually matter to Finn. You hear a oh. clattering of swords <laughs> as the horse the horse riding knight swings down his great sword and Peyton Black brings up his long sword and parries and you can kind of hear him uh actually you hear him old bag old bag I say I will never be weak not again and the knight is going to swing a second time uh that is definitely going to hit Uh, it's going to be plus. Uh, he takes 10 points of slashing damage as the second great horse, uh, great, great, I almost said great horse, uh, great sword strikes up against his side. He kind of clenches his side. Uh, this rider and this horse are going to charge into you, Lily. The rider's going to attack first. I rolled a three. That's going to miss. The horse is going to attack. Uh, that's going to be a soft 20 from the horse. These horses are dicks. They are yes. big dicks. Yeah. These these guys are bastards, and their horses are worse somehow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, you take 10 points of bludgeoning damage as the horse kind of stampedes Ow. on your face. <laughs> uh, this horse is going to attempt to break free from the, uh, from the bear trap. Uh, and fails, so it is stuck still. And then we have three ones coming in. As another foot soldier comes running in. Uh, Will it never end? Charge for it. Yeah, this is a full on army. This is also happening everywhere else, too. So you just hear battling constantly. Like, this is a full on war happening. And then. They don't know, so they're gonna gallop forward uh, into this bear trap. Snap! I need um, say Gilly. Go ahead and roll a d20 plus eight, please. Okay. Okay, right, that's Ooh. 19. 19. That hits. Go ahead and roll one d10 for me. Okay. Seven. Seven points of damage as this horse hits the bear trap. It snaps. And it is stuck. Uh, the rider will take half of his mount movement to dismount, and he is going to ignore his horse's woes. Uh, <laughs> actually, he's gonna he's gonna move around, so he's gonna go right here, right there. These guys are starting to be kind of rude to me. I don't appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, you're a big bear with a bugbear riding on your back. You're kind of a you know the loudest person here, I would say. Uh, I didn't roll for the eagle or the archer. Actually, I completely forgot to do that. So. They are going to, uh, what can the eagle do to you? Well, that's not aware that you can fly. So the eagle drops you, um, but nothing happens because <laughs> you're flying. Um, and and we just stares head, back at it. <laughs> its beak is broken, so it's going to do one talent attack against you. Uh, and that is going to be a 12 to hit, which I believe misses. Mm, misses. Uh, the archer is going to fire again at you, Finn, because you're troublesome. <laughs> First attack is going to be a 12, which misses. You kind of duck your head down as an arrow shoo, just lands right next to your ear. <laughs> and they fire off a second shot. Uh, and that's an 11. And you dodge again. You manage to kind of bring up You bring up your hand axe, and it just tung, like scatters across your hand axe. Oh, my hand axe. <laughs> this fucking thing is <laughs> so good. And you watch as the, the archer on the back, this elf kind of goes, and kind of pulls another shot. Uh, that ends the enemy's turn. That brings us to Lily. It is now your turn, as you are surrounded by horses and riders right now. And you feel yeah. a hand kind of pat your back shoulder and go, come on, honey, show them what you got. And in response, Lily just, like, roars. And, and you know, she can't actually speak, but it's basically just like, and she's like, she's she's going in. She's gonna kill someone again. <laughs> you got it. Go for it. Okay. Um, can I tell if any of them? I can't remember. Are can I see if any of these things are injured around me? Is there like a, uh, a weak target? I'm just checking their health here. I'd say the one to the south seems to be kind of like 
you know, gangly and kind of not super confident looking. Okay. Then the I'm rider seems man. weak. The horse seems very like like the horse actually is like the buffest horse you've seen in this entire time. <laughs> like it's it's like ripped for no reason. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn! It's All got right. a, a six pack. <laughs> yeah, it's got like a tw it has like a thirty two pack and everything. <laughs> Didn't skip hoof okay, day. Well, no. As much as as Lily doesn't like care for it, she's kind of the horses are hitting her more, so she's gonna try and take out like what she would deem the threat. So I'm gonna aim an attack at the horse. All right, the horse to the south of you. You got it. Yeah, let, let's, let's, let's go. I swear to horse. God, if you get another 20, I swear to God. <laughs> I can't get another 20. That's not happening. Close. Okay. 23 <laughs> hits. Yep. Go ahead and roll your bite attack, which will be 1d8 plus 5. Bite the horse. 10. 10. Not bad. You bite into the neck of the horse, and it kind of like whinnies and kind of tries to kick you off, and you got to just drip down tighter and imagine. Eventually, you kind of take a chunk out of it, but the horse is, like, so thick and, like, shredded. It's, like, <laughs> not as lethal as you expected. You want to go for a claw attack? Yeah, I'm going to follow up with a claw on the horse. Damn, he thick. Damn, he thick, yeah. That hits. 21. 21 All absolutely right. hits. Go ahead and roll 2d6 plus 5. 11. Ooh, and you just, you see an opening in the throat and you just gash its throat open and the horse oh. like whinnies backwards and crumples to the ground as the rider kind of falls off and lands on the ground. Did it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yay. Got him. Yay. Uh, can I... Uh... I just realized I have um bark skin. Can I use that when I'm a bear? Um, or human only. I believe you would have to have used that before you turned it into your bear form. Unfortunately, okay. I'm so sorry. She, she was too angry to use that. All right, mm. can I heal instead? Absolutely, go for it. Okay, I heal. Um, I would like to go for uh level two spell again. I think. You got it. So 2d8. Yeah, 2d8. What does it mean by my spell casting modifier? Uh, that is going to be on your sheet. Uh, your spell attack bonus, your spell casting modifier is your wisdom modifier, which means for you uh, is a plus four. Oh, am I supposed to add that? Uh, let me double check. I don't believe you do, but I'll double check here. I could be completely wrong. Uh, yeah, you only, so it says you only regain 1d8 hit points per level of the spell sod extended. There's no bonus to that. Oh, okay. So it's just, so it's just gonna be 2d8 there. So 2d8, all right. 16. Oh my god! <laughs> Double eights. As the, as the, like, the riders are like, we've got the beast cornered! It's taking wounds! It just stitches up and they go, what the hell is that? <laughs> just, like, <laughs> terrified. <laughs> All right, is that end your turn? Real time, nice. Is <laughs> <laughs> that end your turn, Lily? Uh, yeah, I think so. All righty, Finn, it is now your turn. <laughs> uh, he probably wants to go help. Uh, Mr. Black, I've forgotten his first Peyton. Peyton, yeah. Peyton Black, yeah. Mr. Uh, Black is fine. <laughs> For, um, be, be formal. Let's be formal. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> um. Just remember, he's paying you a ton. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, there we go. A ton. Yeah, Peyton isn't actually his name. It's just a, <laughs> it's what Finn is calling him. Um, how far can I get if I want to run? So through? you you are a tabaxi, and you have a very, very fun ability, um, which I believe is called... I'm going to look this up real fast. Zoomies, I believe. Yeah, you literally <laughs> get cat zoomies. It's pretty great. <laughs> Hell yeah. Check that for you. Just to help you out more in this combat because it's, you know, it's fun to use things you have than to not use them. Yeah. Uh, you get uh, feline agility. Your reflexes and agility allow you to move with a burst of speed. When you move on your turn in combat, you can double your speed until the end of your turn. So if you want to do that, you can move 60 feet. Ooh. So Hell yeah, yeah. you can basically move wherever the hell you want. You can even get right next to Peyton Black if you wanted to. Wow, hell yeah, let's do it. Just, just run over and be like, what's your name again? 
<laughs> now, now run right back. <laughs> you could you could flank with him if you go behind him though. Like if you sandwich this guy, it would Ooh. give you bonuses to hit him. Yeah, let's do that. All right, you spring off of the tree, do a front roll, and then just zoom pass. <laughs> Old bad guys, you watch this as like the springy cheetah cat just rushes past you in a blur of speed. Well, now I've seen everything. <laughs> And you can attack if you wish as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. let's do it. Um, All right. Let's do the hand axe. <laughs> you got it. You're going to just use the hand axes? Mm -hmm. uh, plus two, unfortunately, um, misses the knight. Are you aiming for the knight or the horse, actually? I should probably specify that. Um, I was aiming for the knight. Okay. Yeah, unfortunately, that misses then. Yeah. His armor kind of tanks the blow, but you have a second swing. Yeah, yeah I'm doing good. 16 plus two? Just hits. Yeah. Let's go ahead and roll damage there. Nice. As you kind of spring forward, you swing once, and he kind of backs away at the sudden burst of speed from you, and you swing a second time, slicing through his arm. He is uh -huh. still standing. But he's not looking too good. Don't attack my bank. I mean, friend. What? <laughs> Peyton Black says as he holds up his sword. Not that I'm, I'm here for you, my friend. <laughs> Uh, you have your offhand if you wish to attack a third time with an offhand swing. Ooh, yeah. Go for it. That <laughs> hits. Go ahead and roll damage. That is going to be an additional four points of damage to him. This knight is looking terrible at the moment. Good turn, Finn. That was quite good. Nice oh, yeah. That brings us to your ally's turn. Uh, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Let's see. Uh... <laughs> Ozzy flies over to you, Gilly, and goes, Oh, <laughs> whoops, I forgot I gave you this. Um, uh... <laughs> and he is going to flex his hand, and he is going to cast a... Let's see, what level... He's going to cast a second level magic missile to the archer. Uh, that is going to be 13 points of damage to the archer as he lets lo loose these firing arcane bolts into the archer's sides. Alrighty, and Phantom Limb Sterva. Hmm. Okay, here's here's my question for you, Limes. Do you want Phantom Limb Sterva to hype you up, or do you want Phantom Limb Sterva to attack? It is up to you. To what? What was the first option? Sorry. Uh, do you want Phantom Limb Sterva to hype you up, so like boost you, or do you want Phantom Limb Sterva to attack to help clear out the enemies? Oh, I, I I thought you said like hike me up, and I was like, yeah. she can't lift no. a bear. <laughs> hi, hi, hype you up, hype man. Hi, hi, hype okay, lady okay. Yeah. Um, um. On honestly, it seemed to go very well when she encouraged me that last time. If she if she, if she, if she wants to take some time to, to encourage the bear, then she totally can. Okay. I'm, I'm she okay with that. Encourage the bear. <laughs> encourage the bear. Poke the bear. She slaps your back and goes, you see this? This is a nice bear right here. <laughs> um, it can hold so much murder. It can hold so much murder in it. Uh, you gain advantage on your next attack roll, is basically what that gives you. So the next attack you have, you roll two dice, take the higher number. Nice. Uh, uh, Peyton turns to you, Finn, and goes, Finn, get the knight. I have the four. I have the horse. And he swings with his long sword. Got it. Uh, unfortunately, he misses, but luckily he has two long sword attacks. Uh, that hits. I was gonna say, I have the horse, he lied. <laughs> <laughs> right. I said, you know, like a liar. Like a liar. <laughs> uh, the horse takes eight points of slashing damage as he cleaves into it. It's still alive, but it's also not looking very good. So that ends your ally's turn. That brings us back to the top of the turn, or old bag eyes. It is now your turn. 
All right, I'm gonna cock my sh uh, shot bow and I'm just gonna aim it at the <laughs> knight in between both Peyton and Finn. And I'm gonna let, I, I believe I have a sneak attack as well because I went into hiding. You, have, you also have an ally within five feet as well. What does that mean? So uh, basically it means if you, if you weren't hidden, even if you hit, you get sneak attack proc, but because you're hidden and you were not noticed and you got a natural 20, you get this attack with advantage. Hell yeah. So what go is, ahead and roll. So basically you roll to hit twice and you take the higher roll. Ah, uh, okay, so two rolls, okay. That One. misses. And that unfortunately misses as well. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. I'm they so, so sorry. They did not so want sorry. me to win there. <laughs> it's okay. No, this guy is well armored, unfortunately. As you kind of aim Makes for the back, his back, you let loose the arrow and it shatters across the armor. And he doesn't notice you because he's currently occupied with two individuals, but unfortunately, no purchase. Well, that sucks. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Martin. That's fine. All Nothing right, else I can do, is there? Uh, you have your bonus action, your movement. You could throw a dagger from this position, though. Oh, yeah? Yeah, you could. Because hmm. daggers are ranged. Okay. How? how uh, I'll try that, I guess. <laughs> I'll try that. Might as and well, I'll do it, offhand. I'll do it at the horse. <laughs> okay, you're going to aim for the horse. You got it. How do I do offhand? What is that? Just roll, roll it again. It basically means you don't get your bonus to your attack. Oh! Damn it. Should have got the guy, but... <laughs> oh! And you get your sneak attack off, too. Oh, really? Yeah, because it's your first attack and you turn the hits. So I it's... need you... How many d6s do you have your sneak attack? You know. I believe it's three. You get six this time. Um. So go ahead and just roll your dagger attack. Okay. Roll the attack. Uh, the, da the damage, the damage, the damage okay. button, yeah. yeah okay. Buff horse. 15, 15 damage and roll uh, 3d6 for me. So slash roll space 3d6. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> 23 points of damage. You, you miss the guy and you're like, damn it. You just take out your dagger and you just... And you strike the horse on the back of the head and it just collapses forward in a heap. Yeah. How's that for horse of a different color? Red now because of all the blood. <laughs> uh, he watches the knight kind of lands on the ground and stands up and he turns towards his men and goes, Kill that goddamn goblin! Charming. <laughs> nice to be wanted. <laughs> Listen, if you got haters, you're doing something that people are paying attention to. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> All right, is that your turn, old bags? You don't want to move? That's, yeah, I'll stay where I'm at. All right, you got it. <laughs> Gilly, it is now your turn as you are currently flying. Um, I think she's going to look at them and be like, look, I told you, you underestimated us. You picked the wrong prey. And I think she's going to call lightning down on these two again. You got it. <laughs> Dexterity saving throws, if I'm not mistaken. Correct, correct. Got their stats here. You guys are doing great. So far, yeah. <laughs> uh, that's going to be a success on the eagle. It got a uh, 21. And the archer fails. So go ahead and roll damage. Eagle will take half and the archer will take full. Okay. It's nuts this <laughs> eagle is still alive. I was like, you're still alive? <laughs> All right. Despite succeeding, the eagle dies. It explodes okay. <laughs> into feathers as it is struck by the lightning. So what happens to the rider now? Uh, the rider is going to take 11 points of damage. And uh, is going to have to make a dexterity saving throw. Uh, which they do succeed. And I would like for you, because there's 70 feet in the air, to fall. Roll... So it's 40 feet. So throw 3d6 for me, if you wouldn't mind, Gilly. 13. Oof. They crash into the tree. You see some of the branches snap and twist. And they kind of... Uh, as they have fallen off of their mount and have fallen a decent amount of feet to the ground, the eagle is proper dead. Oh, uh, it is okay. still your turn. You, you have your bonus action, I believe, if you wish to move your spiritual weapon as well. Yeah, sure. This guy looks a little lonely. Let's uh, move my hammer in front of him. <laughs> Shoot. It's a way to put it. Yeah. He needs he needs some company. That absolutely okay. hits. Yeah, that absolutely hits him. Oh, 11. my God. 
dear lord. It smashes him across the head. He reels from the blow. He kind of tries to steady himself, but yeah, he that definitely is a concussion. Yeah, he's going to feel that one in the morning, assuming he ever makes it to the morning. <laughs> okay, Alrighty. I think that's my turn. It is now the enemy's turn. As you guys are having this fight, you can see goblins fighting soldiers, kind of leaping up and stabbing them, and other goblins being cut down wave after wave. You see the townsfolk with their weapons at the ready. Some people even wielding pitchforks, fighting as hard as they can to protect themselves. And you see slowly and slowly encroaching further and closer, this fire getting even closer. And you see a silhouette of a creature, a humanoid creature with angelic wings, approaching closer and closer and closer. What the? You watch uh -oh. as slowly striding forward comes a large sculpture what appears to be uh, an angelic form. I would like everybody, um, with the exception of probably Lily and old bad guys, sorry, guys, um, <laughs> to roll a religion check. Hmm, religion. 11. Well, that sucks, I'm so good at religion. Are you? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I didn't know. <laughs> it's but you're a bear. Like, yeah. Actually, you know what, Religious you're a bear, bear. but you would... You might know. Go ahead and roll. But you can't really convey sure? anything, unfortunately. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, wow. Bears can't be religious. <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying, anything, Monty Glue? I my knowledge. Hmm. <laughs> I, I think an all-powerful okay. god would allow bears into heaven. Unfortunately, uh, none of you are able to quite discern what exactly this thing is depicting. Uh, but all of you know that this is depicting some sort of celestic angel of some kind. But it is clearly a statue. Uh, but as it moves, you notice its palms kind of lift up. And coursing through its palms just comes fire, just cutting through and setting ablaze the trees. And joining it. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Come additional foot soldiers. And. Bloody hell. A rider who hits this trap. So, uh, I'm here too, crap. Well, I, yeah, Finn, if you want to roll a d20 plus eight, so just roll one d20. Uh, unfortunately, that. Uh, actually, no, that just hits, I think, actually. Yeah, it hits. It hits the horse. Aha. So go, ahead, go ahead and roll one d10 for me. Damn. Okay. <laughs> Takes one point of damage. Yeah, at least it's something. <laughs> it is better than nothing. Yeah. But more importantly, that horse is stopped in its tracks and its rider is going to dismount. And similar to his buddies, he's going to... Uh, actually, he's probably going to make his way this way. Yeah. So he's going to move right here. Noticing his dead friend is like, and is going to keep moving. <laughs> That ends the enemy's turn, and I'm going to delete the dead enemies. Just clear up the field. Delete the dead. Delete the dead. All righty. You can feel the flames of war encroaching closer and closer and closer to you as the fight begins. This massive monolithic form. And I will say this. That does not seem like something you guys can stop. No. It is massive and tearing through everything. We have and... a seesaw. <laughs> we, we have a seesaw. <laughs> I've still got my ball bearings. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They'll save the day. Uh, Whoa! I didn't mean to do that. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. Got a Yu-Gi-Oh card with all that text. <laughs> this is, oh, my God. I, was I hate how right you the are. Window. <laughs> and, then, and then Lily, as a bear, gives a monologue to encourage us. <laughs> uh, as By I the way, you little cheap. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. You're right. Uh, Lily, as it is your Lily. turn... <laughs> Thimble yeah. appears and begins to talk to you. And Thimble says in a tiny little squeaky voice, Keep hope and hope will come! A message I'm supposed to deliver! L Lily is confused, but she has never, ever, ever doubted Thimble's sincerity and reliability. From the West will fly hope! A promise returned! Whatever that means. <laughs> 
But it is now your turn, Lily, as you are still still a bear and you are being hyped up by a bugbear. <laughs> Double bear. Uh, your attack next attack will have advantage. So who would you like to aim your ire towards? Okay, Just well, Lily's like, as the fire is encroaching, Lily is super pissed. Like, the more fire, the more upset. So she's going to tear into the horse on the, on the, uh, to her side there. Okay, um, absolutely. So bite attack with advantage. So you want to roll 2d20s. Uh, so you just want to roll basically roll the attack twice and you take the higher roll. Okay. Okay, and roll second one. Okay, that hits. So go ahead and roll yep. uh, 1d8 plus 5. Thirteen. Thirteen points of damage on horse number three. Uh, as you tear into the horse, it is barely hanging on with bated breath as you rip and tear into its throat. Okay. Um, I'm going to follow it up with you got it. McClaw. Well, Lily's just like pure, pure murder. I don't think I've done anything other than murder every yeah. time. It's just like, you, you, what do you want to do? It's like, oh, murder. I'll Are you sure your name isn't Kelly? <laughs> 16 uh, 16 hits the horse absolutely yep uh, I forget what's the claw 2d6 uh, plus 5 2d6 plus 5 9 9 you slash the head off the horse oh no another batting <laughs> now we can make the godfather <laughs> Yeah, Lily's just gonna hold where she is and do as much as she can because she totally trusts in what Thimble said. She has got one. it. Alrighty, that brings us around to Finn. It is now your turn. I'm gonna go for. Fuck him up, Finn. Fuck him up. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna go for the guy because, like. Alright, you leap on top of the stump with your sword or your, your axes, whichever, whichever you wish to use. Uh huh. Hand axe. We're gonna do... just keep doing the hand axe. You got it. You have plus two to hit as well. Oh! <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah, Go yeah, ahead yeah. Blessed and... Axe. Blessed Hand Axe, indeed. Go <laughs> ahead and roll damage. So click the damage button. And then I want you to roll an additional 1d6 for me, please. Oh my god! Jesse! <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ! How do you want to kill this guy? Uh, well, he is, his attention is probably on Peyton right now, so I'm going, yep. I, I'm probably just gonna, let's behead! We're doing another beheading! All <laughs> right. <cut> off. <laughs> you just, in a single swing, swing, and there's a moment of pause where you're like, did I get him? And he watches his head just slides off and bounces onto the ground, and his body just crumples forward on its knees and lies forward, and Peyton goes, I owe you a bonus! And he kind of sighs and kind of clenches his wounds. Yeah. Yeah, we can talk about it. <sighs> he nods. <laughs> uh, you still have an extra action if you wish to use a ranged attack, perhaps. Yeah, I'll just turn around and uh, <laughs> let's see. Um, who needs my help? Uh, can I shoot at the guy that uh, Lily and Sturva are yeah, fighting right this now? Yeah, this guy right here? Yeah. Go for it. Yeah, go ahead and roll a long, uh, longbow attack. Sorry, not longsword, longbow. <laughs> just throw my sword. Uh, as you go to fire, you unfortunately miss the guard as he kind of sidesteps the arrow, unfortunately. Ding. Sorry, I tried. <laughs> Alrighty, that brings us around to your ally's turn. Oh boy. Uh, Ozzy looks very nervous at that uh, entity that is currently approaching. Uh... <clears throat> Uh, he is going to. What is he going to do? He is going to. <coughs> hmm. Yeah, he's going to attack this guy right here who's like avoiding everything with a firebolt, which will hit. Uh, that's so sad. He does three points of damage to him. Oh. Uh, 
poor he, Ozzy. He's trying. He's trying. He's, he's trying. <laughs> uh, Sturva, feeling reinvigorated, is going to move over here. And is going to swing at this guy. Leaps off of you. That definitely is going to hit. That's a 19. Uh, Jesus Lord, woman. 14 points of damage to this guy. Which of the horses is the most evil? Uh, <laughs> definitely the buff horse, which you've managed to make. <laughs> evil makes him stronger. As she swings down on this rider, he is looking on death's door. Uh, but she gets a second attack, so let's see if she can hit him. Uh, natural one, she does not. And it's not severe, so she just misses. Uh, Peyton is going to, uh, you know what? He's gonna load the, the, actually, you know what he's gonna do? He's gonna gesture towards you, Finn, and goes, get on! And he's gonna, like, prepare <laughs> to launch you. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> and his, he's gonna hold his action to launch you in the air using the <laughs> poor man's catapult. Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. Wait, Wait, is he right, launching you at the giant, loss? like... I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that brings us to old bad guys. It is now <clears throat> your turn. I do have the fireball uh, scroll myself. You do, yes. I was wondering, well, how, how does that work exactly? Do I have a range in which I can use it? So it's a 20, uh, 20 range, like circle oh. so it's like a big it's a big blast zone and they have to make a dexterity saving throw against ozzy's spell save dc so basically you you pick a location it blows up and then um okay. they have to roll against it essentially would it be wise of me to do like this whole area where all these guys are uh yeah you can hit all these guys and not your friends absolutely yeah that's my i don't think it's going to do much against the big bad but i think it might help at least to take care of this group over here yeah so can i just do that yeah absolutely you unroll the scroll read it out and let's start some saving throws here so the number to beat just so you have it uh is going to be 14 so you have to beat a 14 starting with the archer uh that's a failure they rolled a f they're rolling like butts so the archer fails this guy in front of the spiritual weapon uh, also fails. The guy down here fails, rolled the exact same thing. The other guy rolled a natural one. And what about this horse? Let's go horse. Let's not go horse. The horse fails. They all fail. So You this like the is... sun so much? Ever taste. That is going to be a third level fireball. So that is going to be... I need you to roll... 8d6. Roll. Dice. 8d6. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 25 points of fire damage. All right, let me just do this quickly. Dead. Very dead. <laughs> <laughs> dead. Dead. And does the horse live? No, the horse is also very dead. <laughs> dead. M -m 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 multi kill. Gilly, they, you just watch as like... an explosion rips through, and unfortunately, there are some innocent trees caught in the crossfire. Oh no! L L Lily, Lily turns towards you, and she hey. understands that it was necessary, and she also kind of respects. She respects. She respects the uh, the, the the death, and she. You want to make like, an omelet? You got to burn some trees down. This giant <laughs> statue creature, this giant statue creature, doesn't even phase it as it keeps just lumbering forward with its hands outstretched, just flamethrowers at the end of it. Oh, uh, big man, big man, I get it. <laughs> that is your action. You have your movement, and your bonus action. Oh, my movement and my bonus action. Okay, well, I'm going mm -hmm. to, I think, regroup. How far can I move? Uh, thirty feet, I believe. Thirty feet. Okay, so I could probably just head back here with Finn. Yeah, easy enough. You kind of slide up next to Finn. And can I heal? Uh, I have you have a potion. A potion yeah. Yeah. So I just roll the two D four plus three. Yep. Plus three. Nine. Okay. Pretty much got all my health back then. It tastes like cherry. Oh, lovely. Ah. ah. All 
Alrighty, All that right, brings us to Gilly. It is now your turn. As you see this thing, just this giant firewall yes. just coming up. Okay, so you mentioned that we're looking at this. It doesn't look like anything we do to it is going to affect it in any this way. This seems way out of your real house. This is like a golem. Golem. She wouldn't have any idea if, like, dispel magic would have any effect on it. You don't know. No. Okay. Um, I think she'll continue to try and take out some of these foot soldiers. Uh, At this point, the foot soldiers, seeing their captain die, are, like, panicking as well. Okay. But you hear them yelling, get the icon through! Get the icon through! Hold your ranks! Kind of screaming and shouting at each other. Okay, Gilly will kind of yell at, like, Ozzy and be like, uh, any ideas on how to handle that thing? I can't say I've seen it before. I, and... I don't know. Uh, so helpful, Ozzy. Always so helpful. He's, like, breathing into a paper <laughs> bag. He's like, <laughs> like, trying to keep calm. He just Ozzy. keeps one on his pocket, like, all times. <laughs> Have you tried being antisocial at it? That usually works. <laughs> oh, avoiding it actually could be a correct course of action, but if it gets into town... Oh. Come yeah, on, man. You haven't wrong. read a book or some shit. <laughs> well, no. Okay. What, what <laughs> book do you recommend? <laughs> I don't know. The book of, like, big shit that could kill us. I feel like oh, that's yeah. a must read. Yeah, that is a good one. It, Real page that's my tip. turn. <laughs> I All think right. make this guy, he's chilling, he thinks no, nobody's near him. Well, a uh, lightning bolt's gonna come down from the sky. You got it, dexterity saving throw for him. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, he actually rolled pretty well. Uh, that's gonna be an 18, so he succeeds and only takes half. Well, darn you. Oh my god, but he's dead anyway. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, he like, thought he, that he was like, avoiding it. He was like, don't be suspicious, don't be... <laughs> and he's just gone. <laughs> Yeah, he was like, I'm doing fine over here, and then, bam. Okay. I'm so sorry that this trap has not gone off. I haven't rolled anyone who's on this side for it, and I'm like, damn it. Side I mean, spaghetti. we knew some of them were gonna. I know, the I was like, yeah, that so That's good. the important thing. Does a spiritual <laughs> weapon have flanking if I move it over here? It does not, no. It doesn't okay. count as an entity, but you can still move it and attack if you wish. Sure. Okay, I'll move it over here then, so if anybody does feel like going behind it. You got it. Okay. That hits. Go ahead and roll damage. Mm -hmm. Seven points of force damage on him. He is dead as the hammer just bashes his head inwards. Uh, Gelly's still up in the air, but she's going to fly a little bit further back from where all of this fire is currently. I yeah, mean, it's starting to get... There's embers now spitting up in the sky. Ash is currently like flaking down like darkened snow. And it is getting very hot. All right. Hey, that's that, our turn. That brings us to the enemy's turn. And as it brings us to the enemy's turn, Lily, you hear bird calls. And you watch as scurrying between your feet are squirrels, mice, beasts of every kind. Finn and uh, old bags. You watch as bears lumber past you, roaring in anger, and you both turn up and see above you a massive giant owl currently wafting its wings. Lily, you would recognize this as the form of an arc druid. <gasps> well, I can think is Awa has heard me. That's <laughs> right? Yeah, in a way. You watch as the remaining soldiers get bombarded by swooping hawks and angry, furious bears. The bear and her child are there, and the child slightly grown, currently <gasps> fighting and biting towards these men. The rest of you guys are kind of like, whoa, and even the soldiers are like, standing, like, they're rushing back, and before they can even turn back, they're quickly grabbed and dragged off by ferrets that drag them into, like, a little hole in the ground. <laughs> just pulling them inwards. You watch as insects descend from clouds on high as you guys have held out for the turns. And you watch as currently landing on top of a tree is a massive owl that screams out, and never come back! As the army immediately calls a full retreat, 
and you watch as this giant owl swoops down, grabs the large statue, lifts it up into the air, and just drops it on the army as they're fleeing. And as they land, Gilly, your massive thundercloud begins to produce some rain that clears out the fire. Good holdout, you guys. Whoa. Finn was about to be launched on the seesaw, and he's like, "Oh, oh no! Oh, I'm sorry." <laughs> I'm so Maybe sorry. Maybe like after all of this happened, just impotently gets flung across the battlefield into nothing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> In celebration Battery. of the day, once a year they fl they fling a cat. <laughs> in celebration of the victory. Right? <laughs> no one knows where the tradition started because the... <laughs> no one knows where the tradition started. All they know is they must honor it. <laughs> As you guys kind of like, kind of clutch yourselves and you see now all of the members of Everbright are like, yeah, like cheering. <laughs> You watch as the giant owl lands on the ground in front of you and whoosh, turns into a very elderly looking uh, elf woman. And she kind of turns towards you, Lily, and goes, your friend there is very persuasive. Lily, like the bear gives, uh, which has been sort of like victory roaring this entire time, kind of like turns back into Lily, who is still kind of going, rah, rah, and then she kind of gets get, gathers herself back, and she's like, oh, oh, oh. And then she sort of, like, holds out her arm so Thimble can run back up onto her shoulder, and, and she she smiles, and she said, yes, he is. And she's so proud of him. She's so heckin' proud. <laughs> My name is Raoul. I am the Arc Druid of Briar's Glen. Perhaps in the last moments of my old age, I thought fit to bring aid to you. Lily, You've held like... out long enough against such formidable foes. And she looks towards the commander who's currently dead on the ground. Lily sort of like bows her head and she's like sort of breathing hard and a little bit overcome. And she's just, she just says, thank you. Thank you. All the animals, like you even hear like screams in the distance, like a bear! Ah! And just like screams <laughs> just cutting off in the distance. <laughs> and you watch as uh, Peyton Black kind of turns. He goes, we've only lost a few, luckily. Good fighting. No one made it into the village, everyone. Good work. <sighs> I mean, if anybody needs healing, I have lots of heals to go around. Oh, you watch as Ozzy's just like <laughs> just coming down from like like a oh, oh, like it seems really stressed out. Oh, oh. your spell really came in handy. Thank you, Ozzy. Oh, thanks, <laughs> thanks. You watch as Sturva goes. I'll take some of that healing, please. <laughs> Ellie's like coming, and she'll go over and uh, cast healing on her. You got it. Your Lily also volunteers to cure whoever might need it because I think she's got a few spell casts left. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest. Um, when we first all came together, I was like, "We're gonna die for sure, gonna die." Uh, didn't very cool. Everyone is a lot more bloodthirsty than I I thought. <laughs> Looks at Lily. Yeah, yeah just <laughs> just looking at directly at Lily. <laughs> Everyone did a great job. Everybody yeah, played like... their part perfect. <laughs> when when, when we came together. Oh, so awesome, thank you. I say Lily kind of looks around at the blood all around her, and she doesn't really even seem to 100% register that that was actually her, kind of like last time. She's just like, oh, yeah, there's, 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 there's some blood. And then she just kind of smiles around at everybody, and she's like, I'm so happy I can make new friends and go on new adventures, and we all did so well. Thank you, everyone. Oh. Uh -huh. Yeah, don't yeah. make it on your bad side. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that yeah, first that's... attack was scary. All of these attacks, <laughs> really. Peyton kind of just goes... She shrugs it off, not really even registering what she just did. <laughs> Peyton kind of leans her and goes, I can't thank you for enough, for fighting for Everbright, for keeping us safe, keeping our family safe. I hope to see you properly compensated. Financially, but perhaps... You would wish to remain with us till such time as Alavast is, if Alavast is ever freed from the shackles of its tyranny. 
Yeah, I can stick around. You watch as Sturva kind of, like, all the goblins, like, the little toadies kind of run up, and they go, We've lost half, Sturva! And she goes, <sighs> She kind of turns towards you and goes, Hey! Old bad guys! Yeah. You know, our goblin gang could use a bitter and good-smelling old goblin who's good with knives, if you know any. Oh, well, <laughs> There didn't happen to be any tin where you guys is is there because I I'm quite partial to tin. I like collecting that. You watch the stir of it kind of runs a hand through her beard and she goes, "You know, there's this old abandoned cave we haven't quite looked through. Might have some Ooh, pieces in it, but could have some tin as well." It's a big upgrade from a novel. Well, that sounds good to me. I'm moving on up. <laughs> <laughs> Glad to have you, old man. Glad to be had. And I just want to say to the three of you, I know I can be a bit much and I'm not really partial to people, but honestly, this is the closest thing I've had to friends in a long time. So I just want to say this has been uh, not unpleasant. Oh, Lily is absolutely beside herself. She is so happy. She kind of like claps her hands <laughs> together and she, she kind of goes in for a hug. She, she's go, she's going for a hug despite despite the smell. She's going in for the hug. <laughs> oh, I don't know what what's happening, but uh, oh right, a hug. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Just squeeze them. It's been, it's been really yeah. nice to join you guys on this emotional journey. We've been through so much, and I'm really glad to have you guys as friends now. Um, Ozzy kind of goes, you could, you could you could hang out with me. You're really nice. And, uh, you know. Aw, thank you. You're so nice, too. Oh, shucks. <laughs> no, your, your, your spells were so handy, and your potions. We would have lost so many if it wasn't for you, Ozzy. You are a huge help to this fight. That goblin blew up those trees. He points towards just, like, the, the crater <laughs> in the ground where the, the fireball spell went off. Hey, that so, could uh, have been anybody's fireballs. <laughs> uh, he kind of shakes a finger towards you and is, like, laughs nervously. <laughs> Finn is not uh, touchy feely, but he goes, "This could this could have been a, a worse experience." So, thanks or whatever. It was really funny watching you fall down off that tree. It was, yeah, it was. I don't, I don't think that happened. I don't remember that. No. I don't, uh, that must have been someone other the uh, the cat in the tree. Out, and you might you might have seen another one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I saw that fandom lip service as she kind of shoots you a look. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't, I don't think I think I think that was some uh, some other cat you might have saw. You might have, there were lots lots of cats in the trees. Might have been someone else. All right, well, I was very coordinated and cool. Job well, job well done. Let's go assess some of the damages, huh? And as you guys kind of head into the village, you see Ra Raul, this this old elderly elf kind of like for a second as you guys are kind of walking backwards you hear go something's wrong and you watch as the sun that is breaking the day sky blackens over in a foreboding hue and as you all look up at this strange sight holding your breath but with a protected everbright that is where we're going to end the session for tonight like rain you cliffhangered us <laughs> i did i did good shit you guys hell yeah Yay. good job guys we we pretty much saved everybody there Yay. you did yeah you actually did perfect there i i unfortunately so like obviously I, i'm sure you probably heard but like for every enemy that came in on the field was a roll, mm. and that big colossal thing like could have come in anywhere between the oh. like last three turns and it didn't show up until like literally the last turn and i was like oh fuck Ooh. <laughs> so yeah yeah you guys were lucky holy yeah. crap like lily's rolls oh my <laughs> yeah. god <laughs> jesus I'm absolutely so it wasn't just ones again <laughs> you were like i want to say this again like before the, the before the game even started like like lives was like i'm really worried i'm gonna just roll like garbage and i'm just like well we'll see what happens you're like no i really don't want to roll like garbage and then just, like <laughs> the gods of the dice were like well, we have heard your prayer. We've heard. <laughs> uh, you guys can stop your recordings now, by the way. So you can say oh, goodbye yeah. to Austin. So bye, Austin. Bye, Austin. Bye, Austin. You I'm sorry hit. you had to see me, you know, edit out me eating soup on the breaks. <laughs> <laughs>
You don't have uh, to edit anything out for me. Bye. <laughs> I'm a perfect I'm sorry, I audio spent recorder. The entire thing farting uncontrollably. My bad. <laughs> I knew it. I told you she smells. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys... I was playing my trombone on the break. Sorry, go ahead. If you guys, if you guys could, could you guys name your file, your character name, and then 195, please? Okay. Did you, Did you want say to say what as... it is? A wav? Uh, wav or uh, MP3. Either works. Cool. Okay. And I'm, I I'm almost sorry. just hit the X button. Why? Why? Why would I do oh. that? Oh, do not do that, please. <laughs> and then he just kills me. <laughs> it was the the name of our character, and then one yeah. one ninety five. One nine five. Make sure you save that before we do anything else. That way we don't lose that. Indeed. And then I'll tell you what to do after that. Cool. Well, guys, thank you so much for joining me. Did you guys have fun? <laughs> that was Absolutely. wild. Sure. This that is so great. fun. I had a wonderful time. Thank you. It was nice to I meet was... everybody and hang out. It was really, really yeah. cool. Yeah, Very for nice sure. This was a really fun guys. group. This is neat. It was my first time kind of running that sort of like, you know, trap based sort of thing. I'm like, I'm going to give them all the creative freedom. Like, if you guys want to come with crazy traps, like that one where it's like the big, like sweeping log trap, I was like, okay, roll, <laughs> roll an enemy to run into that. I'm like, come on, roll, roll, roll. And I kept rolling them on the left side. And I was like, damn it. Damn it, I wanted to do the thing because it was it was gonna do like five d ten damage if it hit somebody because it was so big. Yeah, it would have been so hot. Yeah, yeah, we had so good. Forti yeah, that side was like completely like fortified and like nobody went over there. <laughs> no, I felt so bad. I was like, no, but it's again, I was just all random. just just to make it random, yeah. That way, it didn't feel like you know unfair because it'd be like oh they'll just go around your traps it's just like no they'll randomly spawn and they'll take the most direct path and they have no idea what's between them and there so it's all kind of determined on that but yeah no good job you guys um and we'll good job to you as well monty yeah thank you. <laughs> thank you yeah no it's always an absolute pleasure to play with you thank you so much for inviting me back yeah, thank you so much for making the time because I know it's like what's well, probably going to be like super weird time over there right now, I imagine, it's, right? It's seven in the morning and I've just been pumping like adrenaline and anxiety <laughs> for four hours. And so oh, I'm, no. I don't, I'm not going to sleep. You're going to crash <laughs> really hard. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, we'll do our outros here then. Um, we'll do opposite this time. So starting with no acting, no acting, where can everybody find you? Uh... Everywhere. I, um, I'm no whacking <laughs> on Twitter, YouTube, and Twitch. And on Instagram, I'm no whacking hell yeah. Uh, <laughs> go find me. <laughs> uh, and then we have uh, Martin, also known as Little Creepo. Where can everybody find you? Hello. You can find me uh, on Twitter at, uh, at Yu Gi Oh! TAS, Y U G I O H T A S. Uh, on Twitch, you can find me at twitch.tv slash versus, And I honestly don't know my YouTube URL offhand, but if you look up Little Karibo, you'll find me somewhere. <laughs> and uh, actually, we'll do Fanfur next. Fanfur, also known as Shay, where can people find you? Again, I don't know why people would want to find me. I don't post on my Twitter. Uh, but you can find me at No Seeks or Fanfur Seeks No Attention. Oh! If you actually want to see me post anything, Instagram. I post cat pictures on crazy oh. chaotic cats. <laughs> there, there, I have go. one social media that I actually <laughs> use, and it is solely for my cats. Excellent. Solely for my cats. <laughs> Very valid. That's what the internet was made for. Right? Shay's cats are great. She has a cat called Dot, and I, I, I spent like I was over at her place like overnight, and the cat stared at me for twenty minutes without breaking eye contact, and I was like, "Are we good? Or what's what is the <laughs> establishing dominance?" <laughs> yeah, literally is what it felt like. She, she just had to like you know familiarize herself with what you looked like, and then she, she wouldn't be as scared of you, you know. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Uh, and then last but certainly not least, and our returning guest star, uh, Lime Malicious, is Lily. Where can people find you? Hi, you can find me on Twitch primarily under Lime Malicious, spelled L-I-M-E-A-L-I-C-I-O-U-S. Um, if you search me up on YouTube under the same name, you will find both my archive and my highlight channel for all the streams that I do, because I am a full-time Twitch streamer. Um, please come and support me, because otherwise I'll starve. But <laughs> yeah, no. don't, let, don't let her starve. <laughs> no. <laughs> thank, you, thank you very, very much for all of that. That's I really appreciate it. Thank you for 
Let me come mm -hmm. back, Gizzly. Thank I'm, you. I'm sorry. I just, now we're done. My brain is just like, and down. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And like, uh, as well, and I, I, again, I have to thank you, Limes, for making the time for this because I, I, out of everyone, you were the one where I'm like, if you said no, I would not be upset because of the time difference and like the, <laughs> the time and the dedication and like coming back to a game that you haven't played in like two years like it's it's a big it ask was, but it was nostalgic and honestly like it's it's kind of like oh I, I i didn't realize how much i missed lily and it was mm -hmm. really nice to come back it's also kind of bittersweet but it's the last little hurrah the yeah yeah but no i mm. i appreciate it and i would always make time for this especially now that i'm not trying to work a job at the same time as training that doesn't yeah there's a lot of pressure there i wasn't <laughs> sure i was just like you maybe you were more busy i wasn't sure but i'm really glad no you got no back. much, much so less much. i went down from like 14 hours a day to at most six or seven which is that's nice. good that's that's nice yeah <laughs> breathing room uh, yeah. And then you guys know me. I'm Monty Glue. You can find me at Monty Glue on Twitter. You can find me at twitch.tv forward slash Monty Glue. Uh, I will be streaming hopefully tomorrow and then uh, sometime on the weekend possibly as well. Um, and then uh, really importantly as well, uh, Die Hard Dice is our sponsor. Thank you for rolling so many like under... It, it was It's awful for when you guys were setting up traps. It was rolling under 10s and then the enemies were also running uh, rolling under 10s and whatnot too. <laughs> but... Die Hard Dice, they're a dice company. They support us. They're awesome. They have beautiful, beautiful metal and uh, plastic dice that you can get. Um, you can get 10% off your dice at checkout with the uh, coupon code UNEXPECTABLES! Uh, if you buy dice, you support the show. You also support a really good dice company that are really sweet and sick and awesome and have really great ideas for dice and products. Um, and it is a quality I can vouch for. I've had... I've been... My dice tray is so good. Like, I can't even talk about how good my dice tray is it's so nice uh but yeah check them out uh before we head off on the bits and subs though uh to announce the next week's one-off uh next week's one-off we will be joining rat and the moon kite circus uh this coming wednesday uh featuring joe cat uh as well as brett ultimus sci fry and joe fudge uh so they'll be returning and they're you Oh boy, uh, it's going to be a time. So definitely check that out next week as we continue these uh, Take Back Alabast one-shots. And we hope to see you guys there. But in the meantime, I'm going to read off some bits and stuff. Now, Limes, if you want to go and sleep, I'm okay if you leave now. You can absolutely leave ahead of the, the curb and, and head to sleep if you wish. Because okay. it is kind I, of a weird hour. Yeah. I, I would yeah. love to, I'll just say, thank you so much, everyone, for supporting my friend. Monty's wonderful. Like, thank you for supporting. I appreciate you all. I'm going to go pass out. <laughs> okay, go sleep. Go sleep, warrior. <laughs> Have a good night. Bye. 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 Sleep. It was wonderful hanging out. Bye. Yeah, for sure. Bye. Bye. Alrighty, I'm going to read off these subs as quickly as possible, just not to keep the rest of you guys here for too, too long. Greasy X Boon, thank you for gifting a tier one sub to the Percusizer. Thank you so much. Uh, Bosco, thank you for gifting a tier one sub to Zul the Cat. James Rochelle, thank you so much for the tier two sub for 23 months. Dip and Bipples, thank you so much for a tier one sub to And Hayes 25. Oop, boop, oop, Badoof, thank you so much for the tier one sub for 23 months. Uh... Soy Canadians? Soy Canadians? Is that how you say that? I apologize. Thank you so much for the tier one sub for nine months. I'm listening to last week's episode. I can't wait to listen to this one. Good luck. Have fun. Patriotic Flag Bearer. Thank you so much for the tier one sub for 10 months. Lily! Weed Pixie. Thank you so much for the tier one sub to uh, give it a tier one sub to Tech Knight Zero and to Lossmon. Thank you so much. Uh, and Weed Pixie, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub for three months. Three months since I caught up and started watching live. Gotta wake up at 5 a.m. for work, but I'll catch the small squad on the VODs tomorrow. Hell yeah. Meryl Nolstrom, thank you so much for the Tier 1 sub for 23 months. Uh, Moy Luna, thank you so much for the Tier 1 sub for 19 months. Hooray for Gilly and Lily! <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mila Ninja, thank you so much for the Tier 1 sub for 23 months. Let's go Team Ever Defense, plus a game with Martin and Jesse. Let's do this! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you guys were great. Um, T Chaos, thank you so much for the tier one sub for 23 months. Has Lily gone? Your free trial of life has expired yet? Spoiler alert, yes, very much yes. Uh, Alucard True V, thank you so much for the uh, Twitch Prime sub for 21 months in a row. Uh, Daniel Bonin, thank you so much for the tier one sub for 22 months. Oh my god, is that Martin? Is it? Sure was. <gasps> Maca Brainor, thank you so much. For, uh, Maca Bryn Noir, sorry. Thank you so much for the tier one sub for 22 months. Ah, Lily? Doom Knight, 013, thank you so much for the tier one sub for 22 months. Man, I enjoy this new team. I, 
I feel I call this team Team Murder Hippies. <laughs> We actually need to come with a name for this episode if you guys have episode title ideas as well. Somebody in the chat write down, like, pick your god and pray. Yeah, people That's like that good. one. Pick your god and pray. It's a little long. Yeah. But we could do it. Uh, oh, God, I lost my, my, uh, my thing here. You did this to yourself. Uh, I did. Oh, Doppelganger's Gears Out. Thank you for getting a turn sub to Brachizoid. Hey, we know that guy. Uh, Grimalis Prime. Thank you so much for the Twitch, uh, Twitch Prime sub for 21 months. I've encountered a random shiny Pokemon twice while on my way to a mass outbreak where I didn't find a shiny, not including the random shiny Drift that I caught before the shiny Ponyta. God. People's luck is nuts in that game. Zacho Duo. Thank you so much for the tier one sub to gifting a tier one sub to Violent Bear. Very hey. Good, good gift. Uh, Dr. Dank Memes PhD. Thank you for getting a tier one sub to Unkind Bear. I'm seeing a trend here. <laughs> Just another clone. Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub for 12 months. Happy one year anniversary. I'm late. See y'all in the archives. Dr. Uh, Dr. Dank Memes PhD. Thank you for getting five tier one subs to the community. Very much appreciated. R2 Fever. Thank you so much for the tier one sub for seven months. An amazing job as always, Monty. Thank you. This one this one had a lot of moving pieces, so it was like quite difficult. Uh, Cucumbersome one. Thank you so much for the tier one sub for 19 months. Greeting from the ER. If I don't watch this... Uh, if I don't watch, then the series won't end. In all seriousness, as the campaign winds down, I want to thank you, Monty, and everyone for giving us four years of solid quality content. Thank you so much for watching it all. Uh, Igrim21, thank you so much for 500 bits. Some bits for you, and especially for Lily, and the most terrifying battle cry I've ever heard from a gnome. <laughs> it's fair. Point Dexter, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub for 17 months. Freedom13, thank you so much for the Tier 1 sub for six months. Are you winning, team? <laughs> Blackfoot Fair, thank you so much for the 420 bits. Uh, D6 healing. She should have had a D should have had a D8 or a V8 rather. Yeah, sorry, that was my mistake. But it ended up not really mattering because she ended up rolling max health anyway, so it was fine. Uh, Freedom 13. Thank you so much for 100 bits. Stervacast Barrack Inspiration. <laughs> yep. The uh, Atom Bomb. Thank you so much for 100 bits. Hold the line. <laughs> you guys did. You actually did excellently there. They never actually breached the line, which was huge. Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. Like Tabuya, thank you so much for the 50 bits. Uh, Magic Ninja Go, uh, thank you so much for 100 bits. Nature's Revenge, uh, Faceless, thank you so much for uh, the 20 bits. I Am Spite, thank you so much for the 400 bits. Congratulations, glad to have you back, Limes, and thank you for joining on the journey, you three. Yeah, thanks guys for, so much for joining. And then thank you too, Shay, because I know this was a lot, this is kind of overwhelming for you a little bit, just in terms of kind of coming out of nowhere, but I appreciate you like joining us. I'm just glad I managed to stand my own against all these voice actors that know what they're oh. doing. <laughs> <laughs> no, so, that's my secret. I don't. I never know what I'm doing. There you <laughs> that's go. That's my secret, Captain. Yeah. Yeah, this was super uh, fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Rosso six for hundred bits. Title: Pick a God and Pray. Gumsy kind of guy. Thank you so much for the tier one sub for twenty three months. Good work, y'all. Uh, Mangetsu. Tatsumasa, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Title suggestion, pick a god and pray, because that was just the best line from the tiny gnome before ending people. Yeah, honestly, I think we'll stick with that one. It seems to be like the best suggestion. Can I suggest a gag title? What, what do you have? So because it took place in nature and involved lots of traps, and I want to make a movie reference to M. Night Shyamalan, The Trappening. <laughs> oh my god, The Trappening. That's also quite good. <laughs> that's a good, that's a solid second. <laughs> uh, I lost my point of spot. Uh, Birdie and Winter, thank you for 100 bits. RNG Jesus and the ghost of Gary Guy Guy smiled down at Limes and said, I've got you, my child. That's kind of how it felt. <laughs> Bubba Bob, thank you so much for the 500 bits. I see where all of Mark's natural 20s went tonight. Uh, Zach O'Dio, thank you for getting a tier one sub to uh, P P P P1S Goblin. Careful there. Uh, Wolven the Six, thank you so much for the two bits. Blackfoot Ferret, thank you so much for the leap bits. Limes is best ferret murder bear. That is true. Magic Ninja Go, thank you for 100 bits. Sci-Fry and Joe Cat in the same stream? Yeah, it's more likely than you think. <laughs> Ruby Magical Girl, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub for five months. Been here since the beginning, only just subbing, enjoying these one shots immensely. Thank you so much. Uh, and Stormfox116, thank you so much for the tier one sub for 21 months. Episode title, Bear Necessities. Pretty good as well. X Willy Willy, thank you so much for gifting a tier one sub to Unbearable Pain for one month. Thank you so much. <laughs> Dip and Bipples, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Uh, hi, Monty. Hi, Dip and Bipples. 
Uh, Bosco, thank you so much for gifting a tier one sub to Fan First Seeks No Attention and for gifting a tier one sub to uh, Little Creepo VS. And thank Martin, you, Ed. I'm assuming that's you. Thank you for that gifting a me. tier one sub. Thank you so much. You gave it to Star Mech V. And last uh, final bit donation from Dip and Bipples is even lilies have their thorns. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> All right. Well, you guys are guests. Do you have anybody who you would like us to raid who maybe doesn't have, don't have a whole lot of viewers at the moment? I, I wouldn't mind if we raided Jerry sixty four. Jerry sixty four. What are if they doing right now? They're playing Minecraft. Okay. Unless that, unless somebody else wants to suggest somebody. How many viewers do they have? Just out of curiosity. They have five. Oh, we're raiding them. Yeah. Put their <laughs> name in the. Put their name in the chat. In the chat. In, in our Discord yeah. chat? In our Discord, yeah. Okay. Alright. What will our raid message be, Martin? What do you think would be an appropriate raid message? Oh, uh, we could just say, pick a god and pray. <laughs> pick a god and pray. That's our that's our raid message. The best raid is a threat. <laughs> yeah, a threat, yeah. Alrighty. Have a good night, everybody, and see you next week for the next one off featuring Rat and the Moonkite Circus. Good night, chat. See ya. Good night.